Hello, everybody, and welcome to More Than Friendlies 122 as we just get started with items. Item singles, and as we see, Law, the man, the man, Steve. <gasps> oh. oh, no. And we and join at an unfortunate time. It's a three stock? A three? <laughs> oh, my. I forgot that Rosalina's meta in this. Rosalina is the meta in this, but is, is Steve she, the meta in this? Is she Jesus? We came, we saw, and the match ended. Jesus Christ. So fast. As we just hop on comms. Yeah, the, I think I saw it said one minute, 11 seconds. And I want to say, everybody who's watching right now and tonight, I want to say happy holidays to everybody watching the More Than Friendly's family wants to say thank you for everybody that comes in every week, every month to some celebrate More Than Friendly's and the GameCube Lounge. As 2022 has been a big year for us yes. and everybody. Yes, absolutely. Put the mic closer to your mouth, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> as is Steve the meta again as they go to small battlefield. Got some good music going on. Nice combos. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Don't be a zero to death. Come on, mash. Zero to death. Her scream, bro, is so fake. This is gonna be stupid bombed. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. Oh, she got shot, bro. Lo no jump, what are you doing? Oh, no. It's gotta deal with a pony, unicorn, sorry. <laughs> and Luma and Rosalina took him out the combo and the freaking fighter guy. Laser. Bob and Weave, Minecraft, Bob and Weave, bro. Oh. Oh my god, that shield is so low. Can't TNT! 6-1.9 Rosalina's at right now. Oh, and he taunted at the end of it. That's the gal. Watch that, watch. Oh, oh, the soccer ball though. Oh. Not dead. He's got a mind. Oh, he's got some health, Doug. But Steve! Oh my god, it got so quiet. Oh, he got big hammer. Yeah, that's what happens when you get the hammer. It changes the music. And he's got a final smash. Oh, and uh, Mew, Mew is out. Just there for the eye candy. You're dead. No, no, no. no uh, you know, he might not die. Yeah, yeah, I think he was at zero. He was, I think he was. At yeah, 63. Zero, 63, wow. All right, that's even, bro. Oh, she's gonna start drawing. What's she gonna be? What's she gonna be? Oh, bullet bill. Oh, the bullet bill. Oh, oh my Luma God. got Wrong body, way. bro. Uh oh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, breathe the hot flames. Roll, roll, roll. Oh. He's alive. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk about how long the, his flames lasted Ain't for. no. All right, J-Storm is up. My God. Mecca, come here. That was such an insane catch. This man, this man F smashed into the fucking, <laughs> into the thing. You're up. Let's go! Yoshio has entered the building. Special guest Yoshio arriving. Let's go. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> Thank you, Vinny and Felix. I want to say. All right, there's a hype items match going on, side uh, on the side side. Uh, yeah, you can see everyone crowding around it. My God. Felix versus uh, Crystal Chat. 
Look at Justin's uh, face. I'm like, J Storm's face. God, J Storm. He looks like such a beta. Especially compared to the Chad that is Zexma. Aphelion? And who? Oh, Troll Dog. Aphelion and Troll Dog. Man. Oh, I feel, I feel like. Can you, I, can you come here? I gotta play my match. I feel like I feel like troll I feel like troll dog has um, a substantial uh, I'm trying to find the word for it um, he has a substantial advantage because I feel like he he's one of the people that plays the game casually enough to where he'll be able to actually like take advantage of the the um, casual playset. Troll Dog and Aphelion, all right. I feel like Troll Dog has, has the advantage here because I he, I feel like he plays the game casual enough yeah. most times to like be able to play it in a competitive setting like this. Yeah, I haven't seen uh, Aphelion play much. He mains, is his main Krom? Or uh, he, main? Plays, he plays uh, Krom, Roy, and Corrin, but he's been playing a lot, of, a lot more Krom recently. Oh, okay, okay. His crom has been his crom is moving. So Derek, he showed me this crazy ass yeah. kill confirm. Wait, who just said my name? Me, I did. Okay, yeah. Derek, how did your set go against uh, Beast? You know, it wasn't close, was it? No, it was not. Did you at least get some stocks? I will say, game one at the beginning was relatively close, and then he got this one item that just completely annihilated me. Like for all three of my stocks, it was ridiculous. If like, if it was on stream, you could see. Well, I got uh, what item was it? If you know, it was so he got the item where it picks you up and like carries you off. Galaga, the stage. you yes. got Galaga, bro. He got that. You can mash out of that. You know that, right? I know. I tried to do that. I tried to mash out of it, and I wasn't getting out of it. Then there was when you, another. When you ma you mash on stick, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, when you mash, do you go in a circle or just side to side or something like that? Uh, it's, I usually go in a circle. Yeah, you want to you want to be quick with the circle. It's like it's hard. Yeah. I also learned that you can mash with both sticks. Oh really? Yes. Just just um, if you have like a really decent aerial out of it, you want to um, I don't know if it works for um, to just grabs or like berries or stuff. Yeah. Um, but. I learned that with in the Yoshi matchup, you can buffer out of egg lay. Really? And they kept it over from Smash Four. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember what the. Um... Oh, shield break on the side stream. Uh. But um. I can't remember what it was called either. But it. Uh... Oh, it's like input storage or some shit like that. I can't remember. Oh, okay. But um, you can you can store the input of like a forward air, down air, back air, up air, um, bef before um, before you get a hit. Yeah. Or before you mash out, and it'll actually like buffer that that move off of really? like out of out of the egg lay. There was another item too that he got. Um, I don't know the name of it, but um, uh, you could ask him about it later. But. Okay. I I don't think he would know either. Oh. Ooh, the Ike? Oh, he knew. Trust me. <laughs> Galaga on screen. Dang. Oh, oh my God. Jeez. The me meaty thwacks. The big meaty thwacks Flax. of Ike. Hero? He's, He's going just, hero? It, I've never seen Troll Dog play hero before. Troll Dog, Troll Dog is top decks with the best of them, bro. Uh, bro, that's a, that's so unfair. He got Rathalos out of the <laughs> out of the assist trophy. I'll tell you if the item appears in this game, which it very well could. Jeez, it already All did. Right. It was the Ga it was the Galaga thing, right? It drag like it, it does like the hoot, 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 and drags you up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was it was one of it was the first item that spawned in. It was that, but the Troll first Dog. item he got that killed me in game. Troll Dog controlling these items. I did get a smash ball against him though, I will say that. Oh jeez. Oh live. Ew! Oh, he geez. B reversed it by accident, the backer almost killing. Jeez. Got back up. Oh. He's holding the life form, so we, so he's getting um He's getting his his percent restored. Yeah. All the back here kills. 
healing up from the from the food now. Screw attack. Uh oh, the chicken. Oh jeez. Oh, not that. Oh god, stay away from that. He's got screw attack though. Eat the pizza. <laughs> Oh, the charge and the Kakuza are coming after him. I don't like Ike with screw attack. And he's back at zero. That's, this is this is this has become a much closer game compared to what it was before. Yeah. Oh, he's huge now. Oh no. Oh my god. He can die, he can die in one hit. Oh, he's dead. Whoa. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> The Obama, the, the Obama Snow saved him from the Crane Game uh, assist trophy. Oh, oh, gee. Oh, the weight bounce side, uh, side B. I don't know what it's called. The sizzle connecting. He got Mimikyu. He needs to get him to 100, and if it, and if it grabs, it kills. No way. That's so toxic! toxic. He hit him just enough so that Mimikyu killed. That is so, uh, bro. That was so toxic. That's insane. That was so toxic, bro. Oh, I forgot if Felion is a, um, is a, uh, a sandbox content creator. He does like sandbox yeah. screenshots on his, YouTube, on his uh, Twitter that you can see at the bottom. Yep. I, I I can't play in this mainly because I don't know my my tipper confirms for Marth, but yeah, I've been watching your Marth. Your Marth has gotten a lot better. I've been working on it more and more. I I love Marth, and I and I never should have doubted myself because I knew I knew Marth was my soul character. Yeah. Oh, he's going villager. All right. Oh, he's gonna pocket it. He's gonna abuse pocket now. Pocket and projectiles. Oh, the Nair, at a disadvantage. That's a free stock. Oh, he pocketed it. Up, he had a shield. Gets the pressure off. Control it. Oh, wow. Yep, it was that. Oh, I can't, uh, that's from, I think that's a Tales of character, if, I, if I'm if i correct. <laughs> We learned last. We learned last. Um, the last time we ran this bracket, that um, that uh, Rosa, Rosalina and Luma are really good. In this? Yeah, because they they have really? um, they can they can suction in um, the items with their neutral B. Oh my God, he's actually crazy with these item combos. That's insane. Oh, one of the strongest Pokemon. Yeah, he got that. He too. killed him. That killed me at 40%. Yeah, that, 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 I'm pretty sure that kills at zero. Oh, he's got it. Oh, no. oh, he fell out of it. That's crazy. Mecha Theory? Mecha Theory. Oh, All the right. back air didn't oh. connect. Uh, I have to go play. Nair back air. These confirms coming in very strong. Oh, don't dud. Don't dud. It didn't dud, but uh, Aphelion is up three stocks to uh, three stocks to one. No way. Oh, he's got to dodge it. <laughs> and he died for it because he tried to contest the stage. Raichu! Banana. Pal block on center stage. Felion looking to close this out early. Well, not so early, because we're about halfway through the time set. But a lot of a lot of good play coming out of both of these players. Back air? Oh, it didn't stick to the side of stage. That caught him on a roll-in. Oh, he's invincible. Oh, he got a stock back.
This is scary for Troll Dog. The Gardevoir reflecting any and all uh, aerials that he has. And he's dead for that. Knuckles! Oh, the bomb. Oh, that was crazy. I must move forward. Felion had, had to take four stocks, and he did it, like, with no problems. That almost didn't even look close. That was very, very well played by Aphelion. I, and it, it, it completely slipped my mind that he's a um that he was a sam that he's a sandbox content creator. Oh, this is this is the matchup of the century. I think um Zexma actually has to create his tag. Because he usually uses beasts, but he's playing against beasts now, so that was absolute insanity, bro. Ike from the Fire Emblem Tellius entries. Yes, sir. I um it completely slipped my mind that you that that you were that you're a sandbox guy in the middle of that like at the start of that set. And I was like, I feel like Troll Dog plays the game enough casually to know like some confirms off of item things. And then I, and then I was that's sitting what, here. That's what I was thinking. And like, I was I, sitting here, and I was sitting here watching you do shit. And I was like, oh wait, that's right. He does sandbox shit, like with items and some dumb, like. Funny I do, yes. Sets. And, I, and I have been doing that since Brawl. It's pretty crazy, but yeah, that's just what I do. Yeah, Zexma, Zexma hasn't had to enter his tag in a very long time because he because he plays on the same he plays on the same control scheme as Beast, and he usually uses Beast's uh, control scheme. What even is his control scheme? Uh, 3ds, 3ds, oh. L grab. Um, Shield, shield on right, and then he has um oh hold on like jumps and stuff set up too. Zexma, Zexma has gotten very close to beating Beast in in casual stuff. Oh my! <laughs> that was a crazy that was a crazy set by Aphelion and Troll Dog. Honestly, I didn't. Aphelion, Aphelion had to take four stocks because um, Troll Dog had Star and the uh, the S flag. Oh, the S flag. Now the S flag is. But this is this is something I'm very I was very interested in seeing because the last time these two played together. No way, what bro. Is that? What is your mash? Yo? What is your dog shit? Oh my Come god, on, bro. PR and you can't mash. Hello. I have, seen, I have the seen. The tides turn now. I have seen. I have seen. I have seen. Oh, that Pokemon. I have seen Joel match out of that a thousand times. Do you just die from that? Oh no, you don't. It's just. It's just a little beam in the middle of the stage. Oh my god. We have to. We have to notice that uh, Zexma is indeed up a stock. That is true. And with Ganon too, with big, you know, big punches, that's gonna hurt. And he's a heavy. Wait, grab oh, that. Time. Oh, Joel's in trouble. No, Joel's Neutral in trouble. Be him. It's okay. What are you doing? No, no. way. Oh, he's. He's not dead. He's not dead from that. But he's going back for seconds. Oh. How did he not die from that, though? That's a real question. Oh, that's... that's. Oh, Beast no. needed? No way! Oh, no. no way! What a call he got the, out! He got the Falcon Command! Oh! The true... All right, see, that was... Joel's worst fear. The little bug. It's his worst fear. Run away, Joel. You know you can't mash. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yes, he's now safe. Oh, my God. The... the, the the it's over. Oh no, it's it's big, over. It's big Ganon. Oh, smash! I don't even need it. The dash attack, attack killed him at 90. Oh my God, Joel's in it trouble. It did 40 damage. If he hit that up smash right there, I think it would have been clipped. Okay, what is he cooking? He's cooking it's that. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's right, fine. No way. No way, Joel hits. Because that. that's 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 angled down. Oh. If that if if he can get if he can get um if he can get, he needs to get into that. Ball. Who has it? Oh no. Wait! Ah! Okay, he they both got out of that. Oh uh, he's Zex is in the really bad. Wait, what? It hit him. Indiscriminant. Zex? Wait, I'm surprised it didn't hit him. Alright, it hit him. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, Don't get clipped! It's neutral now. No more items. Don't get clipped! Oh, he no! got clipped! Don't let it be you! He let it be the him. Mare to knee. Oh my god, he let it be him. I've been hit by that so many times. No matter what items you have, 
Fundamentals will always play a part. He was up a whole stock at like 30%. He got hit by the Falcon knee. I know Zex is not feeling that right now. But the Ganon was cooking, though. The I'm, Ganon was cooking. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I would keep the Ganon. Let's go. Run, it, run back. it back. Run it back. Let's go. We're not scared here. So what? He got hit by the knee. Oh, well, it happens. It's time for the comeback story. How Zex brought it back in Island's Bracket. Is... Let's see. Uh-oh. All he okay, needs... the Nair. The moment he gets Joel off stage, it's over. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, like that, bro. Get him off the stage from the back. Oh, good parry, but he, what was that punish? Oh, that item's useless. No one has Jab. A... Yep, there you go. Oh. oh that's fine. Oh. That doesn't that matter. Was, that doesn't matter in this game. They're both pressing down air. Ooh, oh, oh my lord. Grab that. Yes. Uh-oh. Screw it. That man's going to get hit with science. Ready? Numbers. Oh, numbers. Plus two, plus two. Four. <laughs> Get hit by four. Ten? That's doesn't his favorite it, number. Doesn't, it, doesn't, it have, um, doesn't it that have, like, uh, knockback based off of, like, what number it is? I think I'm so. I'm pretty sure. Probably. And he's, he just gets spiked. That actually does make sense, though, because it's, like, if the higher number, then, like, and you can tell, but, like, when it hit ten, it had, like, a different little ring towards it. Oh, yeah, collect all those parts, man. Man, this game, this game is so much fun, is honestly. It? it is, man. Oh, no. Uh, the, he has, he the has parts two parts. Split. He needs, if he gets this kill, oh, oh not off. grab that, yep. Oh, that dash attack might have cost him. Oh, oh Dracula. If he gets or that, if he gets that back air, it's so, it's so clean for him. Oh, it's over. He's dead. He needs to grab that smash ball. There uh -oh, it is. Here we go. Did it He's early. invincible. What are you doing? Oh, it's still it's hit still, him. It still hit him through it, though. Okay, grab the parts. There you go, set the traps. There you no go. Way. No oh, way. No. Don't grab that just yet. Oh, no, he's dead. He's you, he does he doesn't know that he can <laughs> <laughs> No you went you still got hit by that The troll Falcon with a gun I seen this before Oh he doesn't need it Throw the bat at him Yep there you go Don't get hit by that Oh Grab the grab the ball oh. oh, the grab Oh See Jamal doesn't play with items he just plays Oh with no it. Okay. That was crazy. Hold on. That was crazy. What is that smoke cooking? He said, I don't need items. I need neutral. Oh, the near one. Okay. Uh -oh. He might be done. Oh. oh. He's too high of a percent now. Yeah. And he's up a whole stock to lead too. That's fine. All right. It's useless. That's perfect. That's that's actually really good for At least in a both situation. of them. Situation right now. Oh, he's done. Forward throw. Yeah. Oh, is that a... I can't tell if that's a small. That's or a that, bad one. That's a bad one. Yeah, it's a little. The discoloration. No way! He's not dead. Oh, he folded himself. Let's go! He folded himself. Uh oh. Come on, come so, on, Zexma. Right. You can't. You've got given a second yeah. chance at life. You have to make it count. Look at, the, look at these men playing on PS2. That's the way to do it. PS2, man. PS2, PS2 we don't, is beta. We don't need any other stages, bro. PS2, PS2 is beta. With items, of course, because items is important. True, true. Make sure you with always items, have with items. With items, I'm all for it because you can see, you can keep up with everything that's happening on screen. Exactly, man. More, more Yoshi. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. Five percent already. Looking at a, oh, the a good, good carry. start. Uh oh. That, this could be a big. Oh, that's huge. What is he cooking? He's actually... He is saucy. Oh, he got grabbed. No, no way. way! I want to say, if it wasn't PS2, man, I don't think he would have made it back. Zexma. Zexma with these combos right now. Hold on. Ooh, the grab contest. I don't need no Mario. All I need is my Ganon. Oh! Ooh. Oh, that, that was a really nice. good air dodge. That was nice from both of them. Oh, this is bad for Zex now. He's guaranteed, though. The he can't do anything! Yeah, he can't do anything about it. Why is he... <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah. He just wanted the Twitter clip. That's fine. Okay, now it's now it's his turn yeah. to be put yeah. in disadvantage. He messed up. Don't grab that. Grab it, grab it. There you go. All the nair. Wee. There you go. That's fine. Get it off the. Oh no! Oh, Where's he, you? How's your SDI, bro? Okay, it doesn't. Yeah, he got out of the that. The SDI check. And it, that that aim was unsafe. Uh, oh, but he's got it. All if right. That, if that was any other character, that that uh, ended very I don't very think poorly for live this one. Oh. He made it back. Never mind. I thought he did way more. <gasps> the bomb. That's very crucial. He's dead. Oh, yeah. That's it. 17%? It's literally just Peach Bomb all over again. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, you got to keep it's in the mind. Same, it's the same item. Yeah, literally the same Oh, item. the air dodge? What oh. was that? Oh! Grab that. Grab all the funny things. 
All right, so how does how does Jamal get out of the mini game? The real question. Yeah, he grabs that right now. Just grab it. Is that the real one? Okay. Yeah, that's the real one. Why did oh, he that use hit? it? Oh, hold up! Grab that item. That could be very. That's useful. actually really good. That's really really good. Oh my god, this is close. This is really. This could be anyone's game. Honestly. No. No. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. The DI yeah. almost saved him there. He almost did. He did really well, honestly. He played it really well. I just felt like... Uh, no. I, I knew once I saw that Deku on the floor, I was like, that might be it. Is that Rondor key. in the back? Yeah, that's Paul. Who is it? Rondor in the back over there. Oh, Rondor's here? Is that Rondor? No, Rondor's no, not here. No, that's Lucas. Yeah, Rondor's not here. They're, they're out. Lucas Jones Gaming. Yeah. I, I oh, think. they're doing random items. That's fun. What is it? Oh, random, random item. items. That's funny. Wait, that's not fair. What's up? Felix plays Mewtwo. Oh, the, oh random characters and random. Okay. No, that's actually got it. <laughs> the DXB tag is so funny. I love how everyone uses it. You got a weird ass haircut. <laughs> and it, and in the camera, he, he kind of looks like uh, Rondor a little bit. Does he? Uh, I, I can't I'm, that's probably right. just me having needing glasses, needing better glasses. But nah, it's okay. Sometimes, sometimes Rondor likes to appear here and there. You know, just yeah, show, very true. Yeah, sometimes he just shows. We love back. Rondor. Yeah. We don't. Well, you know, we, sometimes we see him. Sometimes we, we love. Don't. We love Rondor, but we hate the Falcon agenda Let's or see. Falco, Falco agenda. Oh, was that me? Wait, Nick. Oh, um, yep. All right, adios, guys. What's up, guys? The pitfall seed. Yeah, that was crazy, bro. <laughs> well, it's Uno and Atlas. Oh, Atlas said that he's playing Sheik. He's playing Sheik? Yeah. He said that he's going to play Sheik because Sheik's, because Sheik's uh, aerials are stupid. Any different color, you think? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Probably, probably, um, probably the, uh, the black Sheik, but I... But we would have to see first. Yeah, it's my note. Oh my god, Felix, you're garbage. <laughs> What's going on? He, ju he just pineappled under PS2 with uh, Mewtwo. I was incorrect. <laughs> it's, it's base chic. That's loot. He said that he was going to do it yesterday, so. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, that's got to be crazy. Opana is in the building, too. Yo, everyone's here, bro. Oh. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, Opana bring the mom? Hey. We out here. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, he's moving. Hang on that healing booth, bro. He's moving. Oh, if I was you, I would grab that so fast. No. Yeah, there you go. Steve is so dumb. Steve's even more dumb when he can't get. Oh, wait. Holy. Oh, sleepy boy. Go to sleep. Oh, he has, he yeah. has Franklin badge. I said, so the Franklin badge before he had to grab that fast. Oh, the, the bouncing fish connects. Yes. No way, bro. Don't let him put you in the creeper house, bro. <laughs> he got caught. <laughs> he jumped into that. This is actually crazy. Yo. Okay, now he's actually now he's Coming. actually like mash 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 mash. Sure those. Good mash. Show him that. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh we got Dr. Really. Oh this game's over. Oh no! Get him, Dr. Really.
Oh, I got Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow! Shadow now, use Chaos Control. And then Chaos Blast. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey, he can't get up there. <laughs> oh, he was that, 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 was a Sephiroth, that was a Sephiroth setup on Sheik. Yeah. <laughs> Fire away. Oh, he got the bomb too. He did a troll dog. I was just using everyone else's abilities now. <laughs> oh, what the that, hell? What the hit? hell? Yo, what? Sheik is too mad. Oh my bro. god, he's actually crazy. His Yo, Sheik is hit with items is nuts. I'm scared of Atlas throwing items now. Oh, the Abra. Oh. Abra, get him. He can't build forever. Wait, what? Who was that? Oh, uh. Yeah. Um, Fatal Frame. Do it, do get him in it. Get him in it right there. Oh my god, be crazy. Oh! Got him. Who is it? That's who he got. Oh, it's Civil Knight. Oh, the fastball. Oh, and yeah, the, the, um. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, no Shovel Knight. Getting... It's a Nico Shovel Knight. <laughs> Bro, no way. <laughs> Mother Brain. In, in, uh, it's coming up. Mother Brain. Bro, no way. Big Brain! No way! Big brain! That was ridiculous. That was some bullshit. Is that a replay? Look at his big brain move. He literally zero no to death him off of getting hit. Big brain move right here. Look at the big brain move. He gets, look at that. <laughs> look at that damage. That's so dumb. <laughs> Bro. Oh my God. That's ridiculous. He just cheated him. What the hell was that? <laughs> That man was in disadvantage the whole time. He gets hit by one item and just folds. All right, switch colors. Why gotta do that to me, man? Joker. Oh, what? Wait a minute, huh? What? The C player brought out a real character. Hey, yo. Law, we gotta talk about this, bro. Yo. That's my color. He took your color, bro. He took your life. Oh, I forget his ass beat now, is it? <laughs> oh, no. He's fighting against the Joker. <laughs> Yo, Bro, he's, he's crazy. crazy. He's actually crazy. He stole the hell. Pokeball in that whole fight. <laughs> you can't, you can't fight him with Joker. <laughs> he is Joker, bro. Oh no, out of a Pokeball. He's crazy. What the fuck? Oh my god. And he got Rathalos. This is not fair. What this is, is not happening? Fair. This he's is playing Choke. That doesn't work. None this of this makes fair. sense. This isn't fair. <laughs> this is not fair. All right, it was only bracket for you. This is not fair. Bro, this is not fair! What is happening? He's taking 23%! What are you even, what are you even? Yo, when you fight the Final Joker when his own character you. was wrong with you, it's over. <laughs> oh, hit him. I, I wanna see- Oh, uh, you got him. Oh, wait. You're not dead yet? Uh -oh. Boogie out no, did, no, oh, oh my god, this is crazy. Banana? Oh wow, banana didn't kill. Oh, he's metal now. It's metal chic. Oh he can't my die. God. It's super chic. It's fixed chic. Blow it up. Blow it up. He wants it. He wants it so bad. Oh, oh the metal dropped off literally the second he got hit. He's crazy. Oh my god. Get that R sent back. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna counter again. It's time to time it out. I don't know what's going on in the background. Right? Everyone's screaming. Uh oh, how good is your mash, bro? Oh, almost died. Oh, I got him! How's your mash? Not it, not good, bro. <laughs> Atlas.
this raw panda game. versus beast, the Italian panda. Atlas absolutely robbed him of that first game just to fucking absolutely style on him in the second. Yeah, we got Vincenzo. Vincenzo, bro. Get over here. Who's that? Who's that? Let me see. Get over here, Law. That Law? All right. I want, you to, I want you to walk me through the thought process of picking Joker against the best Joker in the room. I don't know. I just, I, I was like, yo, he's pretty slow. Let's try Joker. As I haven't played Joker in forever. I wonder how this goes. I was like, I am getting folded. This is not going the way I fought it. Bro, bro, I want, I, I want to say, you got absolutely fucking robbed in that first game. He, he, you, yeah. you had him at 100 in disadvantage that whole time. When the gold up smash didn't uh, kill, I was like, man, it sucks being here. Yeah. And I was like, it is what it is. I was like, you I can't were, do anything. You were about sitting it. there like, damn, I hate it here. But then again, it was my fault though, because I think if you break the glass, that's what gets yeah. the eye. And I broke it, and I, I realized too late, I was like, oh, I can't break that. And I was like, maybe it won't kill me. And then it kept me in place. And I was like, well, I'm dead. So there's nothing to do about it. That was funny, though. Oh, wow. This is. There are some games that it looks like Beast has never played with items in his life. And then there are other games where it's like, damn, this motherfucker must have been playing, I playing items. Yeah, I feel like he just ignores the items and just straight up goes to beating your ass. <laughs> like, I literally, like, every time I watch him play, I haven't seen him really use a lot of items. I only like the ones that, like, he knows for a fact that, like, you know, it will benefit him. But he doesn't, like, abuse him. No way he broke that. You're dense! Density at its finest core. I really hope he did it on purpose. There's no way that he knew that was fake. He didn't know that was fake. You won't grab that. Don't grab that. Oh, my God. Brain Age again. Okay, he missed that. Yeah, I don't think he plays with items. He just, he just plays with neutral and see how far he, far he gets. I think you're right. It does count matter on the number. And if it reaches 10, then it explodes. Yeah. Oh, that was really good. That up was ill-advised. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. Uh, it was pointed in towards stage, and I feel like he would have hit that. Uh. I would ask, is this is this double elimination or is it just single elimination? Uh, it should be double. Okay, so I was gonna say if it is, and I'm gonna go grab some food. Cause your boy is starving. Everything smells hella fire. No uh -oh. way. Yeah, he doesn't get hit by that. Uh, I can, we don't know what we don't know what invisibility frames are. It's fine. Uh, he hit with the home run contest. Yeah, he except with the, the wrong item. Yeah, with the wrong item. He's like, hey, yo, home run. Oh, give him heals. Sure, good idea. Good idea, Joel. Heal him. Uh oh. Heal him since they hurt him again. Look at that. See, he doesn't play with items. He just he's plays. He's mashing. He's mashing the A button so hard right now. Yeah. I love how he got another healing item. Arms. Oh no. Does it does he know the minute matchup? Let's find out. They, they killed Mr. Spring. Oh my god. Look at that. See, like you just go No. I thought he died. I thought he died. I, I, was, about, I was about to scream. I was like, if that killed him, I would have cried. He's dead. Oh, never mind. Nope. Iframes on the iframes on the flip kick. Yeah, flip kick. Let's see what we got here. Uh-oh. Barry. He oh, Good no. mash! No way. Ashley. Ashley! Is he dead? Oh, he's not dead. Oh, he might be dead now. Uh, he's trying to go for the cl Twitter clip. It's items bracket, bro. Just kill him. If he loses this, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Absolutely trolled. Well. Ah. Uh, Got him again. 58%. That's really good. Uh-oh. GG, my good what sir. What are you doing? He's dead. What? what? SDI goes crazy, oh. bro. But the beast. No <laughs> the way. Ball, I call that the beast ball. <laughs> bro. <laughs> the, the, the classic beast ball. The, ah, you thought you were safe? Nope. Get hit by this beast ball. Zoom.
I forgot the name of the drink that Hero just showed Beast, but I, I know it's very, very good. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a, it's Look like it. it's a Hispanic drink. It's really good. What is it? What is it? Um, you know it or? It's like a, it's like an orange drink. It's like an orange soda, but it's like a Hispanic orange soda. Huh. I forgot the the brand name of it, but it's really good. It sounds interesting. Does it taste like? It doesn't taste like orange soda, but it's does very it? Very good. Does it's it actually, so good. Wait, does it's it like, taste like orange soda? Or? Yeah. Oh my god, that actually sounds really good. It's like it's like a, but it doesn't taste like your typical like Fanta. It tastes better. Huh, bro? How many times? Are we, I feel like sometimes. Too. I feel like. I feel huh? like Beast. Is, Beast is like uh -oh. manipulating to get. Um, uh, hold on. Does he die right here? I feel like Beast is manipulating the RNG, bro. This motherfucker has gotten Beast Ball in all of the games I've seen him play on stream. I don't think again, I don't think he uses the items. I think he just goes for whatever neutral he has with Captain Falcon and hopes for the best. Oh my god. <laughs> and like if he gets items along the way, that's just a bonus. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. Oh! The Donk City! The Tim Slapper! Okay. Oh no. Oh no. The knees. Okay. They both have separate parts now. But who that will, tripped, bro. But who will come out on top? Is the real question. Alright, well They both have items for each other's Yeah, and like one that, that one that one little item on the side right there that just yeah, like that. well now he has it, so Oh he needs to get No, one they've more been piece. trading it. They've been trading it back and forth. Yeah, but like there's two different parts. Killing the, edge. The Kidicris part and the other part, I'm guessing that's from Kirby or something. I don't know. He's got the killing edge. That that shit can't crit. Is that oh. Mr. Saturn? No. He just needs to get, they both need to get one more piece of, the, of a different item. Yeah, BC's sees that and that's over. It's over. Hold up. Can he land his shots? Can you land your shots? Hit your shots, kid! Oh, he fucking missed. He didn't hit his shot. It's okay. Everybody knows. Bro, Joe. that was some bullshit. No way. Uh, sayonara. See you later, See brother. Later. See you later, alligator. Oh. That Double was smart. Knife. That was smart. Got the shovel knife just in case if you do die. Oh no! no way. That's oh, it. Oh, the call out. That's it. That's it. That didn't kill. What? Oh, but he, oh, he picked fairy. up fairy. It's even. Even Steven. No way he just evened it out like that. <laughs> this is this Now he's timing him out. <laughs> he's getting timed out. <laughs> Wait, at the clock, bro. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, at, no. That was a combo. That was such a at, good combo. Look at Joel trying to just try to break through it all. Break through it all. He missed the tag. Oh, my God. He's trying to approach something that's unapproachable. The back air. Vinny's oh up God. now. Vinny is up this now. is crazy. This is scary now. Hold up. No way. <laughs> Joel doesn't know how to play with items, bro. Talk to him at the sound of the beam. He's really getting mixed right now. This man's getting put into the stir fry. Oh, no. Oh, no. no what bro, is happening? What is happening? Oh, no. Master Ball. No. He can't pick it up. This might be. <gasps> Hold on. His saving grace. That was smart. Yep, throw the last item just in case. Oh, he didn't wait up the invisibility. Interesting. Oh, I guess it didn't matter. Oh no. He... no. Oh no. No. Not like this. That was smart. Good job, Vinny. Vinny knows that there's yes. Oh. Run away. It's over. It's over. You don't escape the hammer. You don't escape the hammer. What is it from Rickroll Show? The hammer! What? The painful seed! Oh no! Who, who loses? What? <laughs> he lost from that interaction? <laughs> what? Wait, but wasn't Joel up? Joel had more percent. I don't think so. I think the pitfall seed in the down smash put him at 45. Did it? We're gonna watch it back here. Yeah, I was like, Joel was up this entire percent. 26. I need to see what happened. 45. Then he just went for it all. And then he, and then he went for an up beat. But he, he was still was up still at 46. Up. But oh, he, was he was closer to the edge. Yeah, he was closer to the edge. That's crazy. That is whack. <laughs> that is such cheat man. I fucking love this bracket. That is, I love watching this that bracket. Is such this bracket cheat is awesome. That is so cheating, man. Ew, who played Richter on side stream? Oh, that's whack. Man, I'll be sick as hell if that shit happened to me. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Fuck positioning, bro. Fuck positioning. That shit's dumb. <laughs> bro, 
that's just crazy. <laughs> this game is fun, bro. This game is honestly so much fun. Oh my god. Everybody's crowding around like one setup at a time. This is actually funny as hell. Oh, he's playing Falco. Oh, I think he's doing that to get an Aphelion set because he knows that uh, Aphelion hates playing against Falco players. Oh. <sighs> These sets, these sets have me not being able to breathe, bro. This, this is like so much funny. Big pop off. I need a commentating partner. I'm lonely as hell over here. We have like 30 some odd people in this room. Time. Uh oh. Items. Beware. Run away. <laughs> that uppercut is crazy. No way. Projectiles. Fletchling! Oh, it's a fake one! Stop hitting it! The backer kills. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! What's, ha what's gonna happen? No way. That hit him! Oh my god, this game is bad! <laughs> This game is fun, but this game is bad. He died for that. He got hit at 40. What is happening? To the skies. That's crazy. Okay, so they both cheated each other. This is absolutely going crazy, bro. This whole bracket is so scuffed. Uh, we're playing. We're playing Smash. How it's supposed to be, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is what Sakurai wanted. The uh, way Sakurai into. Oh my God, the bomb bombs. What's up, everybody? <laughs> this is Stay Fun. <laughs> we got, we got they they both they both cheated pe cheated each other off of stocks, bro. This this game has been going crazy. Like this this bracket always goes crazy. It looks like you're just having fun with it. You know? Oh, absolutely. All I, but I do know that um, Aphelion is probably having the worst time of his life because he hates playing against Falco players. What else is new? Very true. <laughs> what else is new? Hey, I mean, Pennsylvania is known for their Falcos. There's a bunch of them down in Philadelphia, so. I know that Trash has a saying. He, he always, he like, whenever somebody picks Falco against him, he's like, oh, that's right, you're from Pennsylvania. <laughs> There's nothing that was wrong. a really cool snipe, though, by uh, Atlas to take that game. There's nothing wrong with Falco, though. I mean, he's pretty <laughs> saucy. What's up, guys? Yeah, he puts him. He puts him in the. He puts him in cutscenes, bro. Yeah. He puts you in a cutscene. Yo, we got Yoshi, but the real fun uh. is we got Stafe on the building. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Man, ain't been here since day freaking one. <laughs> hey, well, oh, oh, I, I took a little break. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> 
I feel like they're waiting for items to spawn. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. that's exactly that's what they want. <laughs> that's what uh, Atlas is doing right now, stalling until you can pick up a uh -oh, Pokeball or something. Oh, the shield oh. comes up. Oh, oh. He tried to grab it with the air dodge. This is that's the smoke bomb. Which Pokemon is that? Uh, go go. Uh oh. Smoke bomb. Oh, pick up the assist. Did he get it off? Oh, oh no, not this again. The big brain. No plays. way, not this again. Don't do it to him. Giratina out of a regular Pokeball. That's crazy. Yep. Oh, that's 69. Wait. I have a chance. As long as we don't get Polkia, because I remember Polkia ruined the... No. Oh, the, the one stage, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alolan Raichu. Ooh. He got hit! He got sniped by the Raichu! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of good There's a lot of good is it all items on? Uh, I think I I think we did take uh, Palkia out. I really hope we did. You can do that. Yeah, you can choose what Pokemon come out of the Pokeballs. Oh. The Psybe. Oh uh, God! Invincibility right now. Oh, there's a Smash Ball. The Rage. The Rage. Gun. <laughs> he abandoned that to try and go for the final yeah, Smash. Yeah. Actually, you're about to like, like, if everyone wants to, it's gonna... Oh, no! Oh! Oh, why, was, why did he... free! Yeah, why did he do that? Right. Okay. okay. Oh! Oh, wow, that was smart. And he, I takes the uh, smash. So Uh-oh. Does Aether... Does Aether yeah, have I was gonna say... Does Grand oh, great. Oh! Yeah. Wait, was it the item? Um, yeah. Wow. Killing Edge. Yeah. Sniped? I would be very upset if I was a Filion. <laughs> Done. Oh, he Z-dropped that. He tried to throw him the His frame that he was off. getting teleported. Oh. Oh, he wanted to be One more, to one be more teleport? No. Nope. Dash tag, 150. Aphelion has come back from worse. At 158 for Ike, though, against uh, Falco. Uh, probably not. <laughs> it, it, it's probably... No, they're not looking probably good for him. Thing. And there you go, up smash. There it is, and Atlas takes it. GG's, 2-0, Atlas. But, Ape but Apheleon has a smile on his face, hey. so yes. that's what matters. I mean, it's... You're playing... You're playing Very with true. items on. Like, come on, you can't rage that hard yeah. against it. If it was in bracket, then, you know... Oh, that's uh, gonna be Beast sick. Beast and Atlas on main okay, screen right now. Okay, now, now the question is, is, is Atlas gonna go back to the Sheik that absolutely cheated his way through his first round? I don't know. I mean, Beast definitely has the, the Falco experience. But anything goes when it comes to items. Sheik, like, he told me that he was going to go Sheik yesterday at uh, Breakfast Club because Sheik's, like, super fast aerials, you just get to cheat, cheat combo your way across the stage. <laughs> but you don't have the power behind them. That's where the items come in. Yeah, that's true. You just cheat your way through and then try and pick up an item do on it, the way do through. It, do it, do it. Is he going to do it? Let's go! <laughs> All right, we're gonna see the Sheik versus Captain Falcon. What is this melee? <laughs> no, that's that's Max actually. <laughs> oh no, not Joao. this! Joao trying to go for the early cheese. That clank with whatever he threw out. Master Ball Zorark. Oh. No way! He's dead! Wow. He's just dead! No. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Oh, he... <laughs> Guile. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this feels this feels like I'm watching a, a Street Fighter V set. With no Street Fighter music, though. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, if it was Guile's theme, sure, but... No way. Atlas is playing very good right now. Uh-oh. Joel's just mashing, bro. No way. Oh. Wow. That was a really good dodge. 
you were saying about Atlas playing really good right now? <laughs> I mean, he was up in percent until he got the Mega Tomato. Until he wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, he was. He, it was like no, 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 no. I'm saying he was. He was up in percent until he wasn't anymore. Oh, <laughs> <The> clicks. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I love this game. And he dies yeah, yeah. because of invincibility. Guard of War. Uh, that that puts a really big hamper on um on uh, a he lot of the Smash Ball right now. Oh, come on. There you go. Uh oh. Uh, I want to see. He knows the confirms. Oh, what are you doing? Wait, what was, what was that? <laughs> I feel like he just wanted to get it off the stage. You know what? That's fair. He doesn't want to get cheesed. He's playing a cheesy character too. Uh, Swirlix. I don't know. <laughs> what does Swirlix do? Uh, it's it's a slowdown zone. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's oh. Knuckles. Knuckles the Echidna, baby. Oh man, dead today. <laughs> Bro, that shield is looking so small. <laughs> Joel is fighting for his life right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Wait. Okay. All right. Oh, this. He need. Oh, he oh, got no. big. Oh, he got no. big. Oh no. <laughs> No way. No way. No way! Damn. Joel cheats, bro. Joel fucking cheats. That's, man, Joel, Joel, all he does is cheat. Oh my god, this is crazy. Hit the pal. Franklin badge, not that it helps. <laughs> oh, to pick up the... Bro, no oh, way. Wait, what? Bro, no shot. What the fuck? Joel cheats. <laughs> Joel cheats so fucking bad, bro. <laughs> yeah, the Franklin badge reflected the tornado, bro. That's check what it hit check this man's controller. <laughs> <laughs> this man cheats. Is FK here in it again? Like, <laughs> this man cheats so bad. Check right. check the knockback on this setup. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on here? Whose setup is this? It was chic. <laughs> I, I, I saw him hover that, that Incineroar for a couple of seconds. Yeah, let's say, wait a minute. I kind of wanted to see the in Incineroar cheese. Don't worry, not get... playing in this bracket. Uh, next bracket. Well. The next bracket he is. I want Nico to try his damnness, bro. We'll see if Nico goes all out. Nico, Nico is going to intentionally lose just inside a top eight, just, to make, just so he can run bracket. I mean, that's, uh, that's the life of a TO. Wow, both dead, yeah. You know what? Worth it. Interesting. Is it really worth it if um it has been it is it has been shown it's in the tapes? It if... Oh, <laughs> they're oh my just god. Juggling back and forth. Yo, he almost died. That was crazy. Joel's DI is insane. Yeah. Especially because oh, he's dead. That was five percent. That was kind of nice. on the second. Five percent on the second stock, bro. All right. Good grab. That up tilt is so dumb. Why did that hit him? Chariot just, Chariot just wanted to play. Come on. Calls out the jump. Oh. The weak hit. Joel. Oh, is he dead? No, is he's he dead? not dead. Okay. Come on. Oh Joel. no way. Wow, he got it. He's gonna. Be he got wow, it. Wow, that was so good. Oh, he good. didn't get him. Oh no. Not like this. Joel cheese him right now. No way. Okay. Uh, good DI. Good, good. Mr. Freeze? Oh no. Oh, oh that's free. Oh no. That is, oh wait. Okay. Good DI. If that, if that was fake. Yeah, I was gonna say, if that was real, then this one's definitely fake. Oh, he's saving it. Get the party ball. Wait. No way. <laughs> what a! I hate this guy. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. He's so fucking privileged, bro. <laughs> what is that bullshit? I don't know about jo privilege. He just cheats. Bro, he he died at zero. <laughs> Wait, what? Did, so what? I don't. The understand. side B. The side B activated all of the bomb bombs at once because it's a fire. Because it's a fire move. He's just better. Oh yeah, he God. just built different, bro. That's disgusting. What? Is that a count as a zero to death? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs>
I mean, it's items, so. I hate this Legit game. Legit zero death in 1.5 seconds. You don't hate this game. Shut I up. love this game. Yeah. <laughs> but I hate this game, too. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah. yeah be vote sure for to MCF vote now awards. for the MCF Awards. Uh, yes, winners, yes, you should. The, the link the will day, be right? in the Twitch chat. Uh, it's in the Twitch chat right uh, uh, about. Just type this in. Right about. Now. now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. Here, let me uh, switch the chat. Yeah, be sure to vote for your favorite people. Man, there you go. There you guys are. Oop, yeah. wrong way. We're, we're gonna we're gonna stuff the balance. Unless it's right. I've been just told to go to side stream. Yeah. Go go to side. Oh, go to side stream. Apparently there's something cool going on. Oh, it's Sido versus Law. Sido is playing Wolf. The Mondo Wolf. Oh, we gotta we gotta swap the. What, oh, what a good air dodge. This is actually. Oh, this crazy. is a custom PS2 area, right? Yeah. This is um. This is Vinny's modded Switch. Ooh. I should mod my Switch. Is yours moddable? Uh, it's like a first gen, I'm pretty sure. So oh, wow. I probably, probably is moddable. I gotta double check though. No way. Oh. Oh. No, no way. <laughs> oh my god. That was disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, we're just watching cheese all day long, bro. This, it's items. I love this. Items I love watching on. this bracket. I would I would be so angry if I was playing in this bracket. Because of all the cheesy shit you can die to. It's items, man. How can you get upset? I'm very competitive when it comes to playing video I mean, games. It, it, dude, you... This game's so broken. It's hard It's hard to be are so... You good, are you good, Yellow? Where, where's the Yellow? Oh, my dog just stepped on my neck. You good, bro? Kind of dog. That one? Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> what the dog? Whoopsie. Oh, anyway, yo, guys. So we're going to run some quick ads. Okay. At uh, time. Me. At break. Right. At right. break. Welcome to More Than Friendly. Sure. These be sure to, uh, are your vote. candidates for most improved. We got Mooch, Quack, Over Easy, Pulse, and Rondor. I feel like, I, uh, in all honesty, I feel like our, like. Well, no vote. It, you can't. You don't, don't, I, don't sway the viewers. No, yeah, you can't yeah, sway yeah. the viewers. Actually, you have all these yeah, fans yeah. watching. Yeah. Don't sway the viewers I mean, to vote for Quack, Over Easy, yeah. Mooch, Pulse, or Rondor. <laughs> See, I had to call on their own. Yeah, I had to. Out of, all, out, of all five, out of all five of these, I feel like these are really <laughs> good fun. candidates. Like, in all, in 100% honesty, they're Pulse, all, they're Pulse, all solid. Pulse has made leaps and bounds. Over easy too. Quack is probably playing the best I've ever seen since I met him. Quack's a more than friendly staple. So is Mooch. Uh, Rondor is yeah. also a solid Rondor, player too. Rondor has been playing out of his mind yeah. the last couple of weeks. All these, all these people are, are, so, like are solid players. Speaking of these guys though, hey, Shermacon. Yeah, Shermacon January coming 28th. up. January 28th. Um. We got tournaments running for the games that you see on screen. We're running some D&D one-shots throughout the day, board games, Magic the Gathering. Uh, cosplay contest, if you Ooh. if you are into cosplaying, we de we will be there. Artist Alley and free play tables Absolutely. all around. January 28th, be there. Or be square. I'll probably be there. I hope I hope I hope that's, I have the I hope right, I have time right. off. Yeah. I hope I have time is off it, for this. It, this is free, right? Free to free to go, free to play. Free to play all day. It free is not free to play to play all day. Uh, I found out you pay for the venue fee, then it's free play. I think it's ten. Yeah, it's ten dollars. No, she, she probably fifteen. Put that, she probably put that on the slide. It's fifteen dollars. All right, so it's fifteen dollars. It's not. Sherman free. goes. Sherman likes to write their. Oh, own okay, so anytime, it's so. free to play at GameCube, but in order to go into ShermanCon, you gotta pay fifteen dollars. That's probably a good clarification. Well, right? yeah, the clarification is when you go into Sherman, Sherman Theater. Uh, we're gonna have like a booth. You play the venue fee. Once you play the venue fee, you can play our free setups, and then we have a tournament bracket that's gonna be a little extra. All right. So then there you go. And then winners, there's no cash pot this time, but they're giving away Sherman tickets to almost any show. Wait, to almost. Do you get to? Do you get to pick the show? Yes. You that's get, awesome. Yeah, so it's basically wait. like a blank ticket. The golden tickets. It's uh, just one golden ticket or yes. two. One. Just one. One golden ticket. I kind of just I mean, kidding. No, it's three. <laughs> From okay. Top place. Uh, oh, okay. So that's not. <laughs> we bad. get a golden ticket. That's actually pretty. Yeah. That's pretty good. They you split up the smaller you shows and, too. You and two friends. Yeah. yeah. If you have friends. <laughs> if you have friends. Oh, well, you if you don't okay. have friends, you, you go okay. to the Breakfast <laughs> Club and make some friends. <laughs> Damn, make some friends man. at the Breakfast Club, man. Ten dollar entry coaching bracket streamed on Twitch.tv slash GameQ Lounge. It's a it's a vibe. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I, it's I pop on the stream. I watch while I'm. I got absolutely bodied yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah, I even I even tried to call out uh, Justin, and I got absolutely fucking rocked. Yeah, it happens. Everything happens oh, yeah. at the Breakfast Club. What else is going on? Oh, yeah, here, more unfriendly. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, are yeah. not here next week, yeah. but January 3rd, we will be back. More than friendlies. Uh, Hell yeah. Side events at 6 p.m., singles at 7 ish <laughs> <laughs> depending on how everything goes. But, yeah, you, they're here every Tuesday. 
We chill. Except for next week. Yeah, except for next you know, week. everyone needs a break, especially yep. after Christmas. Oh, New yeah. Year coming up, you know. So. There's no way Mondo just cheated the shit out of that game. I was, Are I you was like, we're, we're watching the side stream right we're now. Yeah. And we Play. also got Kaiju Tournaments Fight Night. Uh, we got Dragon Ball Fighters, Guilty Gear Tekken, and Guilty Street Gear Fighter. And the, here? Guilty Gear might make it. Uh, we're just gonna talk about this entropy. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about it. It's up to your. It's actually up to your decision. So basically, yes. Uh, on it. Wednesdays, by the way. On Wednesdays. 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 So Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> Wednesday fighters. Damn. Okay, now, I, now I wish we kept it on Sundays because. The, oh because, my because, god. Because, because because I work on because I work on. Maybe I work at Amazon, maybe Kaiju will make it happen uh, on, make, on Sundays. I make. I work because I just I just got a job over at Amazon and my and my scheduled shifts are Wednesday to Saturday. Ah, uh, rip. Uh, be sure to follow us on social media, oh, Facebook, wait, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at Genki Lounge uh, for all of them. Yep. Yeah. So. That's fun. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess. Uh, Promo code Game Glitch. What's the percentage off, Mr. Game I believe you 10%. get a dollar off on oh, first order, and oh, more oh, people buy it, you get more and more off every time you use the code. Okay. So it's so a multiple there, time here. So. There you go. Yeah. Oh, there's that's a, sick. There's a couple of okay flavors for Glitch. I heard uh, from Mr. Gamer7, who also has their own code. So, yeah. where, where you go. Uh, <laughs> but he also like uh, the Vixen Lemonade is really good, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I have tried it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm going I'm to I'm be real, though. I tried the Larry Lure one. That was, was kind of. Hell yeah! I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but <laughs> till they till they also has a flavor which I enjoyed. Which is uh, that? I, I can't remember what the flavor. Oh was man, called. you gotta get the MPT uh, <laughs> out there, bro. I, what did they What did they name it? Like Apple Bong or some shit like that? Oh, it's all <laughs> kind of funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. We skipped over. Some yeah, yeah, we, we skipped that. We got we got to get back oh, into the main no. bracket. But I won't put this in all here. Right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. tournament coming uh, January seventh. Uh, Frankie's Cafe, New, New Jersey. We're gonna be start job GG slash ST. And we're going to be streaming it on uh, Twitch.tv forward slash the Italian Panda. That's uh, the letter, the yeah, the letter E is instead of three in the word the. To me, awesome. Oh yeah, one more, a couple, couple more votes. Uh, we got the commentators of the year because I think Siddle didn't realize his. Uh, yeah, that's his that's crazy. Character. How are we not talk? on there? Uh, 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 <laughs> what is this? You were nominated. You were nominated. I, I didn't. I, I didn't. wasn't nominated. All right, no, but we got commentator. No, we got Snipey, Ice on deck, Mecca, Overeasy, and Melon. The OG yeah. melee. I didn't. I also got. <clears throat> what else we got here going on? We got Game Q Fest. We will announce all the awards. I see this. Uh, the ads are a little mixed up right now. This is kind of fun. January twenty first. Doors open yep. at one. We got PM. Tekken, bro. We got Fighters, Smash Bros. Melee. We got and it, melee. We might, melee stay fun. Stay fun. Listen, we might have a Halo tournament in the background. Just saying. I guess I'm smiling, gonna, smiling, bro. Don't, I don't know. Don't trick him into coming, bro. So <laughs> I might do a Fortnite, too. Fortnite might be up there, too. I'm going to say these on my calendar. I'll be sure to come through. It's a Saturday, yeah, it's right? It's a Saturday. Yeah. It's always a Saturday. I got to come in and smack everybody in Halo anyway, so. Play, player. Yeah, anyway. I might play, though, so you might have a challenge at least, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not I really miss, a challenge. But anyway, back to the main <laughs> event here. Well, I guess not the main event, but item singles. <laughs> yeah. Side event. <laughs> main side event. Mondo <laughs> cheated to get here. Let's go. Let's go, Mondo. All right, let's go, Panda. Powers. Will he be able to beat the Vincenzo? I kind of want to see Vinny go against Beast in the uh, finals. You missed it. You missed it. Before. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. I said. I heard Vinny said he. Yeah, he got cheesed. Ditto. <laughs> Damn. Bomb on. Oh nope. Oh no. Oh, there goes Vinny's ditto. Get the blue shell. Woo, 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 woo. No way. The blue, there you go. Let's go, Vinny. Vinny takes stock one thanks to the blue turtle shell. Uh, ooh, oh, that up smash. That was okay. Back air misses, but the upper connects, but it trades. There. Good heal. Oh, and but Mondo gets the. Oh, he barely misses the wolf. God, that, move, that move. That move is so dumb. <laughs> I, oh, I, Starman. I like uh, Fox's final smash better, Landmaster. <laughs> yeah. He's he's just getting absolutely destroyed by this, bro. Vinny got lucky that he picked up that, uh, what was it, the, blue the tomato? The pitfall seed? Yeah. Oh, the tomato. Oh, no, no, the What's tomato. Mega yeah. tomato or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But he's back, back up at 109. Hell yeah, Goldeen used Splash, but it, but nothing happened. Uh, Fox doesn't have Landmaster anymore. Oh, says, he doesn't? Says Yellow. Oh, no. I'm dumb. What does Fox have now? Crystal. 
Uh oh. Galaga, how good's your mash, Vinny? Because everybody seems to be getting hit by this fucking thing out today. The Nair. Alucard. Uh... If you want to ruin Helsing for any of your friends, just say Alucard is Dracula backwards. Damn, am I, am I really thinking of Smash 4 when it comes to Fox and Landmaster? That's how that's how much I play with sma uh, items on. <laughs> I'm dumb. Bro, he has hit like all of these. Is he today. dead? Yeah, yeah, he's dead. He has hit every single one of those today. I mean, it's kind of hard to miss with that too. I've I've missed it before, but that might have just been Wi-Fi. Might be a skill issue. <laughs> Bro, the killing edge. No way! No, no way! It's, it was in the stage! What the hell? Damn. <laughs> I, hate, I hate how janky this game is, but I love this game. The star you fucking clipped through the whole stage to be shooting projectiles through the stage. He didn't know where they were coming from. Star you always did. I feel like that's always been a problem. No matter where. <laughs> Damn. That really just set Vinny up to get fucking spiked down. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> We're going into game two right I would, now. I would lose my mind if I got hit by something. <laughs> I mean, something you can't like really that. get upset about that. <laughs> I feel like it would be a, I feel like it would be a funny pop off, like, like just a, what the fuck yeah. is that? I'd be like, what the fuck? Be, yeah. Everybody's playing the game. But I still, I, I, I still call that losing it because like, yeah. bro, people are keep keep getting these mythic, these mythical Pokemon and legendary Pokemon like, like candy off of, off of like regular ass Pokeballs. How, like, how are people here so damn lucky? <laughs> oh wow, Vinny. <laughs> Vinny has need off of down throw. That sucks. <laughs> now Vinny's just gonna fucking wait. <laughs> oh my god, bro. This is hilarious. That's two pieces right now. Oh, there's a third. Oh my god. Good catch. He read his soul on that down smash. That was gonna read. Oh he got the he got the item! Oh wow, and he it, got it. Damn he is dead. That's crazy. He just rod Mondo zero of the second stock. What a zero to death, is, bro. Is that, is that like automatic stock if you get hit by that? I don't know. Bro, no. <laughs> no shot. No shot. All right. Get the reflect. Oh, wow. Come on. Oh, Vinny, no. Wow. What an air dodge. That was, that was good. <laughs> good air dodge coming out from Vinny. Oh, no. <laughs> that, that's so scary to see. This doesn't help anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh no! Shadow. That's not good. Bye. It's the Mecha Theory. No. He still. Wait. Oh, he can, did he keep invincibility that whole time? Oh no! Wow! No way! Nice shot! That doesn't kill though. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man! Is this the end for Vincenzo? No! Oh, he's got it first! Then he oh got... my god! He got robbed! I don't know if he got robbed, but <laughs> he got taken off stage for sure. I agree. You're talking all the final smashes for the spaces, yellow. That sucks. <laughs> right now on side Why stream, is, we got Opana versus 
Uh, why is Justin? Why is Justin playing against a Duck Hunt CPU? I think he's maybe he's prepping for Troll Dog. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like that they made them all the same. That's like I don't know, boring. I think that's a little lazy on their part. But you know, it's Smash. What do you mean? Falco does little cute barrel rolls while he's while he's shooting the guns. <laughs> it, it, it's just different enough. It's not just different enough. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I think I think it's really admirable what um what Sakurai is doing now though like he has a whole YouTube channel based around like how to make games and he's a he's actually taking a net loss on it. I mean he he takes a net loss right now and then if he comes back for Smash, I don't know what what do you Smash yeah what do you call it Smash um, like, Smash Superior if, if, <laughs> if he does if he does come back with Smash I feel like he should keep the original eight or original 11 based on which game he wants to treat as like the original like cast of characters that he wanted to keep in the game and like just rebuild a new roster from the ground up uh i tell you one thing they're not getting the whole or cast back <laughs> they're not getting any, oh absolutely yeah, not they're, even, they're not even gonna get himself they're not getting sora back that's that's a he lot said of that, money he said that himself too like he said he said like if 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 smash 7 does happen um the the roster size is going to be considerably smaller. I think they're probably going to bring back like maybe brawl, <laughs> brawl roster. That's it. I want. I want to see a few extras. I want to see the melee roster, and then just all new characters. You know what? Just put all the Fire Emblem characters and call it a day. <laughs> I would. I would like that, but I. I want one Fire Emblem character, and I want it to be Alir from the new game. Oof. Bro! Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You see Aphelion just laughing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, what else is new? Bro, he has was that, a was that a tea bag? Oh wow. Mondo just What is the purpose of the sandbag? The, the home run bag? I don't know, can you hit into someone? Oh no! Oh, oh no! Big. Oh no! Oh my! Oh no! Wow! He died. Okay, that's no easy. way! Wow! That was no a way! Damn! And that was a very very short game. Sandbag foes. Look at this. What the fuck was that, bro? Picks it up. Did he actually combo into the yes, kill? Oh yes, my god, what a god. <laughs> Damn, that was a shot. What a snipe. <laughs> yeah, even, uh, Apelion can't even be mad about that. So, someone get this kid to phase clan right now. <laughs> We're getting a Pyromyther switch. If I had my friend here, I'd be able to tell you like a, a combo or whatever. Uh, Oh no, not the not the overlay outing of Felion, bro. What? His um his ta his Twitter tag is is impact, but instead of using I, it's a um it's a lowercase L and it, and the um the thing outed him for it. Oh what? no. Like the the the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the, the thing was only. like pulling it up it said L impact. Uh oh. I was like, bro, that's disgusting. Oh, the bees! Those bees are so annoying. No wow. way. Okay, I thought I thought that was a kill a kill spark for a Felion. A Felion. There's the hammer. Mondo gets back on stage. Uh, no way. He's keeping him away from the hammer right now. Oh, oh no. There you go. Oh. Oh, he just what a good, it. What a good spot. Uh, yeah. Neutral air dodge. Oh no. This is the second time we see this thing. This is like the fifth time I've seen it. Uh, good. Ew. Mother brain. No. Okay. Fun fact, I learned I learned that Mithra I, I'm probably gonna say this like a thousand times, but um Oof. Mithra's up tilt is neutral on shield. 
Oh, yeah. Like, there's no frame advantage and there's no frame disadvantage. Wow. He got hit by that. He's dead. He got it. Wow, I've wanted to see this for so long. <laughs> Goodbye. That didn't oh, kill. Oh, great DI. Okay. Damn. The last time I saw that hit, that, that must have been, like, the worst DI in the world. That was a really Ooh. good pitfall seed Z drop. Starman. Up tilt takes it. Good kill coming out from Nephilion. Oh, oh my up throw? God. He's stuck. No. Oh, he got out of it. And right now back into right it. Back into it. Just in time. There you go. Oh, Shadow coming out again. He's every time I've seen Shadow. No way, bro. <laughs> what are you gonna Wait, do? What, what are you gonna frozen? do, Mondo? What's the punish? <laughs> oh no, he's dead. Oh my god. Mondo's garbage. <laughs> oh my god. Shovel Knight! Come on, Shovel Knight. No way. Oh, the heart container! No! That was good. Yeah. Good. All zero, right, zero, zero. zero. Let's go. That, <laughs> that heart container really came in clutch. I hate the, <laughs> the health re. Oh, there's a. Okay, well, I mean, this doesn't help really. Anyone. <laughs> the pitfall scene that was left on stage. Oh, are we going to see another Wolfen? Come on. No way. He hit it again. He hit it the again. The hunt is on, boys. Is he dead? He's dead. Damn. Mondo takes that 2 0. Good handshakes going. GG's, GG's. Damn. He's finally able to hit those. Mondo is cheating. Oh, man. We're going to have the space seas now? No, we're going to switch over to the mainstream. Oh. Uh, I mean, uh, main bracket. Sorry. So, uh, for you guys, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right. Oh. And we'll be back with some ultimate singles one-on-one -on -one action. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right on time.
Hello, everybody. Welcome to More Than Friendlies. Hey, let's go. This is the last More Than Friendlies of the year, y'all. And everyone is here. Everyone you can think of, Beast, Mondo, LJG, Frat Hobby, whole squad coming through. And the special guest, right over there, Mr. Yoshio himself, all the way in, coming to take the throne for himself. But not if any of these 40 competitors have anything to say about it, including this man right here, Papa Melon. How are you doing, good sir? I'm doing excellent. How are you doing, Yo, I'm my good so friend? hyped. I'm so hyped. I'm ready to go. We're going to get some high octane action for the last more than friendlies of the year, bro. Yes, we are. Oh. This is going to be amazing. Massive bracket. Legit. Did you see it? 40 plus, dude. What is going on? Why are I don't know why everyone's here, but thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's, it's the last one of the year, bro. We got to end this with a bang before the new year of 2023, bro. We're going to start off right now with Slumpo and Crystal Chat, bro. Oh, Crystal Chat. Okay. I'm down for this. Yeah, the last time we saw him, he, he did some crazy stuff with Banjo, bro. We're ready to see if he's going to keep it up here against his Terry. Round one, game one, PS2. Are you ready, bro? Let's get it. Yes. <laughs> All right. So. Banjo Terry, weird bra weird matchup. 100%. This is a this, this is, is a really awkward matchup, and like, especially when the banjo plays it super safe, then it would, then it becomes a really scary game for Terry because Terry can't get in easily. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But on the flip side here, uh, Terry when it, when he does rack up that damage roll, it's massive damage, especially on someone like Banjo who really does not want to like engage too much unless it's in his favor. And it's, you're gonna see a lot of palace and a lot of a lot of uh, grenade here to really create those openings that would give him the advantage. I'm guessing right now it's probably either a button check or some shenanigans that happen. I genuinely can't tell. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. button check, button check. All right, Ben, we're officially just figuring things out here. All right, so ignore the hype that I had like, starting out there. We were, getting, we were like premature, man, just a little premature. Facts, facts. All right, but we're going to get this for realsies, man. So Banjo Terry, most likely. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to see how Crystal Chat gets through Gets, gets around the pressure that Terry can actually provide, especially when it comes to his specials, his burning knuckle, rising tackle, flip kick, all that stuff, bro. Facts. It's This is very much a spacing game. 100%. In this one, just zoner versus rush in. It's always Terry. Even, like, there's a tier difference here. Terry's definitely higher up. Terry has a bit of an easier time against most characters. For sure. This is a hidden, scary matchup for Terry because of what Banjo can do to zone. Not to mention the fact, Wonder Wing is always a play, no yeah. matter what. And you can't, yes, sir. You can't sleep on it one bit. Miss Yo. We are underway. PS2, the good old fashioned. Slumpo trying to space out, catches the grenade. I like that. Yeah, Crystal there definitely is already uh, feeling the pressure here of uh, Slumpo really going for these for these aggressive options. Right? But good grenade there for Derek. Get that damage going. And now it's a zoning game here for that mid-range. But what a run in, go for the jab, jab, power, dunk. And now he's now let's see if this, let's see what Let's Trap here Slumpo tries to go for. He's not, it looks like he kind of just gave it up quite early. Um, so reset neutral coming up here. I already see here quite a lot. Slumpo is like, he's kind of getting around these these projectiles pretty well, I gotta admit. Ooh, ooh, respect it. The patience to wait to see the option. I like that too. Absolutely. Yeah, Go is also, Go is, is gonna be a very scary factor here for sure. Trying, whoa. Yep. Try, uh, trying to see what kind of options, um, especially in the less trap, they, uh, Crystal Chat likes to do here. I wonder if Slumpo is going to try to go for a little bit more weighted out, weighted out like that, especially at Wonder Wing there. Yeah. But Just because like, he has five and he can't use them doesn't mean he won't get punished for it. Not at all, my friend. And with... Ooh, good response. Yeah, speaking of punish, bro, that angel platform there was just enough there to get that down smash on Slumpo. And now it's even game once again, bro. And Crystal Chat is ele really electing to go for the slower game here. Got hit with that last hit of rising tackle. Now kickbacks. Oh man, now, now it's just damage right See, here, bro. It's it's funny. I talked about how crazy this is be a zoning game, but that's all up to if the banjo can hold that zone. Crystal Chat's struggling to hold that zone, so now it's completely flipped around. Slumpo is on 
full advantage right now. 100%. And even and even when it gets to like a slight advantage here, the Slumpo is just having a good time actually getting in and really racking that damage. Like even right now, he's he's looking to find his way through the eggs. Almost got through there with the grab there, but good on, on Chris Chat to go for the roll. And now it's just we just kind of find that opening for that that stock roll. It's actually low key kind of hard as Terry sometimes against zone to go for those stocks, um, especially when you're Ooh. playing as someone like Chris Chat who is who is aware of when to be slow and when to be fast. Yes. And he's bringing it right back. He had a couple nice strings there. Oh, doesn't get the follow-up. And we're almost at oh-no mode. Yeah, legit oh-no mode. So 80%. Now we're at oh-no oh, mode. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Literally, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Wonder Wing is still at one charge here. He could legit. Oh, oh yeah. see, there we go. That's dead. Yes, sir. He Caught the mash. Yes, he did. Yeah, that's the mix-up you got to look out for if, if you're uh, Banjo. Will will your opponent mash off down throw, or will they wait just a little bit? He's Rising dead. tackle off the down tilts. EX version, so you know that thing's going to kill. Last talk, both at 0%. This is going to be a good set already. I, I think we're going to three on this one. It's very possible, my man. But we got to see if, if Slumpo or Crystal Chatter can really get that big lead here off this last stock here. Because I think whoever gets this, last, this big lead here and that last stock is really going to take it home very well. It's going to put a lot of pressure on the other person to come back. Right now, it was on Slumpo, but with that Wonder Wing, they're making it even. This could be it's back and forth all the way through. I still don't like this position. He deserves. It. He deserved it. 100. He got yeah. Chris check out a little too greedy there. He thought for sure the Wonder Wing would blast through that F smash, but just hitting it just before. I don't even before. think it was that. I, I think he thought he was going to get the edge. I thought he was going. I think he wanted to sweet spot the edge with that up B. Gotcha. After he did that, it was a panic side B to get some sort of invincibility out there. For sure. But good on Slumber though. Either way, to get that F smash yes. off right before that invincibility actually went through. That startup there is deceptively long. You got you got to always be be wary of that. So, I'm, I'm sensing a little bit of matchup experience from Slumpo. I think he has a banjo. I think so. I think so. He, he looks did, like he, he's, he got the teddy bear look to him. You know? in, yeah. He, well, no. He's either got a pocket banjo or a banjo player near him that he plays against. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, he also looks like a teddy bear though. So like, it's true. He, he looks like someone I would give a Slumpo's big hug. not slumping. No, no, definitely not. Say that not right now. At, not at all, bro. I, I give this man a big hug. Stocks right on Slumpo are high. <laughs> Going into this game two, we're back to PS2. I don't like the stage choice here. No. How come, my friend? I. You go to a bigger stage in my book. If you're Banjo dealing with a Terry, if Town isn't banned, you go there immediately. If Kalos isn't banned, you go there. Right. I wonder if actually if both those stages that it got banned. Then he, that and I, if that's the case, I, I would go Northern Cave maybe. Interesting. I would actually, I would be cool staying here, but he has to really take that defensive gameplay to the next level, bro. Yes. He kind of, he wants to go in, he wants to hit his opponent, but when he realizes it doesn't work, he doesn't mix it up long enough. He will, he like, he'll, he'll start going slow, but then he'll like, okay, now I can go in to hit. When in reality, just going slower and waiting for your opponent to hit you is sometimes just a lot better. And like right there, if he, if he didn't go for that grenade there and just went for a hard punish, he would have definitely gotten it. That could have been just the stock, because 100, back throw, not going to kill, but still way off stage. Yeah, and interesting here that that uh, Crystal Chat is really not going for like a more of an aggressive edge play here. He's like electing oh. to use his grenades. And now he it's just like, threw three options out with no reason. Oh, you hate to see that. Facts. Whoa, watch that power duck. Oh, no. He's all right. Man, I'm feeling all the B buns right now, bro. It's very tasty. Oh, I wanna, I'm surprised to go for so the So, guys, I found a fun fact about this whole fight. What's oh. up, bro? So, Slumpo here is Haku's friend, and if he wins yes. at least one set all night, then Haku will play Steve for the rest of the, the rest of next year. For oh six months God. of that. Oh, that, this, yeah, is this, this is the guy. This is the guy. Okay. This is Slump the guy. So uh, I'm watching Haku friend. right now sweating right now in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Wait, Slumpo is doing really well, though, He's man. He's doing great. I, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Like. This is a very easy to just get washed on if you don't know the matchup, and he's not getting washed yeah, not at, at all. all. Not at all. But to, on the flip side, though, though, Crystal is kind of like giving these stocks a couple times, where it's like, he, like you said, he's missing the ledge, and it's costing. And now, this is the slow don't game I'm looking forward. for. Yeah, this is a slow game I'm, I really want to see for Crystal here. Really just uh, not afraid to gain space. And this will definitely help him out here, move, uh, get, this, get this going. He is now in full defensive mode. But now, and then he just ran in for the grab because he knew that he felt like he's going to shield after all the conditioning. This is what we like to see here. Yeah, honestly, this, this past 89% has been gorgeous by Christo. 100%, dude. Ooh, barely misses the nair to keep that going. Oh, he whiffs. 132, though. 132. This, this range can do some crazy stuff here if you're not careful. What a parry off that forwarder. I'm starting to see some more conditioning from Christo on try on the aggression, yeah. trying to force him to do something powerful with that oh no mode. Facts, but he's also kind of like throwing things out there, hoping it'll stick too. So like, 
Never, yeah, like I said, that one's stick. That yeah, you're right, stuck. you're right. Um, but you know what, though? He does get the big stock lead here. He's almost lapped him in percent. And if Sunpot doesn't find a way to really just mix, mess his tempo up that Crystal has pre presented, he's, he's going to go to game three like you, like you promised. Okay, so this stock get, became a lot more scary because he no longer has a get-out-of-jail-free card. Yes. And, he, now, and now Sunpot might, might be ready to go really all damage mode here. These, these fast attacks here aren't really doing too much for him, though, I will admit. Oh, <laughs> that spacing was so unfortunate. So but, good, though. He's got go mode. Oh, oh. This, is, this is spooky here, bro. Because you know, Slumpo 100%. Oh my god, what a. He almost got that with that, that down smash off the air dodge, though. If he, if he gets this at the edge, if he gets Buster at the edge, oh, never mind. Yep. Game Dude. three. I knew it. Game three. That, those last two stocks were so good by Crystal, bro. That's exactly what Crystal needed to be doing the whole time, and now it's on Slumpo to respond. Yes. Can he be patient and wait for those openings? Can he shield the eggs? Can he, can he use a Power Wave to be able to use his own projectile in his tool? That's the Yeah. Like, he, there's a lot of options that Slumpo has so, here. He really just needs to understand. I understand I'm not using Power Wave, actually. I feel like that's slow by comparison, and the eggs break it down, and Banjo has more time to do something than Terry does. Right, but we're, we're also on the flip side, though, with the grenade part, it does make the grenade explode when it does hit. That's if fair. You, yeah. If you time it right. So he's going Ryu here Ooh. instead. I actually love this pick, dude. I kind of agree. I, it, it was slower, but hits so much harder. It takes full advantage. We will have to see, though, how versed he is when it comes to the EX fireballs that Ryu, that he used Ryu. So it is game three, 1-1 uh, one, one all around. All right, right away, he does know how to use the red fireball here. So we got, we're, we're somewhere, bro. We're somewhere. But he looks, it looks like a, definitely a more B-heavy Ryu here. I will also say this. Crystal Chat definitely noted, knows what to do with Ryu because immediately there was more multi-hit moves. Yes. Recognizing just what Ryu brings to the table and using the moves that will break it. Ooh! Nice kick to the grill. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Whoa! I see. Yeah, so I think th this Ryu here is definitely more of a smash attack and B move Ryu here. He's not really going to be super technical, super delicate, but he's going to try to hit you, and he's going to try to hit you very hard. So we're going to see We'll see if Slumpo can actually find the openings here to be able to get the, that, that stock. That was really good dash back there. If you didn't, that, that, honestly, that dash back legit saved his whole stock, though, because you know for sure. Ooh, the patience. I loved that mix, but he dies for it. Yeah, mm. he, he, didn't, he didn't think that Winnowing was going to come out there. So Slumpo uh, definitely understands Ryu, for sure. 100%. So you can not, not gonna get a kill. Yep, not yet, not yet. I'm gonna bet money that Yoshio would totally be down for to see this, bro. Agreed. He seems like the, the Street Fighter fan, you know? Oh, absolutely. Oof. See, and here, again, here's the wall. Yeah, how do you break Eggs it, Eggs for days. Christo's just chilling. We, we chilling, we egging, grenades. Ooh, nice fist, okay. Ooh, but good air there to respond there. Or is that fair? My bad. Yeah. That was fair, yeah. Oh, he just throws them out there. He wanted the percent. For Doesn't sure. get it. You know, 56 though is still not bad extra credit here for your, for your stock. Got the 60, miss face the F smash. Back throw, is that going to kill? No. Not yet, no. No, Ryu doesn't really have a Oh, I was thinking of Ken. Yeah. I'm sorry. Ken. I mean, Ken's... Oh, no! Yeah, hate to see that. Yeah, yeah. He wanted to make sure he didn't get pineapple there by PS2. I totally get it. All right, so now, now honestly, though, any move can kill here, there including that fair. So... Stock behind against the zoner. You got to dig deep. 100%, bro. And he has no go mode, really, to, like... Got a good comeback factor here. So all this stuff here is gonna be based on hard neutral and understanding what Crystal Chat wants to do here. See, on second thought, now that I really think about it, maybe Ryu wasn't the choice in this style for one reason. Terry at least has burst options. Yeah. Ryu really struggles with the burst. Agreed, yeah. He's definitely more of a slower character, projectile heavy. That was a good uh, uh, mix-up though with, with going for the up tilts there and going for the nares. He seems yeah. getting caught with that, that Wonder Wing, though, off the F-Smash. Oh, Slumpo's also struggling with his inputs. Not dead yet, but close. Good DI, for sure. This is still doable. You just got to dig deep. Can't get hit. Yeah, at definitely, all. Not. definitely not. Watch the Wonder Wing right there. Yep. He's got three more to burn. Yeah, and three, and three more plus another five from the last stock here. If the stock is, is he taken, yes. not even going to matter. Game three goes to Crystal Chat there. Well done for the first game of the last MTF of 2022, my friend. That was such a tight set to start off. Honestly, too. though, The yeah. adjustments Crystal Chat made. Big time, dude. He's been, honestly, when it comes to being on stream, he's been very good. All right, so Slasher is going to be on stream. Ooh, next. okay. For, for those of you who don't know, this is a Bay Philly player. 
He's a Shulk player, and this dude knows his Shulk. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. We're gonna have some great gameplay here. I didn't see, I didn't hear who the other uh, player was that was is supposed to be going against him. Yeah, we'll have to check bracket, but oh my god, facts, bro, facts. I'm actually looking at it right now for you all. Uh, so it's Volpe is the other. Volpe, okay, opponent. a Williamsport Spacey player, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw, I saw that they are uh, number six on the Williamsport PR. Interesting. Okay, yo. This, this Shout outs to Protomania. Facts. Shout outs to the rest of the Williamsport love, gang. Love them, bro. Love them, bro. They had, I, I've only, I've only been there like a couple times. I've never been a couple times, but quite a bit like pre quarantine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love to come back there again post quarantine, but you know, work just ki kicks my butt. That's okay. So. Uh, Volpe, if I'm not mistaken, is he a Falco player? No. Literally the other two. <laughs> At least from what I saw. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. saw Fox Wolf a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so in that case then, my guess is he's probably gonna go Wolf here in this matchup. I think so. I don't think he I don't think he'd go Fox here just strictly because while the e while the neutral might be less favored for Shulk, the recovery aspect is way worse. Exactly, yes. Uh, so we'll see here. I mean slasher. For those of you who know, you know what he brings to the table. For Volpe on Williamsport side, y'all rooting for him, bro. There's two two outer regions coming together to see who's superior right now. Yes, sir. Now that the now that the collegiate locals are done, everyone's coming home to the to their region's bigger locals in mass, and it's going to be crazy. Big time, bro. Sorry, I'm taking taking a text message here. You're good. Friend. No worries. We're just waiting on them to start. Curious to see how everyone else does. Again, I'm just glad everyone was able to come out. I'm glad hey, we were man. able to get Yoshio out. We got Opana out. Yep. We got all the bait. Ma and Ma Mondo, and Mondo and Joel coming through as always. Looking to defend the throne. I'm so sorry I have to go play my set. Wish me luck. Got this, brother. You take it easy. Be safe, all right? Will do. Everyone, please enjoy the rest of the sets. I will be back. Yes, sir. And if I have to go as well, I will make sure to get back here as quick as I can, man. Because we got to keep this going. All right. So. This is going to be a very curious matchup for sure, man. Between what Shulk can do as far as all the Monado arts that he provides, and on top of that, the fact that uh, if uh, he's going to go Fox, Fox doesn't have the spacing to really be able to match that. He does have the speed to kind of go in, but you got to be very, very precise when going in. And then if it's Wolf, you got to really wait for your opening, my man. So we're going to see which style that Slasher is going to employ here for this next set here. I'm very curious, honestly. It's gonna be a very uh, different set from what we're used to here in um, in More Than Friendlies here. Shulk doesn't really come here much at all. Devin Burger, brother, I hope you're doing well, my friend. Thank you for, for tuning in. We're gonna have a great last MTF of 2022, y'all. Just for, for y'all, in case you don't know, uh, we will not have an MTF for next week. So this one is 100% the last MTF of 2022. So, thank you all for joining us here. Thank you for, for those of you who came out here to take part in the, one of the biggest brackets we've had this year. And we hope to entertain you all for the rest of the night as we keep diving through. Hopefully I'll get a partner pretty soon, man. It seems like everyone's gaming very hard uh, or ready to game. But in the meantime, we're just gonna, we're gonna sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Um, so, some other news going around here as far as bracket is concerned. So. Fran Double X has beaten Mecha 2 to 1. Trash has beaten Vanilla Jack 2 0. AP Flight has beaten Entropy 2 0, sir. I'm going through the, the, uh, the bracket right now. How's everything's been going so far? Definitely. Yo, that is the, um, the, the Mother Hubber, Mr. Opana, in the flesh, coming through here from Mid Hudson, New York, bro. Yeah. Looking to take names and take stocks, bro. Yeah, dude, this, this bracket is nuts. There's a lot of. Uh, a lot of High-level players. There's all one goal. Be beast. 100%. <laughs> yo, um, Mr. Ouija, sir, thank you for joining us once again, my friend. Not Great job on your 2-0 over Ezradi, my friend. All right. Um, in other news, Italian Panda has beaten Kaiju 2-0. Right. And right now, we got some other games here going on here, including the one on stream here between Slasher and Volpe. Oh, bro. yeah. So Slasher is a Philly Bay player with Shulk. Oh, oh, very solid. Shulk. A oh. very solid Shulk. It, uh, he is really good at understanding the character. Volpe is a Williamsport PCT Spacey main. We right. don't know which one is going to be coming through here. It's going to be Fox this time around against Shulk. Yeah, it might be a good choice here. You want to dance around Shulk because uh, he pulls out those Minato arts and uh, 
if you get hit by those, especially like something like Buster, it, it's da not damage is racked up so hard, especially yeah. on both sides. Oh, I will see. I will see. I'm curious as to see what um, type of neutral is going to be to start off here. If definitely in particular on Fox's side here, considering he has to go all the way around these massive hitboxes that oh, Shulk yeah. can bring. Starting with the speed art to catch up with Fox. Yeah, and, and I, I do like the choice here for sure. Really, like, force Fox to an uncomfortable space where he's not going to be fast in this situation. And now with the ledge trap here, he doesn't even need to worry about oh. worry about the, the, uh, the dancing around. 63 already on for Volpe here. So make that 70. Yeah, already starting uh, with speed once again. And Smash is on deck, and one up tilt is going to do it. Already out of the gate here. This dude is going crazy. Buster is on deck. Yes, sir. Buster on deck here. I do like the idea here. You all have the stock lead here. You're going to want to rack up damage very quickly. But want to parry there off the empty land jab, bro. But he got grabbed in the process anyways. Yeah. So I think for Volpe here, he really um, has to be a little bit better when it comes to recovering, especially in the situations where, like, it should be, frankly, an easier recovery than when usual. Right. Smash our hand. Slasher is doing a very good job managing these Minato arts, not spending them all the way, and just balancing what he needs to do, whatever situation. And he's using all of them too. Yeah, he's not, he's not like delegating himself between specific arts, bro. He's using every single one possible, bro. And I will admit here, uh, he, his Slasher's uh, extra credit right now has been crazy. He could not yeah. parry, he could not punish the parry at Nair, bro. That's nuts. Nair is oh. so good. Nair for Shulk is incredible. Oh yeah. And already a two, a two stock lead here. Go for shield arts here so he doesn't die right away off the angel platform. And now he can kind of just really put some pressure on here for this last stock here. He yeah. can afford to go kind of crazy too if he needs to. Yeah, yeah. down throw forward tilt. Yes, Volpe can't get the stock. He does get it with that with that landing though. Indeed. Speed art is back. Slasher losing his first stock. Losing his first stock here, but he is definitely not on, like phased as far as adding this pressure here, especially on the platform. Volpe has got, kind of gotten caught a lot on the platform and has dealt a lot of damage for him. Oh, tries to go for that spike. And he tried to go for the, the F smash here off a of roll read. I do like the idea there. The one thing you got to keep in mind though, Slasher will sometimes bust out up smash there on the corner if you think that you're going to roll. Right. Because of that scoop hitbox that, shot, that up smash definitely brings here. So you got to be so careful there if you're Volpe. He might save it for the second stock of Beyond though, so keep in mind oh. that. This could be it if he times it right. Unfortunately, he does not. Ooh, he tried to go for the roll read there. Up your dead. See oh, the Air Slash is going to take it. Yes, sir. Air Slash taking game one for Slasher here over Volpe. Yeah, very commanding too, I must say. Yeah, you're waiting just a little bit, my friend. Um, we're probably gonna wait until after our, uh, after this set here before we go up to play, my friend. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, you will be playing Mr. Citadel himself. Oh yeah. No, nothing unusual. Just, be, just, just <laughs> hit him, get those hands, don't get hit, man. That's all. Of course. Easy of course. Clap. Okay. So, Shulk is the play here once again for Slasher here. I venture to guess that a different character will be for Volpe here. I'm gonna venture to guess maybe maybe Falco or Wolf. I'm gonna bet money on Wolf. Uh, yeah, he is drifting yes. in that area, yeah. Yeah, Wolf is the play. I, th I think what he really needs is a reliable projectile to make sure that the tempo goes to him and not to Slasher. Yeah, definitely. And onto, Vol onto us, Hollow Bastion as well. Really, he also really understood that the platform there really messed things up for him too. So like, having a bigger platform where he won't get up tilt to Oblivion will definitely help things out for him. Right. All right, so we'll see here. Yep, laser already in play here, but Slasher is definitely understanding Ooh. how to get around that for sure. Okay, down throw. Down throw. Oh, didn't, go, didn't get the dash attack. It was a little, little unfortunate there. Yeah. Yeah. Now this could be good for uh, Volpe because even though, uh, even though the Minato arts such as Buster work well for a Shulk's favor, they also work against him, which means that he takes more damage and more knockback. 100%. When he has them equipped. 100%. So you gotta be so careful if you're slasher. Air slash off the rip there, trying to get himself back in the center. Good grab with speed. Oh. Oh! Gets caught trying to use the forward air. Volpe taking the first stock of the game. Yeah, ch try to challenge that that uh, wolf flash there. Didn't quite work out for him. Try to go for the grab there, back throw, like a weedy head. But air slash will definitely take out. Air slash is such a good punish. If you have <laughs> it smash really up, is. Like just the fact it's so big, you don't really have to worry about it whiffing because most of the time it's gonna hit. It. Yeah. Even game though, all the way through for the first uh, two stocks. The first yeah. stock, I should say. Yeah, it's going much better for Volpe right now. 100%. So, what do you think uh, 
adjustment that you think you see Volpe do as far as like um, contesting the neutral that Sasha has. There's that Sasha I was talking about, yeah. bro. Yeah. Uh, it's a little hard to tell because the, the character switch means a bit of a different strategy, but I think he's uh, playing a little more defensively, I would say. Yeah, I'd say so too. He's really employing Nord mix-ups on his aerial game here. He didn't really have the opportunity to do that as Fox because he just kept getting hit when he got approached. With 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 this one here, he doesn't have to really worry about that. Yeah, oh, you yeah. can punish that with, with the with the uh, air slash there. Good patience there on shield. Good grab. Nice throw. Oh, go, yeah, go for shield. He actually, I think Volpe definitely did wait. All, All right, right. Squeegee's going off to go play, play Mondo. I'll stay here, C catch the game to this game too here. It is very even throughout here with um, Volpe. He's still trying to fight it back here, but he could definitely take this, this stock here if things aren't careful. That was such a good mix, bro. Slasher rolled in three times, went for grab twice. Volpe saw that, tried to go for a new mix-up, but Slasher was ready for it, bro. Good conditioning and already dealing 36 with that Buster arm. And I will see here if Volpe could actually get the stock here. Go. Uh, F-Tilt there will not quite kick it yet, but will this ledge trap do? No, not yet. Whoa, you monster! Slasher, you monster. I love the idea, bro. I love the idea, but I hope it doesn't uh, take the, the, the whole thing away from you, bro. So, 90, 61 to 94 off a of Buster F Smash, bro. Whoa! Is that a confirm? It is, but not enough to take the stock yet, bro. Holy moly, that was so smart. Fair will take it. 2-0 for Slasher over Volpe, bro. Well done. I'm going to go play my set. Uh, hopefully some more commentators will come here to, to take over. In the meantime, take it easy. I'll be right back. Hey, Yoshio. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Good night. We're safe. I don't know what's going on with the audio, but you know what? I hope, it, hope everyone can hear us. We are not Ouija and Quack, as we are tr the double Andrews. <laughs> you are muted, buddy. Oh, no. How do I undo that? No, you're better now. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. It's all our T.O. Greg. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on? Look. Do you see? I, I see somebody playing Joker. <laughs> Not that, but uh. but as we have right now, we have Hero and Pulse. Pulse has been very inconsistent when he's been coming, but you know what? He's just trying to end the year strong, like many most of us have been trying to end this year strong. Hopefully he can. Especially with the 40 people that we have tonight. I'm trying to be crazy and insane. Big roster. It is the biggest bracket that we've had in a while, mm. honestly. Nice. So we have a Falco man and a Sephiroth man. Oh, of course. I haven't seen a Sephiroth here before besides like Aphelion, so. Just talk a little louder. Sorry, hello. You're all good. All righty. Um, so, uh, Hero mains Falco and Pulse mains Sephiroth. Um, yes. I have only seen one other Sephiroth here, and that was Aphelion. and he's really good, so. So, Hero is one of those people that comes to the FGC nights, just so you know. He's also been here a few times before, but he's been coming here a lot for the Kaiju Fight Nights. Mm. Recently renamed to The Lockdown, as we're going to get a new graphic for that soon, all within the new year. Cool. But yeah, we're gonna have a fun night. Hopefully everybody that's watching, I hope thank you for watching though. Hope you guys are just chilling out on. Like we only have one week till Christmas left. Wow. Christmas, just a week away. It is. <laughs> These guys just taking their time. Oh, I have been running on three hours of sleep and it's been rough. Damn. Have you finished school yet? No, not yet. As in, like, fully or until break? Until break. Nah, tomorrow's last day. Okay, so the Falco is out to Falco. play. Every Pennsylvania player ever. True. 
All right, let's see Peak Sephiroth. And PS2, the more than Friendly's Classic, or the Everybody's Classic, as everybody would like to say. Every single area I go, it's either random or PS2. Ooh. Sephiroth's one of those characters where you need to be, like, really accurate or else you are not going anywhere. Ooh. The thing with Gene, though, Gene is also a very campy Sephiroth. He can be very campy and very aggressive at the same time, so you gotta, like, just be careful of his um, punish. Because he has very good movement. He's been studying this character for a very long time, ever since it's come out. Really? He's a protege of Atlas, who's taught him pretty much a lot of the, the game. Uh, protege? No, Atlas. Oh. Atlas from here. No, I know. I was confused. Like, you just said that name. I was like, what? <laughs> All oh, right. good tech. Oh, counter though. Falco at a rough 149%. Can he bring it back? The one thing I do know is that Over Easy is not a fan of Sephiroth's counter because he hates any counter that can punish. Oh, even though, even though um, it misses. True. On that miss. Sephiroth has a strange counter. He does, because it attacks even if you miss. Oh my god, and right there. The first stock taken from Hero. Gene just, Gene just moving around, though. Yeah, just moving. I feel like that, uh, that recovery could have been punished. All right. Huh? Back here. Just missing. Ooh. Falco down tilt to too high of a percent to punish or to combo. Gene just trying to hit something though. Can he neither can he take another stock? That's the question, but Ooh. no he cannot. Is it two two a piece? Sephiroth DIing out of that combo. So the thing as well with um, Hero is that he's, all, he's also really good friends with the, the Velanovas and the Beasts of the World. Mm -hmm. So he he surely has gotten a lot of practice though with the Falco. So Oh, just missing with the sword though. Back air. Can't catch. But he does have wing now. So, Wing gives him super armor and uh, third jump? Yes. Oh. oh we see we see Hero now, right now. With the lead. Come back. Two stocks to one right now. But he is at a 111% though. <gasps> oh. oh, good tech. Okay. We tech those. Gene's got to just. <gasps> no! Oh my god. The Throwing. Throw. Gene's just got to keep... <gasps> good catch. Gene's got to make sure his mind is on check because he cannot, he cannot take his mind off the ball. Ooh. Missing that poke, though. Ooh. That, Ooh. that kills? What? Falco back here. My God. My God. What do you think? What do you think Pulse has to do for that uh, for next game, game two? I really have no idea. Um, I feel like he'd have to avoid a lot of Falco's tilts because they just they combo into everything. Maybe distance more with his uh, forward air and back air. Yeah, because the problem is what right now is that Gene also doesn't have a counter. Like he doesn't have any other character that he plays, so he can't even like even think about playing a different character. So with Sephiroth though, Sephiroth's his solo main. Understandable. So now. So now Gene has just got to like reset his mind. That's, I think that's all he has to do is as long as he resets his mind, I think he'll be, f I think he'll be fine. He just got to take deep breaths and just relax a little. He had a a good lead there. Oh, he did, and then he just got comboed beyond belief. Yeah. That's the problem. And these guys are just taking a while though to like look. Eh, maybe it's, maybe it's a mental thing. Maybe it's like oh, give me a second to breathe. Yeah. Because again. 
it's just messing up your timing of your opponent, in a sense. Because if you can whiff, and like you can breathe, like if you are trying to take that like few seconds to breathe, but your opponent wants to keep going, it can mess up their mental. Yeah, if they if you're just not doing anything, that can honestly tempt them to approach poorly. If I'm understanding correctly, it's a lot like baseball in a sense. Like what a lot of uh, pitchers will do, they mess up the hitter's timing. It's just mess with their with their time and tempo. Yeah, that that will work. And right Ooh, now, uh -oh. Gene, combo fodder though. Catches him. Uh oh. Is that back here though? Poked. I don't understand how a Falco can find like good placement for his uh, side special. It just it looks so slow and clanky, but they do it. <gasps> Ooh, the spike! No, just misses. Gene's just gotta take. Gene's just gotta be careful, because that's the biggest thing. Seems like he's starting to go for a bit too much, do some riskier moves, which I feel like is gonna cost him the game. He's trying to be a little too aggressive right now. He's gotta he's gotta play his own game, but I don't yeah. think. But the Falco's not allowing him to do that. Don't play the other person's game, but he's just getting fit. Oop. There we go. See him controlling stage, that's good. You have to do. As long as you control the stage, both whiffing. Good back here, though. Try to get the two frame, but does not connect, though. Falco He's got to take the stock, though. A well-timed down air might have been able to spike that. But at this percentage, I don't think you have to worry about a spike, though, because right there, he just kills him. Yeah? That up that up air is insanely large. Now, Gene's just got to find a way to bring this back, as he's doing so well doing. Good catch. Ooh. Oh, just Falco's in a tough spot now. He's going to get... <gasps> Ooh. Those are always satisfying to the see. The bomb save it. Oh. Catching him again, 128. Pulse bringing it back. He's now in control of the game. Good back air. Gene, Gene's starting to just to calm down a little. Learn, remember how to play the game. Good nair. Ooh, good jump out of that. He's just good at, right now he's just being very good about avoiding things. Good back air though. Good nair. Oh. And the th he only has one orb though. But that, but, that one, but that one orb is still a hit. Good parry though. But does not do anything about it though. He catches him. He waited for that one. What are you oh, doing? Wait for it. <laughs> My God. Gene was like, I'm going to end this now. He said, no if, ands, or buts. Why did he do that? I mean, it worked. What did you say? I mean, it worked. It did. But, like, look at that. There's no need. But you know what? He wanted the Styles points. He wanted the Yeet Smash moment. He did. He Hopefully, he got that Yeet Smash moment. My goodness. All right, taking a few seconds to... Again, just messing with the opponent's time. Oh. All right, where are they going to go? Small battlefield? Well, good personality battlefield, as we like to call it here at MTF. Truly. And... I want to say thank you to everybody watching because we do appreciate you for supporting us throughout this entire year because we have grown very much and it's all been because of your guys' support. So thank you guys. As game three is on our way, nobody changes. This is winners round two as we have the Sonic music. Very not fitting. I feel like every time we do game threes, the music just never fits if nobody chooses. <laughs> yeah, this music is way too cheery for this. And even so, like even like last night at the Breakfast Club, 
I think I think Atlas accidentally chose it, and everybody just starts singing it. <laughs> that's, what, that's like the type of vibe this song gets, but not like a game three. As we see, then it might just be benefiting, oh, though. Oh, gosh. Because both these guys very even right now. But who can get the first stock? I feel like once you Pulse get the was doing a good job at the start of like trying to take control of the stage, but it seems oh, it seems nice they're taking a slight turn as uh, do as Hero was that able. That shield to. is low. Ooh, that kills. That kills. Was that di or was that just unfortunate death? luck? Pulse is playing very smart. He knows when to avoid. If I were him, I'd just be going for stuff. And it's... Oh, that... Jeez, that, that kills. The thing is, though, like, you don't always want to go for movement, though. Yeah. You just, want to, you just want to play safe. Sometimes you just want to wait, or sometimes you have to wait. Hey, very much so. It's just about the way and the way you play the game, because sometimes you just want to go for something crazy, and as those three orbs come out, he can try to feel a little more comfortable and safe about doing something a little more chaotic. Oh, but that back air misses. Both just whiffing, though. Just because he's ahead and just because he's at a higher percent does not mean he should start relaxing, though. Play the game. Sorry. Syndicate Snivy, Walla watching like. But these two guys, just right now, can do. Can Hero <gasps> not able to take the stock because Wing Pulse able to recover? Oh, the counter does not work. The counter actually just stops working. I, I think like right before it's about to do the automatic hit. Yeah, I think also as well. Gene sometimes goes for uh, the regrab a lot, and that can punish him a lot. So that's the unfortunate part about his game that I wish he would clean up a little more. Good catch, though. He needs to take the stock right now if he has any feeling of comfortability of winning this. Oh, God. Oh, my. I was expecting a gimp for a moment. What? what? No way. He got There's two just absolutely no. <laughs> the, ref the counter into the reflect, and the reflect that, wins that. That could be reflected? <laughs> Look at this again, please. I can't, like, words can't even describe, like, how, like, insane this is. As you hear the venue go crazy. That is insane, man. The venue just yelling, why? There's no reason that that should have happened, though. Like, I, I guess it just happens. I had no really idea Sephiroth's uh, recover, or not recover. I don't think many in this venue did, because just the reflect coming out that fast. I try to reflect that or absorb it so much, and it never does anything. That was a... Uh, that was a rude awakening for me. That was a hell of a game, though. I do have to say, as we're getting ready for our next one, it's Slasher versus Overeasy, which is going to oh. be a very good game, because I, I know Slasher goes, I believe he goes Shulk, as we have the re resident Yoshi man. I have Over not Easy. seen Overeasy play in a while. Overeasy's just been doing very well, though, with the Breakfast Club, just getting his movement down. Just been practicing with Melon and Entropy and Nico. Just trying to get his game pack down very well, because he wants to, to be the best he could very be. And I, before this game starts, I want to give a big shout out to the man, Syndicate Snivy, who's in chat right now. I want to say thank you because if it wasn't for him, then we wouldn't have this $100 pop bonus tonight. And I, we all thank him for that yeah. very much. Here at the MTF family, we want to thank you, Snivy, personally. As, yeah, the Shulk is coming out to play as the graphic is showing. But I know I was talking to Slasher before. He says he has three mains. Oh. No, not the Vanilla Jack. Oh, come on, three-way. Boo, everybody's booing because he has his girlfriend's name. <laughs> <laughs> it says Melanie, everybody's booing Felix. Oh my God, there's six people connected. Why are there six pro controllers? One of those might be mine. Oh wait, no, mine's off. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Nico and somebody else on the side stream in the meantime. Let's 
see also, how much ovaries he's improved as of recent. So the Shulk is out to play. Felix being a part of the Pro Controller army that many people have not liked this year. Why do people not like the Pro Controllers? Because the amount of times it has stopped games from going on. Oh yeah, true. Slasher though, part of the part of the LNL uh, crew tonight. Very good though at Shulk, I do have to say. But he also doesn't come to MTF often, so it's gonna be very interesting to see how he does in this environment. Yeah. I think this is only his second or third time appearing at an MTF. For how good Shulk is, you really don't see him out often. I feel like because there's also sometimes there's better characters in a sense. True, and also but, I feel like there's a learning curve with the uh, Monado arts. Oh, that is so true. Ooh. Ooh. Come the grab left. Oh, the punish. But the parry though, just damage. But feel like just using the egg as movement. Wow, I'm surprised you could find like a, a good reason to use that. I hear it's a pretty bad move. I would say. Felix is one of the few people that uses the, the egg roll as a very useful move. <gasps> oh, that was beautiful. But he has jumped, though. He was able to switch that incredibly quickly. Felix is saying, I don't care if you have jump, because he's not able to recover, and the first stock is taken. Yeah, Shulk's recovery is very uh, vertical. Ooh, just a dash attack? Did he have some ash? No, I don't. Did he? I don't... Uh -oh. Now he has Buster, though, and that... Play Campy until it runs out. Oh my god. Ooh, wow. From an entire Buster, he only took 9%. Good catch, though. Oh, gets the buster though, and it's charged, but it's slowly running out. Just gotta be careful though. Good parry. Oh, Buster's OP. Oh my. Oh, and the buster's out right now. And now he's going to be abusing. Oh, never mind. Shield ran out pretty quick. Good catch. <gasps> but the egg catch though, is he able to recover? But their jump. Over easy went way no. too low for that. Over easy though. It's so unfortunate. He has to find a way. The only thing about Over Easy's game though is somehow at, like at the breakfast club, he lives to like high percentages. Like he's lived to 202. Oh wow. But I mean, Yoshi is incredibly mobile, and then on top of that, he has uh, he has super armor in his double jump. I feel like that just enables him to just kind of run around for a very long time. Yeah, of course. The one thing about uh, Felix, though, I would just say is that he's just one of the best things about like his game is he's always thinking about the game. He's always thinking about the next move, about what to do, <gasps> and that kills. He's only at ninety percent though. That's gonna be, Can he bring it back? That's going to be the biggest question, though. The ability of the comeback. Neither team can get too impatient. It will cost them the game. Oh, good Nair. Oh, uh, but the shield is out, though. Shield blast incredibly slow. Wow. Oh, and that catch. That, no, he's still oh, living. He's living. See, he's fat. <laughs> he might be able to ball. Oh. But that catches right there. That was a pretty good first game. Both these guys plays very well though. That's the thing. Both these guys just played extremely well to get that going. All right, we are back at the Pro Controller Connect screen, so. <laughs> Picking a song. Stop battle, Shulk! Yoshi 
they're remaining the same characters. Twenty-three percent down air. Over easy, almost getting out of that scenario with his uh, double jump. The spike and the taunt. Uh oh. Over easy is clearly trying to get into Slasher's head. FD against. All right, Slasher getting put right into advantage state. Most likely going to take the stock without too big of a gap occurring. Or not. 40% so far. Air dodging back to safety and just. One thing I noticed about Schultz's shield ability is it kind of just seems like for a quick pinch. Does not last that long. It's out for far longer this time. Ooh, the grab punish with an up smash. Overeasy has a very big advantage here, but uh, he cannot let his guard down. Heat it up to up there. Over easy is playing exactly like how he played back when he was not at a big advantage. So I, he has a chance here. Slasher's unable to bring it back. Ooh, but he lives. The back air brings it back. 1-1. One, one. Over easy was in disadvantage for a moment, but immediately taking the second game. Same song again. Same matchup for the third time. 1-1. One, one. Let's see who can take the third game. Buster bringing a quick 48%, but ooh, 54 actually. Over easy getting camped out with the Monado and uh, taking uh, losing the first stock. Slasher is doing something differently. Ooh. That super armor in Yoshi's double jump really gives over easy a, a quick get out option. Wow. 
2-2 so far. Oh. Backslash punish. All right. Over easy, better watch out. Uh, Shulk has smash, and he is at kill percent, so... Oh! Over easy, quickly closing the gap. But who can get the kill? Breezy being incredibly good with timing those egg throws and taking the second stock. But can he keep that lead? But no, no he can't. Whenever Shulk has these buffs, you really need to camp him out because instantly, in like three hits, 50%. However, Overeas is most likely able to take it back with a few well-timed aerials. Oh, God, the speed. Oh, the spike! But it was not enough. Wow, that worked. Slasher is very good at timing those uh, Monado arts. Ooh, that was almost the game. Over easy surviving. Uh-oh. Oh, no. And the second game goes to Slasher, winning with a 2-1 score. I got through that pretty good. Hello, I'm alone. That was a very close match. <laughs> it is, uh, there were 40 people in this bracket. Next, we have Citadel and Velanova. A Steven and a Falco. Quite popular characters by the looks of it. I have not personally had to deal with a Steve until my brother started picking him up personally, so it will be interesting to see how a professional Steve's player plays. Hello. It's your boy, JJJ Storm. Hello. We got, we got Snivy, Marcos. Nice, poppin'. Let's see a good match. First match. First go. match. Two, one, go. Citadel taking every opportunity he can to build or er, to mine. 
He's just mining, bro. It's Minecraft. It's all he's gonna be doing. B button, B button. Ooh, the, and the, that was nice. a... Nice. Okay. Surprisingly, only 32% from that. I thought it'd be higher. Mind carding oh, his way to victory. Falco consistently trying to um, side B to recover. That may be punishable if he doesn't mix up his options. Giving himself more time to build or to mine by building a wall. These guys are just feeling each other out. Really slow gameplay going on right now. It seems like it, but. Well, I guess, you know, that's because Falco likes to find his opportunity and then come in to do his combos. And, and then Steve just wants to sit there and mine. Yeah, so they're both waiting for each other. So it seems like Falco's getting rid of his usual game plan and trying to keep up with getting Diamond. Pretty smart, though. It seems just building random blocks does Citadel. Ooh, a spike! Spiking with Diamond for his next stop. What was that? Smash uh, attack? Up tilt? Down tilt. No, down tilt. Oh, down tilt. Yeah, that kills like ridiculously. All cool. right, now I'm seeing that high combo percent. percent. Jesus. Oh, he's at 69. Oh, never mind, not anymore. Jesus, bro, he just spawned and he's at 90. Yeah, this is what I was talking about with that combo. I just realized he was at wood. That was why. This is Rondor at home. <laughs> it's not MTF without Paul. Get out of here. Ooh, That's wow. Tight back air right there. Steve with diamond is just insane. It is, bro. You get he gets in and he he, he kills you at so early. And Citadel's keeping up that momentum right now, keeping Falco from getting on stage. I love it. I hate the bird, bro. <laughs> Ooh. He'll probably hate the bird because they only have because they have to deal with him all the time in PA. Yes, you got uh, Rondor. Um, oh, ooh, that doesn't kill. Nah, there's no way he's gonna die. Yeah, that. Oh, that call out. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. Minecart into minecart, true combo. <laughs> that was beautiful, actually. Shit. Sometimes that wins, just do the, option, the, the same option twice in a row. If you're not known for doing that, it is a very good mix-up. Oh, I think they called you for your next set. Uh-oh. Well, I will see you guys on the flip side. I'll keep you guys company. All right, so quick game for Citadel. Once he got Diamond, he controlled that entire pace. So I wonder how Volanova's going to change up his game plan now. Yeah. Marcos, bro, you keep coming into stream, but you're not coming to the tournaments, bro. We do appreciate you coming through, though. All right, so here we go. Jab, jab, forward air. Love it. Velanova has to find how he's going to get into this because Citadel is just stuffing him out. Awesome, Brody. I can't, can't wait to see you, bro. Beautiful parry to forward smash. That was a horrible option by Citadel. Put himself at disadvantage for no reason. The fact that that's still hit. Big yellow. Oh, nice. Got a Velanova fan. You know, he's a really good Falco, bro. I haven't seen him in an MTF for a little bit, so I'm excited to see what he brings to the table uh, today. Though, me personally, I hate the bird. <laughs> Too many damn birds in PA. Beautiful down air by Citadel. I think Velanovo's gonna wanna change up his game plan, though. Because every time he tries to approach, he gets, he, he loses it, loses the exchange. Yeah, Reggio, bro, we love your freaking Kazuya, man. Sorry, bro, we wish you could have given. Damn, 
there, I think Velanova's finally getting what he needs to. His movement's looking a lot better than before. But Citadel, I think he has Diamond right now. I kind of missed that. Yeah, that's Diamond, yeah. Yeah, Kazi ain't no joke, bro. Damn, just footstool down air, taking that stock. Zero to 44, you gotta, gotta love it. Once, on the farms for, <laughs> well, Mondo's been playing really good. He, he did win the, uh, the side brackets and he came in first place after beating Beast. So I say he is doing pretty good, uh, feeling pretty good about himself today. Up air to back air will do it. Felonova is not happy about that exchange and how that went. I honestly think he should have mixed it up or... Ooh, we got Opana. Nice. And I don't know who the other guy was. And I will be on side stream right now, so... Good luck. I'll get you guys another commentator and uh, enjoy. There's no one commenting. I'll just tell you, uh, whoops. <laughs>
What up, everybody? It's Sheets versus the Opana. Hello, everybody. A little hectic night right now. Just trying to get everybody safe and calm right now. Just trying to make sure everything is good. Because we are trying to do the best we can be as these two guys are having an insane match right now as Opana just pulling out the Ike, though. That's going to be crazy. Because Opana's just been practicing a while. You've been seeing a lot of his clips on the Twitter sphere. As it's... I would say it's fairly even right now. Opana, though, has 126, though, and that's going to be very scary. As he just recovers back on stage. It does not get the full spot on it, though. It's unfortunate. But Melon is able to catch Opana there. As we have Red Yoshi. So we have these two just last stock. Melon just controlling the pace though. Melon has zero, as I was about to say, zero percent on him. Gets 12 though. But Melon just playing such a great Yoshi though. And still living, though. Recovers, though. And catches him for the final stock. Melon just looks so, like, happy. But also sad at the same time. Oh. Hello, Reggio. How are you doing tonight, buddy? Just want to make sure you're all good. Okay, Rondor, I will tell them to get on comms at some point. As game two going to battlefield. My God. Pond at 69% though. These two just combo city back and forth. Jesus. And it's even game again. It is very much even. As what that kills? That was unbelievable. I had to clip that one. That was kind of crazy. Old man Yoshi coming in, man, against Zyke, bro. Bro, just back and forth. Both these guys playing so well. Both really? fan favorites in the more than Friendly's community. Pana's kind of crazy this Ike though, man. He's nuts. It's a very good Ike. Good catch from Melon. The old man Yosh man got some new tricks. Ooh. Good spike. Well, that's a clip. <laughs> Playing so well out of their minds. Ooh, that was nice. Everyone's game right now. Good. These two just playing crazily. For real. Good catch. Ooh. 
Both these guys last hit. One big move could end it. Can Opana bring it to a game three? And he does. Jesus Christ. Opana is just playing out of his mind, and that's the crazy thing. Melon just not looking. Like, Melon's just like impressed right now by what happened. I will tell him, Riggio. I will. And no switches. Game three. All right, and right now, back to Combo City. But it looks like it's Opanis. No! The back and forth just trading of combos is just insane from both these guys. Just absolutely just obliterating each other. Forward smash, though, and that kills. Melon wiping off his hands, just shot that, just by that. Stays in that egg, though, but then rolls, but then catches him again. The tail, though. Great way to combo. Hit him with that forward. Covering great option, though. Oh, Ponder just doing such a great job with Ike, though. And it's so unfortunate because we don't want to see either of these guys go to losers. Oh, but gets it with the egg. As we have Trash joining me. Trash bag returns. Oh, with that catch, though. So Upon has been picking up Ike, huh? Yes, he has. He said it's for the benefit of his hands. Understand. And looking, just watching right now, Upon is at 148, two stocks. To Melon's 13% two stocks. But that forward oh, smash, melon. it is Melon. Oh my goodness. It's just that heavy sword, though, of Ike's. He is very good with navigating it, though. It's so, he's so insane. Just the absolute Nair. Oh my just, god. Look at this. Nair into Nair into Nair, dude. My god. Ken. <laughs> oh my god, he almost killed himself. <gasps> my god, uh -oh. like the inches. Listen, isn't that forward smash? And Ooh. that kills! That was, wow. Naren to Naren to funny move. It really is. Naren. Oh my <gasps> god. Oh my, my god. god, he's bringing it back! <laughs> Melon is. Ken Mellon, oh. keep this, no, he loses the lead. These two guys. This is what you get for supporting Sheets. Game <laughs> three. Oh, grabs ledge. Oh, this is game three. What happened the last two games? Were you spectating then? Oh, <gasps> does not. Oh my God, if he hit that platform. Good grab, but gets it with the egg. Uh oh. Ooh, that up uh -oh. smash though. Uh oh. <gasps> no! Oh! Spiked him! Oh! That was nasty! My god, and that handshake is deserved as everybody claps in the venue. Well deserved by both these players. Let's just see this again. Look, that up B though. It's so dangerous. And Opana will be in losers, but you know he's going to have a loser's run of a lifetime. He really is. I mean, it's crazy you could do that with Ike. But what? let. What tier is he? I? Yeah. 
I forget off the tier, like, uh, like an official tier, but like when you watch someone play like that, it just makes you feel like he's such a high player. And tonight is the night that Yoshio is here at MTF. I and this will be the first time he's on stream. Yoshio oh. versus LNL here at MTF at the GameQ Lounge, courtesy to Overeasy and the Italian Panda. Wait. I have returned, but Mecca has not. Can we get two commentators for the back, please? Anyone want to commentate? Can I go crazy? I have zero idea why Yoshi is in Philly. Um, I will ask that to whoever appears next. Oh, school. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Over Easy. How you doing today? I got Riccio, I got Snivy, Rondor. Hello, hello, hello. This is a stacked MTF. Uh, 122, right? I believe it's 122. Um, hey, we got Yoshio and Law coming up. And it's going to be pretty good. What's good, yo? X, I love you too. Oh. Did you guys know that the person sitting next to me on this couch cheated in our set, bro? I spiked him. And then he used jump art. Who does that, bro? Dude, <laughs> I'm trying to live. I'm yeah, trying to man. make a. I'm trying to make a living harder than I'm trying to live in Smash. I hear that, bro. I, I'm sorry. It just nah, had to happen. He played. He played amazing though. So hats oh, off to him. He read my jump. <laughs> I like jumped in jump art. He. This man chased me. I Absolutely. was terrified after that. Oh, we got Yoshi music. Let's go. We got Yoshio versus. L and L. Yes. The Steve versus the red Yoshi no. and pink Samus. We'll see who Yoshio plays. Though. Yeah, that's true. Um, I imagine he would go Yoshi in this matchup. Yes, he would. Yeah. Uh, hey, Yoshi's coming Law out. hates Yoshi. Plus, Yoshio's Yoshi is really, Why really good. Why do we have three so Yoshis? Many red Yoshis? No, red Yoshi. It's, the, it's okay. It's not that there's too many Yoshis. We have three, which is fine. But right. they only use the red ult. It's because it's the best it ult. Chat, best tell ult. me Red Yoshi is not the not cleanest the of ult. all of them. <laughs> anyway, so Smash Bros, let's let's talk about what's going on here. All right. So. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You go now? Right. Well. Can I get a water? It is now. Quick, quick commentator swap. <laughs> it is now the other Yoshi. And the other Yoshi main, Melon, coming back from a very, very intense game. Nerd Smash Street. What's going on, Sweshy. everyone? Sweshy, what are you doing here? Okay, so I've been wanting to commentate this for I don't know how long, ever since I first found out about Yoshio. Japanese Yoshis do some stuff very different compared to American Yoshis, and I've been begging people to, fo to focus more on what Yoshidora and Yoshio are doing. Jonathan Gamer, all, all the Philly folks are pulling up. All right, LNL getting a solid combo with up tilts. Man, LNL's one of the Philly Steves. They got to show up for their boy, even if it's a Steve. Ooh, that's unfortunate, wow. but he's living. All so, right, it's very even in percents right now. I'm still of the mind that Yoshi wins this matchup. No, under uh, you got to understand. Steve really doesn't do the best at against characters that suffocate him, and that is Yoshi's entire shtick. I can under I can see that. Ooh, Ooh, not landing the back air. The single hits are so hard to deal with as Steve, but it was a great job getting away. Ooh. You gonna side B? You gonna side B, LNL? No, wow. There you go. Good Just tech. Gotta keep throwing hitboxes, oh, and there's first stop. Yeah, like you said, Yoshi's gonna chase Steve down. Oh, gets oh, out of there. Unfortunate. And here come the dirty percents. Yep, here comes the, yep, 63. Those up air strings will do it. And just like that, Law's praying for more time for materials, a diamond, something. He needs another diamond. That's not going to break not shields. Uh, LNL's getting a little antsy with his spacing. He's got to stay patient. Yes. The only way to really deal with Yoshi as Steve is to stay in shield and not let Yoshi do anything outside of go for commit grabs. LNL has trouble getting off ledge sometimes. It's mostly just neutral get up or roll, I've noticed. That's fair. It's and 
Steve has only a couple options outside of Minecart that really allow him to get back for super free. Everything else is a bit of a commit. How do you think Steve should approach um, actually getting a stock off of Yoshi Melon? How do you think? If I'm a Steve, if I'm a Steve, I'm waiting in shield and either up smashing out a shield if the Yoshi doesn't space properly, or waiting for the Yoshi to back off and then wall with bears. Okay. That makes a lot of sense, actually. You okay. gotta take advantage of your disjoints against Yoshi because Yoshi only has two. LNL getting some good damage, making a oh, but the back air will take it. That's just unfortunate. I think, I think LNL should try spacing for himself instead of spacing for Yoshi, if that makes sense. Yes. Because he does have a disjoint, and he should just kind of wait for Yoshi to throw out something. Because it's one of those th this is one of those things where the two Steves, have Citadel and LNL, wait, slash pl they play polar opposites, and they need to learn from each other more. LNL has a very good like base process, but he's got to learn how to flow with the other character more. Right. Citadel's the opposite. He flows with the other player more, but he needs to learn more of the the uh, base stuff. What oh. they've all been doing all. Oh, oh my goodness, we the take Kim. Those. Did I see a taunt from LNL trying to hype himself up? I mean, I get it. <sighs> Fall down, bear. The spacing on the lean back forward air. Oh, mm. that was great. I love that setup. Down air. <sighs> Typical Steve mains, down airing out of disadvantage. <laughs> it's the impulse. <laughs> it's just like every Yoshi wants to get an air out of shield. Every Steve wants to down air. Slasher, who took you? Aren't you two hours away? The, the Steve main who's playing on set right now took me, LNL. It just fell down with it, and this, oh, this is rough. Great recovery, buddy. Dead. Ooh, yeah. That oh. egg, not Wait, enough Yoshi's Oh, too. okay. I don't know. I saw Yoshio stand up. I'm like, that can't be the set already. I thought that was just game one. That comeback egg that's really slow and lobs right at that roll in it's kind area of, is I, so I hard. To it's deal kind with. of hard. I think it's kind of hard for Steve to actually punish Yoshi out of shield because of the fact that that since, egg is so on purpose. The way that where that egg was to specifically cover roll because if Yoshi's doing that double jump get back egg, that egg goes there. It covers Yoshi. He's free to get back to platform. Right. And if you get hit by that. Like we just saw, the up air, free stock. All right. Game two. Same characters, different stage. Let's see how it goes. A strong I, start for LNL, but the double jump armor will allow Yoshio to get out of that combo. Oh, the okay. trade gets him out of it, though. That could have been a lot worse. Who's balder, Joel or Law? Definitely Joel. Sorry, bro. Yeah, honestly, Joel. Sorry, Joel. He's bald and beautiful. Oof. Good job going high. Oh. That's another impulse thing Yoshi's do. That four air short hop to cover the edge. It's just all about whether you're willing to either just challenge it or just bot <gasps> it. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. But he's living. It's the okay. Double jump armor. That that might be a little hard for Steve to deal with. Well, it's kinda hard for any character to deal with at times, so. Absolutely. He's trying to Trying to down air at a disadvantage again, but not having the iron to do it. This must be, oh. this must not be a really good stage for Steve, especially in a matchup with Yoshi, because there's not a lot of space for Steve to really get his resources. It's not even just that, it's that you're getting mostly wood resources. Right. You're not getting stone. So if I'm the Yoshi against Steve, you get rid of Kalos and Hollow Bastion with this rule set every time. Oh. You don't get as many stone, you don't, you, and you prevent the chance of them getting the double diamond glitch. There's a glitch? Double <laughs> diamond? I don't know if well, a glitch is kind of a weird way to put it. It's that they can load up a diamond spawning in two different spots on the stage. Interesting. It's so dumb. I, Yoshio is kind of not really contesting the Steve while getting resources, so. This, this round is going a lot better, though. A single plat stage is definitely a lot better for dealing with Yoshi just because Yoshi struggles oh, to get the, back. The, yep. No, not He's quite. Living. He's living. Oh, the high recovery. Oh, my it bad. wasn't worth. Yeah. Honestly, I'm surprised that... Ooh, that wasn't it. Sorry, Law. That, that definitely just grab. wasn't it. Either either the thing grab is, 
you like you should know that most Yoshis have a broken there out of shield. So when they land, they typically like to shield right after. Like I know Steve has a slow grab, but they're it's something. That's something. They're either shielding or they're hitting a tilt. Right. Oh. That was very good. That was good. You take those. But with 84% and still climbing, it might Ooh. be a little difficult for LNL to. Unless Diamond is just gonna. Okay, it's basically even now. <laughs> you thought this was gonna I, be I a wash? I, I no, thought, sir. Well, I guess not. I believe in LNL, though. He could definitely do this. He's just gotta hold this turtling under the center plat. Yeah, it's straight even now. And just like that. <laughs> Oh, side B. Yep, there it is. I like that recovery use of the... I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't. Sure, it mixed up his timing, but he, lo he lost the one iron he had. Oh. And that's the set. Yoshio played okay. that textbook. Yoshio was also getting some pretty solid tech chase reads yes. off of Nair and down tilt as well, so... It was... It, but Law was bringing it back. Up tilt broken. Up tilt broken indeed. Nobody likes Steve up tilt. They'll bring you up to 70% for free with Diamond. That's another thing that not enough Yoshis do. Go back, just go to the back. You know how Mario's love to just roll to the side of edge so they can get that grab and back throw? Oh, trust me. I Yoshis know do the well. same. Yoshis need to do the same thing with their up tilt. Yoshis roll back, up tilt, so that way the neutral get up can cover it. And you get up tilt to up air, free kill. All right, well, I'm up against Joel on stream, so wish me luck, everybody. Best oh, of man, luck, my I look really tired. I promise I'm Aren't not. Aren't we all? I promise I'm not tired. That's just how I look. It, anyway. It's just the gamer vibe. That's just what it is. Good luck commentating. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. We are going to keep going now into, is this another winner's quarters match? I don't know if this is a quarters match or, or a round of 16. Or sorry, not round, round of 32. But, oh man, this is a stacked bracket for an MTF. So much of Philly showing up. We had some Jersey show up. Mid-Hudson Valley, New York showing up. Some former Penn Staters home for the semester. Oh, I'm so excited to see what's going on with this. Slasher Beast. P.T. Shulk. This is a scary matchup if you don't know what you're doing against P.T. And on the side bracket, it looks like we got, I see Pulse, and I don't see who the Joker is. I can't tell if that's Quack. I don't that's think Villanova. That's... Oh, that's, oh, wow. I could not tell from here. I'm sorry. That's, Tiny love you, screens. Gordon. Tiny screens. Yeah. How you doing, Mel? I'm doing all right. How are you? This is a great night. I'm it is. This I'm is crazy. <laughs> So we got Slasher coming back, you know. Uh, that's, I think this is his second time here, second or third. And he's improved quite a bit. The set he took against Overeasy was well fought, and there were so many adjustments. Yeah, a lot of game threes tonight. We love to see it. This is Rude. the second biggest more than friendlies event ever. Uh, the biggest one was 42 people. Tonight we had 40. That is crazy. So I love it. We're gonna have a new king. Uh, right at the end of the year, because we're this is the last MTF of 2022, number True. 122. Ooh. So, yeah. Joel doing an excellent job with Squirtle getting in. Oh, okay. I, I respect the hard read, but it's a little early to go for something like that. I think. Yeah. Oh, this is the grab though. He's trying. He's trying to see if he's not going to snap to that ledge. He's testing him. The whole problem with Shulk against PT is that Shulk struggles to hit characters low. Right there, yeah. And the low profile of Squirtle can be such a pain unless you just have the perfect Nair fair spacing. Nice edge guard there from Beast. Getting the Squirtle matchup experience here. And like, we'll probably get people arguing, well, Shulk can't just space out like back airs and stuff from far away. That's all well and good, but once you fall behind, it becomes a big problem real fast. Tried to go high with jump. Beast texts it, tries to go for the reversal, but he just gets back. Ooh. Okay. Down throw. I think he wanted a forward air, but I'm not sure. He wants his life. <laughs> As usual. Excellent recovery, went really low. Yes, he needs to kill him right here. We got flubs, and that's a stop. Ooh, the beast takes those. Slasher. 
How you doing, GameCube? This is a boss, man. <laughs> See, that's... Oh, that one stock lead. That was a much better time to go for the down smash. <laughs> you got to condition the opponent to do those air dodges. Oh, man. Oh, uh, does not get the down tilt in in time. That's a, another big problem. You need to have a fast move to come back Squirtle. Otherwise, you need hard reads or you're going to get bodied. Especially against a Squirtle that's good like Joel. Yeah, whiffs with his setups. So does Beast. Oh, oh Beast yeah. gets him off stage again. Good get up attack. Back it. Falling right into the shield, never good. Gotta would make that adjustment, do more fadeaways. Good tech chase. Ooh, that's Side beat parry. Ooh. Yep. That was fancy. That was that was well played. That was just consistent, well played. Okay, so <laughs> if I'm slasher, deep breaths, a stage with platforms. Find a way to bait the small character up on the platforms. And if I'm Joel, I'm probably demanding Battlefield because he's no fun. Yep. I can respect this one, too, because at least Shulk can attempt to turtle a little bit. Though so it's up to Joel if he's going to switch or not. No, he's not. He's staying, he's staying PT. Let's see. on the other setup. Vela Nova Pulse's last stock that game. But here we go. Game two, Hollow Bastion. <laughs> He's missing his strings, but falling right back into them. I liked that, but it's just a little off on the commitment and he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Shulk is such a good character, it's amazing to see him have it rough. Like, especially considering... Oh, okay, there we go. Right back into it. That was clean. And here's the Squirtle right back. Oh, misses the down smash. Got double down tilt to back off, let him come back, keep him above. That was excellent. And just like that, he nared right on shield and got down here. Oh, that was good spacing. This is dead even. Nair out of shield's going to cover it. Go, tries to go for the jump read, doesn't get it. A throw up air. Whiffs. They both whiff. Upset's not going to kill. But tries to go for another one. Shield man auto saves him. Misses with the grab. They're both whiffing. Back air to the face, sending Charizard off stage. Oh, good knowledge of oh percents. My Excellent knowledge of percents. I came right back on the mic on the right time. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go Slasher, man. Uh, he's Let's playing this match so much better. Even though like that unfortunate first stock happened, he brought it right back so cleanly and was forcing Joel into these really weird situations. All oh, his rage, gotta use it well. I think he's starting to get a little more pattern recognition on Joel now. Slasher's getting some good ideas. Ooh, good that's recovery. Nice. Uh, whips, gonna come back. Gets right back, and that's more healthy percent. Ooh, oh, oh that <laughs> shield. <laughs> that was a clip. He barely dodged the clip. I like the spacing now. That was good spacing. Nice flash. Oh. Oh, nice well jump. Oh, this is so scary. Whiffs the forward air. Is there a really cool game three? What can he get there? This is almost back to even though. Yeah. Good grab. Ooh. Which Monado is he going? He's too afraid to pick him an auto. He doesn't know if he has time. Good job getting back. Jump to recover, nice. Ooh, that is so Ooh. scary to go for. Excellent air dodge. Buster. Oh, Joel didn't trust that Razor Leaf, so he just let him get back to Pat. 
shield. Okay, fourth throw gets him off. He wanted to get him off stage, Smash. but he couldn't do it. All oh, the hard commit. Is that going to be it? Oh, he's trying to counter. And there goes Smash Monado. Now he got to wait again. Oh. Oh, this is so scary. The patience by Joel. He's wow. still alive. Okay. okay. Nope, not yet. Uh -oh. No. That That's is so unfortunate. Joel stays cheating, bro. Oh. That Joel was so well God, done, too. Bro. That was so well done. So much respect for Slasher. He made that so close. Oh, yeah. Wow. That was crazy. That was crazy. What was he cooking? I, I don't know what he's cooking, man. He's cooking no, something. he's probably just going for Shield Monado. <laughs> and he just hit up a little too early. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Man's going nuts. Respect, though. So much respect. He played it so well. And Joel adjusted in the middle of that game really well, too. Because he, it started out with the quick gimp, and then Joel was getting bodied. Yeah, it started slowing down. Slasher just started slapping him. <laughs> oh, so who's next? Citadel versus LJG. This is going to be interesting. Falco versus Steve, once again. A matchup Citadel despises for good <laughs> reason. He's been struggling against Rondor recently. So this could, we'll see how much Citadel struggles against LJG's style. I think that'll be the most difficult part of it. Going to PS2, the usual, par for the course. Man. I was hoping for a game three. Dang, that was close. <laughs> I was so ready for a two. Oh, Count Falcon. Wait a minute, what? Wait, what? What did I miss? Wait, what did Count I miss? Falcon. Did stream go offline? Yes, oh, for a split second. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's get into this. I'm, I'm willing to accept. Oh. Also, yeah, stream seems to be uh, wanting to go offline between sets, which is really weird, but it goes uh. really well during sets, so that's good. <laughs> Crap. But it's all good, guys. They're recording on uh, GameCube Lounge uh, YouTube. So nuts. Uh, what happened? Oh, disconnect. What happened? We got disconnect on stream. Let's go to let's go to GoPro. Resetting controller. Beast hooking him up. Uh, okay. I got you, fam. For everyone who does not know, X Y start. If you hold those three buttons, your controller will automatically disconnect and bring you to that little menu where you can re-enter it. Oh, that's perfect enough. <laughs> so I should just get GameCube controllers. It's really nice. Plug it in, unplug, plug it back in. You're good. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> wow, we're hanging at 16 viewers. Appreciate everyone watching. Thank you so much for stopping by. For real, we have 40 people in the house, and we have, I think, a peak of like 25 viewers tonight. So this is great. This I was is a beautiful call, Christmas gift for GameCube. Absolutely. I was going to call this our little local, but this is not little by any <laughs> stretch of the imagination. I was going to say, too, I was like, we'll probably have a few people. It's about as little as me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're back. Game one. Here we go. LJG Falcon. Oh, that's nice right. Pink. He beat Quack with Falcon. Oh. So this will be real interesting. Yeah, you get the pink Falcon. That's the problem was last game. <laughs> oh, very true. Okay. Ooh. Oh, let's stomp. I, I actually, now that I think about it, the way Citadel plays, I really respect this because it's going to be super scrappy and Falcon gets a lot out of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Except for when he's off stage. <laughs> now this is rough. Oh, on the let's oh, him get back. One. Oh, uh, back airs. Tries to do the full jump in there. Does not work out. Wow, the ammo made it. Somehow that traded. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit that replay button because I got to see that again later. Okay, forward throw. Get him off stage. Oh. He wanted it all. He wow. wanted it now. No tech zone. I think we, I saw the red, so that was not just untechable. That's crazy. Up airs. Up airs. Oh, the falling up air. The good old fashioned. Uh, tried to go oh. for the hard read, but no fast fall from Citadel. Diamonds are on deck. 
Oh, does not get the roll back. That would have been an F smash. See, that one got rid of the anvil, but the other one I'm surprised didn't. That's very interesting. What was the way he hit it or something? I wonder. Maybe. Okay, the he, LJG has some very, very ballsy down bees happening. Oh, oh that killed! Excellent catch! The LJG Falcon? This might be the this might be the way to go, man. Is this the wave? Oh, gets forward aired right in the grill. Oh. Citadel's not out of this just yet. <laughs> oh. I, oh. I respect it. Then he's going to die for it. <laughs> Got to be careful with coming back. Ooh. Catches him before he could do the anvil. Okay. And there's the sequence. Healthy 54. But he's not Ooh. trying to farm to get back. There's the farming. Okay. Um, yes, I'm calling it farming instead of mining because he's trying to farm wins. <laughs> That's a good way to go. Ooh, that shield pressure right there. I uh, I liked the block there to prevent him from rolling, so it was a freebie unless he rolled a certain direction. Oh, he caught dead? him. He's dead. Wow. No, huge props to Citadel for that. That was a comeback. That was a comeback. And the whole crowd yelling at Mondo for winning. <laughs> the classic. <laughs> if he was using Ridley, the whole crowd would be doing that. Exactly. Oh, man. Okay, so if I'm LJG, maybe I'm going FD. Palu, oh boy. Ooh. So I don't know how much experience Mondo has recently in the Palu match. I haven't seen this Palutena since I first met LJG here. Okay, that's in, that's. He has a really good Palu. Okay, so <laughs> this this could either be the surprise to get lead into game three, or this could be an absolute wash. Yep. <laughs> There's no in between. Okay. I'm liking. I was liking the zoning. Was. Ooh, he really? gets away with the trade. Ooh. Twice? R2. One more. Three piece. Give me the family uh. meal. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Nice. Oof. On that percent oh. again. Oh, a juggle. I wasn't sure if he was going to go for the forward smash mix up or not. Oh, that traded. We're living. Double jump to get away from nonsense. Okay. That rude, rude dash attack. Nice. Kills. Act this could be a game three. This oh, wait a minute. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Is this matchup hard for Steve? I I wonder. I kind of think that. Because I did not realize that you could still hit Steve through Anvil with up air. I didn't think it would reach that far left or right. That could be just dumb. That's kind of interesting. Also, the shield attacks make that really annoying. Ooh, I, oh, I think LJG's up. onto something here. He has an idea, bro. Pleasure, your attacks are very linear, so like you can get like through the anvil and the hitboxes very easily. Exactly. So maybe you're right on that. Maybe Palutena was the meta this whole time. I'm True top tier. At the same time, Mondo can still just Steve his way through him. Yeah. LJG has to play it right. Citadel's doing a go good job just backing off at times and back air to kill. No. Oh, he's gonna go for the spike. Here come the back airs. Yep. Misses. Oh, made in. Oh. Oh. I love the patience there. Just wait. <laughs> he knows the spacing that Mondo has to do in order to get any coverage and just lets him do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know how that missed. Oh, nice block. I was not expecting this. Oh, oh should have been Pantana expecting that mine card though. Ouch. Say Pontana Rust is falling off now. Get more smoothie. Oh, this is oh. so scary. The free percent. Oh no. Tell me if you still... recover. <gasps> no, no! He, can't. he can't recover from it. Yo, wait a minute. What happened? He gave him the mega blocks. There's no way. He just legoed him. Huh? What? Um, that is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Ugh. 
<laughs> the crowd in pandemonium. Let me, look at that. Let me look at the crowd real quick. Let's go to the crowd. Look at these guys. Look at them. They're all freaking. <laughs> they're all boys. Oh, man. <laughs> Crowd's going wild, bro. Uh, who's next? Who's Hunter's next? just like, hey, listen, it's, uh, sometimes it be like it do. Okay, oh, I Melon's have to go next. play on stream. Everyone wish me luck. Hey. Mondo's taking over for me. Well done. Oh, you're that was yeah. cheesy, but well done. <laughs> I was, uh, I was gonna say the Paolo switch, and like, he might be—he was onto something. Nah, he was. He was <laughs> that, like, As they switch up, pop up the players. We got the Melon versus uh, Fred. Oh, we didn't get the switch. Nani. No one for sure. Oh wait, we got the MVT brothers. Hey, it's the bros. MPT, MPT. Hey. I'm joined with the champion, Mr. Beast. Not champion yet. Oh. Still, hey, Bio, cha you're still champion right now. <laughs> Everybody else is playing right now, so we're yeah. going to commentate now. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> the last loser's quarter, uh, winner's quarters match. How are we still here? <laughs> and winner's quarters, bro. Melon and fucking. What a night tonight, guys. What a night tonight. Yeah, today's kind of incredible, can't lie. Yo, Yoshio picked up the Squirtle and was starting to do Squirtle aerials. <laughs> like, he really? was like, look, Squirtle edge guarding. <laughs> Who's playing PT? <laughs> no, with the, squirtle. Oh, with the Squirtle. I was yeah. wondering what he was going on over there. I was wondering what he was doing. I was like, what? <laughs> That's funny. What? That was funny. It seems to me like he, like he enjoys the venue right now. He's chill. Uh, I don't know if anybody got... I don't know if anybody played with him besides Slasher. The Slash and Obi. Slasher would be a good commentator if he... <laughs> honestly, he has, like, the enthusiasm. Yeah. He could fake it. He could fake a good smile. Yo, what is happening on that side stream right now? Somebody's getting tossed. Ron Dior. Yoshi. All right, we got we got Melon with the Yoshi, Fred, Hopney, Avery Lucas. has been bodying Opana on the side stream. I've been watching that. All right, All right, here we go, game one. one. Lucas and Melon, Me Yoshi and Fry. Have they ever played before? Yeah, they've had to. I'm about to look that up, Loki. Because uh, oh, there, there's some there are some days where Melon just goes absolutely insane, but I can say the same thing for Fry. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know how this matchup goes per se, but like I think Yoshi actually like does really well because he can contest with Ness's buttons. Uh, that's a Ness. Uh, Lucas's buttons. Oh, oh he's, crawling. he's crawling. Oh, he knows. Felix should start doing that. So let's talk about the fact that we got three Yoshis here, bro. Too many. Three Yoshis, bro. Fred is only, he's been at 8% for like, a, okay, never mind. Okay, Commentary fair. Scores. Nice. Oh. He had to go for it. Avery beats Opana. Let's go. My son. Avery's back. He plays the bird now. PK Fire. Back Wasn't he complaining about this character? Who? <laughs> Avery. Avery? Yeah, yeah, complaining about insanity. Uh, there's not much going on, to be honest. No, like, they're playing a little bit of footsies. When, when they asked me in the commentary, I was like, no. <laughs> but I'm okay. I think um, the problem with this matchup is that these are two players who don't initiate, like, any, like, crazy Oh, setups. all right. That was as a I bear. say that, as, Melon went Yeah, me. as I say that, as you say that, Melon just But takes normally, it. that doesn't happen. Melon right. is, is very, like, you know, like, backup game plan. He doesn't really go for, like, reads and So basically, like you know what I'm saying? Like, even, like, he doesn't take a, uh, a really good advantage day. Yeah. Like, he doesn't really go for it. Like, he, he, wait, he like, presses button second. Oh, but, but like right now, he's doing pretty good. He's chasing him. Oh, he needed to land with back air there instead. Mm -hmm. Good shit. I saw that. Good shit, bro. Okay. Oh, good, my uh, yeah, back You can't get hit by that, That Lucas bro. down tilt is so deceptive. Like, I swear. You got to be ready for it so you can, like, air dodge or you can, like, get the, out of there. The yo. Lucas down tilt is just not it, bro. Because like, everybody wants so to good. get back to the ground, so then you end up getting grabbed. Up, up air. And then the neutral is just this... Oh, he's moving though. The Z's. This is the neutral, man. They're just short hopping. Bro, how do you get in like with PK Fire, man? I hate Lucas. PK Fire. Okay. I was just Nair. about to say, oh, I feel like he's not Nair. hitting those nares out of shield. Oh my Nair god, bro, if that would have hit him. Oh, the PK freeze again. Oh, oh he's nah, that, I'm I knew that wasn't gonna hit. Oh, and he died for that. What you think it was bad the eye or he was like dead, bro? He he might have held in. I'm not too sure. The thing is, I was about to say, I like that idea at first because, like, he got through the back air or whatever with the, uh, not that back air, the up air, with the up smash because it clanked. You see what I'm saying? This matchup's so weird. 
No, they can't combo each other, so they're just looking for straight hits. Yeah, it's a lot of straight hits. But I feel like if... if but moment, Yoshi wins more in those, that's what I'm yeah, saying. In those, uh, Yoshi's going to win those situations. They both... Oh, that was really good, because I was just about to mention that they both have good, like, out-of-shield options, like down tilt and jab mm -hmm. from both, like, respectively. Oh, my oh God. My you God. see, it's the down tilt again. Yeah. You, you want to get back to the ground, you end up getting, like, grabbed the forward smash, because you're not there yet. Oh, the jab. And he was able to get away. I would like to see Lee Melon use a lot more down tilt in those poking situations. All right, there you go. The first combo I've seen. They're both the same percent, bro. Okay, never mind. As I gotta say that. Oh, what? Oh, he mashed out of it. And then he, he got, got a whole combo. combo. Yeah, he got a whole combo out of that. But it's Yoshi. You know, like Yoshi that. can live super long. I like that spacing of that Zare. Now Fraz just tech skilling on the floor. I'm seeing a lot of this red Yoshi, bro. Ever since Melee with Amsa 2, now bro, like all the Yoshi. Red the best skin. What happened to the Black Yoshi, man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't All know, right, man. back to the game. It's getting kind of close. I'm not going to lie. Well, not really. Because, like I said, Yoshi can live, like, super long. Oh you my gotta, God. Like, like, right there, instead of committing to that fair after the jab, he could have crouched in the, in, on the ledge and down tilted and maybe got a two frame. Okay. And forced him to... Oh, God. Oh, my... Yo, he almost landed right into that. Melon I don't even know how. In the back air, up smash. I've never seen him do that. Can oh. I see that? Like, oh, the okay. up smash. Oh, my oh. God. Like a fox confirmed. That would have been crazy. You think that would have worked? Uh, maybe if, if uh, Fred was pressing a button. Oh my god. Uh, now this is when it's looking kind of scary. Nah, he kind of threw by doing the PK freeze. Yeah. He let him get back to All safe. Right, he has another chance. He has a jump though. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's it. it. No, that's not it. It's Yoshi. What, what are we saying? I, I, I honestly thought it was it. I never, I'm never surprised. It's not like how Nessus. Weak it is. Yeah, it's not like Nessus. But up throw is going to kill here. Definitely. Uh -huh. Yo, oh, oh, that's it? No. And now the it's next last one. Hit. Oh my god. They're, oh. There it is. Yes, it. Yeah. You, you just, yep, 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 yep. And that was the longest game one I think I've ever seen. What if he would have downbeat in that situation? Instead of Shield, he would have downbeat. Yoshi? Yeah, I think he would have killed him. If, yeah. Only if the down B set him up before the grab came out. Like, I don't know the frame difference yeah. of like down B going up and not. What's, the down, what's Yoshi's down B called, anyways? I'm. Like, I know a lot of uh, commentators Bring know. <laughs> a lot of commentators know the name of the moves, but like, I don't know. A lot of them. Well, that's just my characters. I do not know, but all I know is they're about to camp again for another two minutes before. Did they go back? Stock. I think so. Okay. Despite what Melon says, he thinks about the game. He likes the game. Yeah. So we'll see. Melon can't fool me. Yeah, he, he can he adapt can, to what's going on. He can't fool me, man. And we'll see how it goes game two. Melon and Abs are in their own tier. Mm -hmm. of just like, I'm only here because y'all need to learn. And if y'all lose to me, y'all suck. The sensei tier. Yeah. All right, God, air dodges. Oh. You know he makes those. Oh, I like that. He was baiting the uh, the shields. Back to the, you know what I'm saying? Back to the, like, the, the guerrilla warfare where they just hit one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. Like, nobody's really getting, like, a lead, per se. But I feel like Yoshi's winning anyways because he can live longer than Lucas. The down air, up air, another fair. I, I like that he didn't go for another up air because it was definitely not going to work. So, I'm selecting there, there, it didn't work. Oh, my God. Back air, oh, double, double jump armor. Jump armor. And that's what kind of makes this matchup boring because, like, the double jump armor literally <laughs> negates anything from happening. You couldn't have said a different word. You just say oh, boring. No, like, I'm keeping it a beat. Nah, like, it, 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 it is a slower matchup. Ah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Especially if he could just get out of a lot Melon, of like, situations. And, and it's funny because, like, these are kind of oh. like mashier floaties, but at this, these are two players who don't, like, mash like that. They don't really I also want Melon to call out the air dodges. He's not calling out a lot of Frad's air dodges after but a move you know or after why? a hit. That's because he's not, like, chasing oh, it down fair. with those back airs. Right. He, he doesn't really approach with back air too much. Like, he, he takes a more traditional route to hit you. Okay, good Nair out of shield. He could bring this back. Nair. Nair. Okay. Egg. Like, in those oh. situations, Nair. Nair. Okay. See, I'll, he needs to go out there and like that's the thing test that, that. See, that's the thing that's different between Melon and Over Easy. Over Easy at least goes out to the, you know, saying like edge guard. He will go out there, but Melon, he's more like a little bit reserved. Just wants to go oh less trapping. Oh my god, what a string! That's like that was the biggest combo we've seen for sure. Uh, Again? Uh huh. Oh my god, hey, when did he start getting those? He, yeah, he has those. Lucas now? players gotta have those. True. Oh, he tried to see, like right there. He needs to land with back air on top of him, not on top, like over him. So to like cross him up or yeah, like to, end, yeah. to, to, to feint a cross up or something. Down the, all right, down there. He's not dead yet, though. Egg. He's gonna air dodge Despite egg. everything I was saying about Lucas's weight, he's been living like really long. A lot of these stocks. He still had three stocks, right? Mind you. He can't kill confirm him. Like he, he's not finding the F to up airs or up to up airs. Or the back air F to up airs or True. something. Look, he's just giving him too much room. You and I wanna, get it. He's at 150. You but, don't want to get PK But fired. Lucas also has four kill throws. Right. So, like, don't, or three, I guess. I don't think he has down throw up air anymore. Good up air. up air. He needs to find a lot of those. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed. 
the back air, and then the egg. And he jumps into the PK fire. Oh my god. He's chasing him up there. The He's at 150, man. And I, oh, there, there's a down tilt again. You know what I'm saying? This, this time he jumped and got out of there. You saw? Yeah, grab kills now. Rising down air, yup. The classic. Can't, he can't hit him. I, I'm starting yeah. to notice, like, he really can't, like, Where's hit him. Where's the down tilt tech chasing? Grab, yep. He needs to run up to those tech chases and down tilt or jab. He's giving too much space. I could just tell Melon's not comfortable. There it is. Yeah, I don't think he's played uh, this matchup a lot, to oh, be honest. There you go. Nair. I, don't, I just don't agree oh with my the God, fair yeah, on in the corner. Because Melon keeps him in the corner, but then, like... Does nothing with it. Does, does nothing with it and gets reversal. Yeah. And that's the worst, because you start getting reversal, and they lead it into death. And this is mad annoying. If I was losing, and this is what Frad was doing to me, I'd be mad as fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Good. The PK fires are... Yo, it's starting to add up. He yeah. needs to, like, get look, a kill. Look, he's just mashing into it. You can look in the player cam. Melon is... is he's mentally... Not, he's done? He's not done. He's just like, come on, son. Every time he gets hit by something. Okay. okay. It's not... The true, air dodge bro. again. Okay. The egg. I like the forward air attempt because any a frame there faster. Oh, the can, forward can he have up smash that? Yeah, he can up smash or forward smash. Grab is really laggy, bro. Oh my god. Yo, you saw what he was about to do. Nice. Right? Oh, good that, that, good was, that was good. I can see the clutch. 84 is not. Oh, okay. All right. 100 is not bad, bro. It's, it's Yoshi, bro. Yeah. Not, like, it's not the rage might help him. The forward smash? But the combo, he's just missing his combo starter. Oh, there, there it is. Go. There uh, it oh, is. That's true. Oh, how, are, how is that? Because Lucas weight. There you go. It's, it's not the weight, it's the floatiness. It is the floatiness. Like the hitboxes are just not connecting. He's like a he's just like scrawny. Well, he won't die yet, but the, in a couple of hits, a good edge guard. Gonna kill. You out of here? All right, bro. Oh, oh god. my god, is he dead? No, he's not dead. Match the next out. one is gonna kill. He could he could do this. Okay, oh, there you nice. go. An, a true combo. That's okay, a true combo. Now it's even. Now it's even. Max Ray Josie. Oh! Go! With the forward smash! What, what a call it? out! Nah, that, was, that was a crazy ass call out. Oh yeah, that's what we needed to see, bro. We bro, definitely he just needed went to for see it. that. He really he just went for it. That was so good. He really went for that, bro. This is where it started getting crazy. Right oh. here, we said it's even. Get to, try to get off stage, gets hit. Felix got a top eight. He said he was gonna do it. He said he did say that. He did say that, but he warmed up in losers, bro. He warmed up, and now we have Melon who's warming up low key, and now we're gonna get a stage Absolutely difference. Solid. FD, yeah, but that matchup's hard, bro. Yeah, yeah. Does Quack be Slasher? Really? I said, does he? Oh, okay, we'll see. All right, we got the game three. This is what I was hoping for. I, like, that was kind of, you know, that kind of woke me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, Melon, now you're waking up. Get out there. You're at, but you don't want to get like that in every situation. You want to be, like, up. All right, here we go. FD's gonna oh, this song is going dummy. FD, FD's going to be interesting because there's no platforms for either of them to get, like, tech chase up air uh, spams on. Oh! oh! If he took the double jump. I just don't like that they're... Both of their options. I like what he's doing now. Melon's yeah. starting to read the air. He's starting dodge. to read it. Yeah. yeah, he's trying to know which way now. Now he knows he went left last Double time. Jump out of it. Uh, yeah, you gotta got eat him. that. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, well, well, he took the damage though. True. Poked him. That's 20 damage just from a poke in a side. Oh, okay. wait a minute. The egg? I don't blame him for that grab. Can I see some more down tilts in place and some crawls? Because Lucas is uh, one of them. What I'm seeing, they're both jumping mm -hmm. always. If one of them just stays grounded, the other one is not gonna jump as often. True. And he could just wait for the option. And Yoshi's, I feel like Yoshi's buttons are better than Lucas's on the ground. It's like even, I feel like I would give Yoshi the advantage. He can pick up more confirms. I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know what they're talking But I know about. that's definitely, uh, I know LNL be here also. Okay. Yo, he really like dash attack him like that? He's not gonna die because, you know, Yoshi lives. Don't get hit by that. Up smash? I thought he was going to catch like an air dodge or something. There? Down tilt? Oh, yeah, I, I thought he was down crazy. smash. Like that outside. Crazy. Back. There right you go. There, where's the drag down, though? Oh, nice. all right. He needs those. He needs yeah. those. Hit the nair out of the tether. Tethers are, can't be punished. Don't forget, bro. Side B. Yeah. Oh, throwing eggs at him. 13%. That was a good grab. Yeah, He's not going to kill him, though. So oh, good gonna match. Take the pummels. Uh, up throw still won't kill, honestly. He's trying to get him with the grab, but Malik he knows. Can, oh my Malik god. should not be approaching him in the corner. Yeah, that's the problem, but I respect him for like trying to get more percent off. Nah, if the, yes, he needs to turn, he needs to approach with his back facing him. Oh, okay, nice. up he's got the reversals. 
Just get out of there. Don't don't go over there. Because the minute you go, you go yep. there, you're you're trying to close quarter combat with Lucas. Yes. Starting to drag him down. This is still a close game, no matter what it says. Only it's only 66% on Frad right now. And he's slowly bringing it back. Melon, every single time Melon approaches, like, while it's good, it's also getting him caught a lot. Oh, here we go. The strings again. The 50%. Yo, what is that? Like, I've never played, uh, not not never, but I haven't played the mother games in a while. I don't know, like, what is that thing that comes out the of The snake. The snake. But, like, it's what's a snake? snake? I don't know the, the, the importance of the fucking snake. Okay. But I know it's a snake. All right, cool. That was so bad. Yeah, he gets grabbed. He's, he's okay, though. He's not going to grab Same percent. If he get fired. I need to see, I need to see Melon just, after he does an, a short hop aerial over his shield, I need him to just let go of shield F2. Drag him down. Right here. Like, right here. Um, oh, okay. There you go. Oh, okay, he, now he's waiting for the air dodges, but he's, he's just not getting them right now. Because like you said, Lucas is floaty, you know what I'm saying? There. So he's just in the air. Chase him. Chase him. Can he oh. get another in the Okay, air? Oh, no, no double jump. jump. All right, he gets back to the ledge. Forward smash? Down B, oh break, my no, God. no, no chase. See, look, right there, go on. Yeah, there you go, there you go. go. Nah, let's get back air pressure, because he rolled Nah, Fry's kind of butt for getting hit by the third one. But he rolled into it. Yeah, but why would he roll in when he's doing a back air spam in the corner? Because he's, you his know whole shield. Yeah. Oh, his shield was low. His, his shield was, actually was very low. Oh, that was a good grab. Not he's not going to die. Good mash. Next one. Good go. roll, get out of there. Bellin's bringing this back right now, hold on. Up. Oh my God, he's going to get there. Ah, uh, then it didn't go out. No, he's bugging now. Look at how fast Melon's playing. Yeah, though. now he's understanding. There you go. Yeah, he's he's. Still oh my tight. God, seventy-one. Frat is still tight. The back air. Oh my God. You don't want to be in this situation against Yoshi. Oh my God, he's parrying yeah. everything. Here we go. Melon's in the zone right now. The song is going in his soul. The grab. Oh my God, uh -oh. he missed it. The oh. air dodge he didn't get it. He's trying to get it so bad. Yo, he air dodged good. the PK fire like literally last second. What's bad is like you, you don't want Yoshi at this percent, bro. Not, because at all. He's just gonna hit you with a bunch of straight hits, yep. and then you're gonna miss. A and lot. then you gotta re. That's yep. Cool. See, he jumped out of that again. Finally, gets out of the down tilt. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's true. All right, here we go. Moment of moment of truth right here. What's it right at 85, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say he's out of this yet. You know, Lucas does cheat sometimes. There? No, it doesn't go off stage for it. He doesn't. He, I'm he's telling you, he doesn't ledge. go off stage. Uh oh. See, in those situations, just like crawl. Oh my god, no jump? Does he still have a jump? No, oh, he does. He all does. right, double jump out of there. He has to read those air dodges down. Yeah. That's what's killing him. Commit. I think he's gonna come, come in for the final one to kill him. Oh no. Do you have a jump? Oh! No. Okay. The down, the down B? B? Is he head? No, oh yeah, my I god, didn't he's think alive. So. Oh my god, bro. And just like that, the back airs. There it is. Back oh. oh my god, that back air. And the final fucking back air did it. Insanity. Insanity. And Felix is popping off for him. Two, we got three Yoshis in top eight. Probably bro. because if Felix lost, he had to play him. Nah, Felix is already in top eight. He, he plays, plays, plays Alan. Oh, <laughs> and you know how that goes. Oh, Slasher be quack too. Yeah. Damn. All right. I think that's me, right? We got three red Yoshis in top eight. Three red Yoshis. This is my life's dream, bro. You're in top eight, bro? You made top eight? Yeah, bro. Let's we go. out here. Top eight, baby. All right, that's, what I might, that, that's my thumbnail, bro. Hell three, yeah, three bro. Three red Yoshis. Three red Yoshis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We three kings of Christmas. <laughs> we three Yoshis of Christmas. All right, we got Yoshi. Hashtag, oh, we three Yoshis, bro. Winner semifinals, Yoshi O versus Citadel coming up next. All right. Ooh, this so, is be a good one. I believe that Mondo has won against... Uh, Yoshio before, but the, the set count is in his favor, 3-1, to one, if I remember the PG stats correctly. I don't know if they played yesterday, though. Good homework. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You were awarded. <laughs> oh, Squave's yeah. in the chat. What's up, Squave? I'm joined by my fellow friend, an amazing player, Nova. How you doing? I don't know about amazing. I just do what I can, but uh, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm doing all right. You're amazing, bro. How do you feel about three Yoshis in top eight? It is confirmed. Three red Yoshis. Three red Yoshis. <laughs> In top eight. <laughs> this man just entered his whole entire mini god, bro. He said it's over. 
It'll make the can y'all just at least can y'all at least like go to Bears or something? Like, why you gotta go to my town specifically? I live three, here, bro. Three, you live in Mount. You live in Mount Pocono, it's right dude. There. No, it's not right there. It's like an hour but drive Philly's, or some shit. Philly's like worse not there though. <laughs> All right, where's Mondo? Uh, Mondo. There he is. All right, we finally found yeah, him. He's gonna there. get the set going too. If you're in the chat, what's your favorite set so far tonight? We've had a lot of doozies out here. A lot of them. Personally speaking, the Beach versus Slasher set was pretty fire. Uh, that last set was pretty great, too. Um, so I'm hoping to see more action. I see uh, one of the three kings of Yoshi, Mr. Melon, behind me. Melon, congratulations. That was a great set. How are you feeling after that? I'm fucking tired. You're tired, man. I hear that. PK Fire times 70, bro. Uh, yeah. And you navigated it all. So well, strong. When you started doing the strings with the set with the Zare, so consistently, I got so scared. He, yo, bro, I got bodied said, by it the last time you played, bro. Thank goodness it wasn't me. Right. I'm yeah. That, I'm SDI the hell out of it too. That was what <laughs> he was doing. Hell yeah, man. All right, so now we got Enderman and Yoshi, and we're about to play another set. I believe this is already top eight. Uh, winner semis. Yeah, winner semis. Yeah, yeah bro. Still best of three. All right. Let's get it. Hopefully, yeah, small battlefield. I imagine he banned PS2 to prevent it from Iron, uh, which is good. Uh, that's a great decision by Yoshio. We'll see what he can do here. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. I actually haven't even seen Yoshio play at all, but I heard he's nice. Yeah, uh, very amazing. Um, there's a series of tournaments in Philly called The Rave, and I believe in his time being here, he's won every single one of them. Mm. Uh, he's also won a couple of bears, including the, the last codename bears and the first regular bears back to back. Yeah, um, yeah. And he's just overall a fantastic talent. So really, really Sick. happy to have him here for the time that he's been here. <laughs> right, right. I, I honestly wasn't expecting him. I seen him, I was like, ooh, nice. All right, so Mondo getting resources, which is something that uh, in the past he struggled with, but I feel like lately his gameplay has revolved around it. Um, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, yes, yeah. We, we shout out the rave. The rave is awesome. Please, please attend. Um, very great tournament series. In the back, you're taking that stock. He's like, we're going to get that box out of here. Absolutely. <laughs> what is this song? Hold up. It's a fire song, right? I don't know what it is, but I'm going to have to it's look not, it up. I think it might be like Tekken or some shit. All right. All right, how is he going to get back on this stage? Regrab and no punish from Citadel. He tries too no hard punish. to get that aerial. <laughs> All right, gets the minecart, unable to do anything after that. Mm -hmm. Yoshio is the real deal, man. I've met him at a Bears before, and now he's here. I'm super excited. As, yeah, a, as yeah. a Yoshi player and a Samus player. And um, a Samus player. Right, he literally plays the same characters as me down to the T. It is really <laughs> cool to see it. All right, oh, tries to get the anvil set up. Very law-like, however. That's not going to work. Yeah, no, if that was law, I would have killed. <laughs> oh, and Steve not getting the tech. Unfortunately, Yoshio was not expecting that. He doesn't get a punish. Mm hmm Dropping more anvils. Right. Just kind of just throwing moves around each other, just spacing each other out. I like that thus far, Yoshio is taking his time. Like, he had the lead, and yeah, now he's right two there. stocks yeah. ahead, all because he wasn't trying to rush the fact that he had that lead. Yeah. And that's something that a lot of like He knows when to slow down and when to turn up, and right there when he took that stock, he knew when to turn up, because that was his opportunity to kill him right there. Right, absolutely. Okay. And that up go. I'm surprised I didn't trade. Whenever grabs clank like that, Yoshi usually bounces out. Yeah, and yeah. The grab breaks, but however, that didn't happen. Uh, Mondo got the stock there. He just up air through my cart, bro. I need to start doing that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I, got I no swear I'm just going to pick up Yoshi at this point. Honestly, bro, Yoshi's a great character. And the fan base, they support each other. They <laughs> support each other. Yep, you should see the documents that we have on character data, bro. It's a lot. Like, we really do our work. But, you know, it isn't about us, it's about these guys right here. And mm -hmm. Yoshio looking to get this first game after landing a couple up airs and some eggs. Right, right. Okay, whisk the grab. Another oh, grab. I'm telling you, bro, that's Mondo's bad habit. If there's anything you can knock him for, he's constantly overusing grab in disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, what is he planning? What is he scheming? Right now, he's just jumping around, taking advantage of his aerial mobility and not trying to really get hit. And he yeah, yeah. can't do anything about it. It's very similar to what Yoda Cage tries to do with Mecha Koopa Dash. And then that back air is going to take that game. God, I hate that back air. Absolutely. And it looks like they're discussing something real quick. Huh? All right. Probably just telling him what stages he wants to ban. I imagine so, yeah. All right, Shota's happy, man. Look at him. He's so content taking the soul of Citadel. And Citadel's just drained. Getting his water. Did that Sonic to just, break loot, just break Frat's shield? Yeah, bro. That's crazy. I've never seen a Sonic shield break. Yo, he's kind of 
Who is this dude? He's kind of moving. Hey, produce, uh, production is side stream bracket right now. I think that's yes. That is a top eight qualifying match. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, Cyan. He came with Haku. He's a uh, local here. <laughs> he's doing a lot of good work. Yeah, I had the, the luxury of playing uh, Franks. Uh, so I didn't get to play Cyan today, but that's dope if he's able to surpass Frad. That's a really cool. Yeah, uh, check out the side stream, guys, on the YouTube channel, GameCube Lounge. Absolutely. YouTube. You heard the man, Vinny, YouTube, GameCube mm. Lounge. Check it out. But right now, back to Twitch and back to Game 2 as back Yoshio gets a nice two. dare to open up the game. Dare that much. Dare should not be that much damage. But mm, just still racking up damage like he's racking up money. Yeah, bro. Mm. I wonder how he got away with that. I feel like I try to open up games a lot like that, and it never works out in my favor. So what did he do differently? <laughs> I, I guess he just found an opening and just, just hit just him with hit. it. He just used it. He just let it rip. Right. Okay. Tries to get the confirm off the block, but it dissipates before he's able to get the grab off. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mondo a block away from being a little profane. Mm -hmm. All right, catching him in disadvantage. We're not letting him land. We let him land anyways, but that's okay. Ooh, the hit stun was really, really good there from 40 to 80%. What yeah, a great yeah. conversion by Citadel. All right. And very quickly has Daimondo on deck. However, he does lose the stock for acquiring it, so we'll see if he's able to do anything with it, this stock or not. All right, mm -hmm. he, asks, uh, he chooses to go for it. He wants that diamond. He wants this kill. What is he planning? How do you feel about Steve? Are you pro Steve or anti Steve? I, uh, my technical answer is I really don't care because I don't really play the game a lot like that. But like, if I, I were to say if I was pro or anti, I mean, definitely anti Steve. Anti Steve? Yeah. Do you think he's worse than Kazuya? That's a good question, honestly. Like, I just rather not fight them both. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you see, mm, that was just a weird interaction. I don't even know what that was. But like, I, like I said, I just rather not fight them both. But like. If I, if I were to pick who I would really have to play against, I guess Kazuya. Because, like, Kazuya Falco is not, like, terror bad. Right. Because it's basically a matter of, like, just who hits who first, who combos who first, just all that stuff. And I can keep Kazuya in, like, disadvantage and all that stuff. Um, I hear that. Do, like, edge guard him. He tries to lazy me. I reflect it. So, yeah, just stuff like that just makes him a, b a bit more, like, bearable to play than, uh, than Steve. Well, hey, you heard it there from Velanova. Chat, what do you think about Steve? While we get right back into this game, <laughs> um, Mondo kind of bringing it back somewhat. I mean, 62% isn't an awful lot for Yoshi, who's relatively heavy. A lot of people are surprised at how heavy Yoshi actually is. Yeah, I don't even know why he's so heavy. I mean, he eats. Have you seen his appetite, bro? He has a right to be heavy. <laughs> God, man, he's fat ass. Yeah, he's like the same weight as Lincoln Falcon, I believe. That's um, gross. That, that is so check. gross. Okay. That, that interaction nice. was also gross. <laughs> It's weird though, because like I feel like I've seen Mondo do something with that specific interaction before, and he just hesitated that time. Maybe yeah, this, yeah. the caliber of player Yoshio is kind of threw him off guard. Uh, I can see that, yeah. Okay. That back at the last hit of that back air, taking that stock. Tries to get the up smash immediately. Out. There's no way he had enough iframes frames to up smash, be in lag, and still not get hit. That's yep. crazy. Steve, mo well, not just a Steve moment. I think it's just a game moment in general. Yeah, that, that's a game issue, bro. Yeah, game moment, game moment. But hey, this game know. was never play tested. <laughs> But you know what? Mono Brothers is back, and now he has a pretty small lead. Yeah, yeah, they're fighting. He's fighting for real, for real. And this is best of three, so it's either he's going to losers or he's bringing this to a game three situation very quickly. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see game three. I would like to as well. These are some great players, and we've seen best of three, uh, set three, uh, the entire night so far, honestly. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Yoshio on the defensive, try and find his way through. Mm -hmm. Citadel. Without resources, and it doesn't even matter because he gets the fourth smash to force the game three. Now we're going to three. game three. That Sonic is giving Frad trouble. Yeah, man. I mean, Frad did win that first game. Uh, very narrowly, though. So we'll yeah, see if he's yeah. able to do anything with it. But that's a pretty interesting set happening on the YouTube channel once again. The YouTube um, channel. So if you haven't been there, If y'all have it. YouTube, I would say I was just going to that and watching that. Who doesn't have YouTube? Let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this song is fire, though. This oh, song, yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of goofy. It is goofy, but you know what? That's the DKC country. The uh, DK yeah, DKC country. It's the DKC music. David Wise did a fantastic job on all three games, bro. I can't believe how excellent it was. But now, now we have game three, uh, and this is going to be a pretty interesting set. Lord Wu Fak Fak. Wait, Imagine is this even... Huh? Is this even DKC or is this Banjo? This sounds pretty Banjo-like, bro. It might... I don't know. It... I, I don't know. Who All cares, I know bro. is imagine. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I caught on. Hey, hold on, hold on. Wait, I caught on to that before you texted that. I'm chilling. Mm -hmm. 
Man, I haven't played Banjo, so you can't even fault me for that yeah, shit. Yeah, man, nah, I caught that back. You can't get that neck. Uh, but in any case, uh, up air. Up air, up air, trying to get another up air. Ooh, an egg in him. Ooh, nicely spaced. Uh, F, sma F throw. Okay. Say, F, throw. F here and F smash. Mondo Ooh. quickly having to fight back. All right, he got iron. What's he going to do with that iron? Yo, he just put that block right over Yoshio and nothing happened, bro. I thought mm -hmm. like he'd get stuck in an animation or something. That was yeah, pretty yeah. weird. <laughs> it is this thing. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Like, this All the that, rare music sounds like... Yeah, this that what the fuck music. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mondo getting the up tilts with the gold. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to have a lot of extra frame data added to his music. Music, wow. I'm confusing my conversation. What's happening today? Yeah, that take a chill, bro. really saved his life. I hate Steve. Mm, he said, you're not... Mm, bring that ass back here, boy. Right. Forward smash through the blocks. Okay, whiffs the grab. Uh, no punish, which is very strange because Yoshi's grabs suck. All of them. Yeah, especially uh, whiff. It's so bad. What is he He's doing? He's not cooking anything, is, bro. <laughs> clearly, he doesn't own an air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, air fryer? What is that? I just, I'm just going to microwave my food. Uh, all right. Get the forward yeah, He ain't baking nothing. He ain't got no cookies in the oven. That shit just burnt. All right, so Yoshi will take advantage of the fact that uh, Mondo Mondo's sucks. mining. Well, that and Mondo's <laughs> mining. Because like when you see Steve at the ground like that, right, that he doesn't good, have man. as much time as you think to shield. It's yeah, a lot yeah. of buffer inputs, right? So you have to really take advantage nice of that. Right there. Mm, catch him in the air with that other up, up air. Oh, All don't right. exit him. Mondo on his winner stock. He's going to need to make something happen real quick. All right, he's cooking. All right, he's that was in the a oven. conversion. He's got something. He got something in the, in the oven. He got some on the grill. He does look like that type of uncle that be grilling. Right. Oh my god, this man's just getting laddered right mm. now. Oh, that fair would have been vicious. Is he gonna get it? All right, buffers his options at the ledge, and now he's in disadvantage again with oh my god. a lot of resources. Get off. That. Mondo, get back on the stage. Oh my gosh. Yoshio's pressure at the ledge was just fantastic up to now. Mm hmm. Definitely All right. very solid pressure. Excellent X to avoid the TNT because Mondo had the pressure point. He was going to play it right there real well, he quick. He tried the footstool, but messed it up. Yeah, bro. All right. Another gold. Got nice forward punish, smash nice and no diamond, unfortunately. Tries to find it. Now it's online, but 120%, mm. he's going to have to find the time uh, oh. to be unbothered. He's not letting him get that diamond, bro. He's like, bro, I'm not in that diamond. Oh my god, you took away both of those in one hit. Oh, was that worth See, it? He's was alive! That barely. But now he's gotta get back to the stage. Is that possible? That what a that crazy recovery. A that mix up was fantastic. Recovery. And once again I hate in the that corner. Back here. But yeah, that cover was. Oh, and he tried to rush into the stage. I thought he was alive. Right, that's what I'm saying. He like jumped at a blast zone. That's why he died like that, but damn. Very, very, very uh, close set right there. But Yoshi yeah, is able to clutch it out, uh, kicks the win from uh, Citadel, and now Beast is on deck to play. Beast. <laughs> Racist ass forward smash that was. That, <laughs> that, that narrow right there, that narrow was funny as hell. I believe it's Beast Melon, correct? Huh? Beast Melon next on stream? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so we got Yoshi winning, and now we have another Red Yoshi winning, and I believe another Red Yoshi's after that, too. This a trifecta of Yoshis. Let's see if we can get the, the three-peat uh, win. I'm not coming back, bro. <laughs> You're not coming back? I, I, I hate this place. <laughs> Yo, and just again, shout out to the GameCube Lounge for doing a fantastic job of, you know, hosting us every single night, every single Tuesday, uh, at Breakfast Club every Monday. Uh, they're just working really, really, really hard. So um, thank you for all of us uh, here at the lounge in our last event of the year. So we're really, really excited to close it off strong. Uh, Is it the last people. one of the year? Yeah, last one. Because uh, we're not doing anyone uh, next week, right? I guess not, no. I'm just looking at the calendar. I figured y'all yeah, would do at least one more next week, but... Nah, man. We well, I guess because it's like Christmas weekend, y'all probably might be like doing something else. Yeah, That's absolutely. understandable. All right, so we got the Yoshi, and we got the Ivysaur. Uh, the classic matchup. Joel has been through this so many times at so many points in his life. Mm -hmm. um, so he has the experience, but let's see if Melon's able to, you know, really frustrate him. And he's done it before. Melon's taken sets off of Joel. We'll see if it matters now. Mm -hmm. All right. 
And this Guilty Gear music do go hard. Bro, I've wanted to play that game so much, but I suck at like traditional fighters, bro. Yeah, yeah. At least, well, Stripes is at least like a bit easier, but still like weird in a <laughs> sense. Oh, that was a nice up smash. Oh, it's not going to hit the mark. Right, right. That down air, though, Will, and that's a free 30%. Downer. Tries to get the up air, however, he reads the switch and is unable to do anything after that. Great determination by Melon to not pursue that. Mm -hmm. Oh? No punish. Okay, drag down, up smash. Uh, I think forward smash definitely would have been the better yeah, option. Yeah, it would have. Interesting. All right. Gets the egg. And he doesn't trust the fact that it doesn't uh, snap ledge. That would have been a nice, easy conversion. I guess he didn't want to get hit by the up because that has armor and everything. Right, right. All right, so what's the lead? We'll see what Melon has to do. In my personal experience with this matchup, you've got to be able to slow it down mm -hmm. and, you know, not get too caught up in the fact that you have a lead. Just like right, that, right. he loses his stock. But hey, 69%. 69%. Well, spot dodge in his face. All right. Ooh, what a pivot. Oh, just, oh, just double jumped out of that. <laughs> And Spot Dodge proving to be a pretty uh, important part of Melon's kit here. He did it, like, I think three times, and each was successful. He didn't get anything out of it, but he was able to avoid trouble. So I'd like yeah. to see him mix that up with Raw Aggression the next time he's in a shield situation. Mm. All right. All right, cool in there. 127, I imagine a switch is coming mm. up. What is he planning? Oh, that was Ooh. so good. Right the air dodge and Joel shaking his head, trying to okay, find his way back okay. in. I like I like that option. I ain't gonna lie. Go oh, Ivysaur. Bring that ass here, Ivysaur. <laughs> you know it's crazy. The possibility of it being a Yoshi Yoshi winners finals is there if Melon can take the obnoxious upset over Joel. Yeah, yeah, that would, that would be something. That up be almost killing him, but good DI check. Okay. Kind of just pressuring him. Melon not really getting much hits off until now. Just keeping it slow, keeping it steady, and then All right, over, almost over, gets the forward smash. smash. Almost gets him. Oh, wow, great momentum shifts by uh, using up air to avoid the egg lay there. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right. Charizard, now he has to nest. Forward throw, that's nice and easy. All right. And Squirtle using the, the water gun there because using a, a special move increases the, the speed at which you were able to switch. Yeah, uh, yeah. So excellent knowledge of that by Joel. All right. Okay. Ironically, I don't think Ivysaur is doing well versus uh, Melon right now, which is kind of the opposite. It's, of yeah, it's turns. weird because, like, usually every time Joel fights a Yoshi, he always just goes uh, Ivysaur. Right. He just kicks him in his face. All right. Got the Nair. Tries to get the reverse Tries to get a hit. reverse Nair to be cheesy. Ooh. Ooh, Scooby-Doo. Scooby Doo, why did you say that? Okay, F2 right. nice. is so That's scary. And the back air steals it. Joel cheating once again. I kind of figured as soon as he got that F2, he would go for a back air, try to reel jump or something yeah. like that. Definitely a solid option from NBTBBM Beast. Otherwise known as Bizarre on Twitter. Yeah, bro. I feel so bad for Squirtle, bro, because the Pokemon trainer is sitting there. She's like, everyone did great. And, and Squirtle did like, nothing. Right. Because he can't do anything in that matchup. I don't know, bro. Yellow, don't even ask me, bro. Joel be cheating every single day and night. Y'all know how this works. Mm -hmm. All he knows how to do is cheat. All right. Game two coming up. And again, same matchup. We'll see if they went back to PS2. I imagine they did. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because, like, it's not as if Melon was doing bad on that stage. He was definitely doing really good, so I would imagine he wouldn't want to switch. Right. Staying Squirtle for this one. That's interesting. And both just hitting each other left and right. Oh, nice. Up the out of shape. Okay. Get the hell off me. Just spat on his face. It's a curious up B right there. Joel starting this game significantly stronger than he did last time. However, uh, Melon very quick to even up the score. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, perfect switch. Mm. And that, he's able to flip advantage take with it, too. Yeah, yeah, that switch, is, that switch is crazy. Oh, and that, yeah, that oh, armor. my God, that was almost it. Oh, my God, he died right. Uh, <gasps> oh, and that's what he was going for before, trying to stop the, the flare blitz in his tracks, but he didn't get the result he wanted last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Almost flare blitz in his face. And that back here. Nice it was, 100%. 
do you agree with Joel like retreating to ledge is Zard in this situation? Can we repeat that again? Like he retreated to ledge as soon as uh, Melon got off the Angel platform. Do you think that that was a smart decision? I think that it was a bit shady, a bit trick shady, I'd say. Just because like uh, he risked himself going like off stage and just getting like edge guard by Yoshi. Right. But it was good how he escaped from it, how he managed to escape. Oh my god, and air dodges right through. Tries to get a down air, however, too aggressive, but it's not going to hit the mark. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right. Back air out of shield? No I way. Guess that yeah. works. Yoshi up air out of shield is pretty strong, man. I didn't think that was going to kill. Fourth smash, yes, sir. That's going to take it. And just like that, 2 1, beast. Both even socks right, right here. Right now or after? Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing that one has to play. Ooh, nice up air, up air. Oh, wires. How we doing, Gord? Mm, so far, so good. Okay, so Beast, uh, Beast up the healthy lead here. Yeah, yeah, definitely doing better than he did last game. Like, definitely made some solid adaptations here. He's swinging the whip three just in a row. Four. <laughs> just bullet seated out of out of the egg. That's, that's curious. This is this is the Yoshi warm up for Beast because <laughs> after this he's got to fight another, another Yoshio. Yeah, well Yoshio might go Samus, but you know let's hope he goes Yoshi. <laughs> God man, oh, and of course he would do that because well, why wouldn't he? <laughs> he knew he was dead. Mm -hmm. Solid game to Beast. Now unfortunately right. I'm gonna hop off comms because I'm gonna chill. I'm really tired. All right, and we're gonna have Slasher versus. Frat Hopney coming up next on the mainstream. Joined here by Snowfy, right? Hello. We're going to get Melon back here to help commentate. So we got Lucas versus Shulk. That is not a matchup you see often. You got it? Okay, gotcha. Mecca. Mecca coming in with Melon here on the mic. Hello. What's up? Man, MTF becoming the home of the Yoshis? Just becoming? It, it's been. I mean, but like truly, now that we have Yoshio, we have four Yoshis that come to MTF. Yes, no uh, guarantee that this is consistent. No, of course it's not going to be consistent, but we have had four Yoshis. Oh, yeah, Top I've, levels of Yoshis. We have had more than enough Yoshis on a regular basis for it to be home of either the Yoshis, oh, the Falcos, or the Steves. Yes. Oh my god, of course. <laughs> Those three are the most popular character. It, the, is it a problem? Show. Absolutely. Oh yeah, of course. As right now, we're going to slow down with the Steve and Yoshi content to bring you some Shulk Oh, this is a Lucas. weird one. Yeah, yeah we, don't, we don't see this matchup often. Incredibly technical Lucas versus excellent neutral and edge guard game Shulk. And I know Slasher was before it was like yelling a little because he was like Ganon is not bottom tier. <laughs> it's a hot take. It is a, a very a hot, hot take. take. Volcanic even. Yes. But hey, to each their own. And once again, PS2. I probably should have taken Beast somewhere else, but oh well. Oh, the Nairs. Okay. Somehow, somehow Slasher came out of that with much more percent dealt. Oh, we also just don't see a lot of Shulks here at MTF. That's true. Not a lot come to play. Oh, the response, though, by Frad. And he just uses the up to get out of there. I like it. Oh, that eats that so well. But jump Monado. Jesus. All right, just, just, sorry. That PK fire though is just like absolutely insane. Just both these guys playing like on just such different levels as that kills though. That's the whole hard part about PK Thunder from Lucas is that weak hit can just make any edge guard so strong. Oh yeah, of course. And Fred just being like an MTF original, we've seen him like evolve in like such different ways from his playstyle from since the very beginning. That killed in 90. Ooh. I know it's Smash Monaro, but ooh. 
And these guys are just not holding back. Like, they want to win. Absolutely. I mean, it's top eight. You're going in. Ooh, okay. Good Ooh. dodge to get around. He's got the shield, though. The patience. I like that. Just roll right around the shield while he's busy pressing buttons. Let him go. Oh, flubs the Zare string. Oh, yes, you can you cannot linger against Lucas's down smash like that. What is oh, he this dead? hurts. He's dead. That's so unfortunate, though. Down to his last stock slashers. Brad's sitting comfortable now at 48. Brad's taking full advantage of how Slasher's spacing around the shield. I feel like Slasher's way too close most of the time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Some healthy percent now. Most things will kill, which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gets out of that. I feel like not going to kill. It's only at 109, though. I love the air dodge to get through the bear, but still get forward. Good. Three percent. Oh no. Okay, good switch off. That could have been bad. Oh, it could have been horrible. All right, just back off. Get back this facing. Fred holding this lead strong. Gets the goes for the jump. He doesn't get it. Back throw. Is that gonna kill? No, no it does not. Slasher thinking that forward air was going to get rid of the hitbox on PK Thunder, but it didn't. See, and now he's, oh, I'm so, he's so scared right now. Oh, see, that's the spacing you need to go for. When you're facing Lucas, you need that tip of the beam. That there. does not kill. But the PK five sending anyone across stage. Slasher's at 164 right now, and that does kill. Remember, Lucas has all the kill throws. <laughs> so you gotta be very careful. Fred throughout that entire set though, felt like he was in control most of that game. I agree, absolutely. Like he didn't, he didn't feel like he was rushing. He felt like he just knew every single moment of that game. Like he just felt calm. I, I agree, like, so, so I think Slasher needs to be a little less proactive in neutral. Yeah. Because the way Frat is playing it, like it's like he was playing it against me, where he's just gonna throw projectiles and snake, and you gotta accept your fate. But Slasher has a sword. Slasher yeah. can deal with it. He's got a very big sword. He doesn't have to rush in. He can space himself. Yeah. Back to PS2 again. See, I don't like this. I don't know if they. I don't know if Frat banned Battlefield or something. But even then, I would have taken somewhere else. I feel like PS2 is only good for Lucas. That's also very true. Oh, especially for that string, 77 to start. Oof. If you were to if you were to choose a stage to choose with, when playing these characters, who would where would you go? The way they are playing, I would go either Town and City or FD. I feel like Shulk benefits more from FD than Lucas does, so that would make sense. And just not having the platforms, they can't. Yes. Just platform kit. At the oh same God. time, it feels like Slasher's just not taking full advantage right now. I mean, I, at the same time, I don't know how much matchup experience he has with this, so this could be a brand new thing for him. That's also very true. For most people, this would be a brand new matchup. Oh, he gets it. That's really difficult to set up properly, and even though it traded, it worked out pretty well. Fred went for something absolutely mean. Oh. <laughs> he does not care. Just the fact that he, oh no, he's dead. Just with the stage bug, just un, un, so unfortunate. Oh, it doesn't get in there, he goes for forward air instead. Just missing that PK fire though. For a second, I thought Fred went while Slasher wasn't shield. Now I was just gonna keep nairing and keep him in that hit, hit stun. Just like how Oparna did to you. Yeah, exactly. Like, so you could just keep going sometimes. Oh, nice nair uh, of the outer shield. Sometimes it's okay to spam the same move over and over. I mean... As long as it works. Some characters get the privilege. 
That's why they call privileged characters. Yes. Yeah, you're getting it. You get it. Of course. Let's see. As much praise as I have for Slasher's edge guarding, he seems really lost on how to punish Lucas off the stage right now. It also just seems like just a lot of whiffing from both these guys right now. Just trying to like, it's essentially like just a feeling out process just because both have two stocks, both not really at kill percentage yet, but these guys just trying to understand like to try to rack up a little damage, but everything they try to go for is just not fully connected. Let's see, like, I feel like Slasher just does not have the timings down to try to edge guard Lucas. That's why I think it's like lack of matchup knowledge. Because he has I ideas he wants to enact and none of them are really working out. He's afraid to space them in the way that they would. Yeah. Ooh, nice forward air to get off the stage. All right. And here comes back to spacing with PK Fire. But isn't PK Fire the best? It is a very good projectile. Lucas needs it. Good DI, he's living. Lucas fat? <laughs> I respect the hard read attempt on the forward <laughs> smash there. That would have been really tight. Ooh, empty hop forward tilt. I like the spacing too. He's leaning back more. I think he gets it. And 50, 69%. 79. Oh my. But that throw. And he's no. dead again. And just right there, when he needed a kill, he got it. But 92%. My God. Oh, Smash Monado, a lot of stuff is going to kill right now. Slasher finally being able to figure it out. This is interesting. One. All right, down tilt. What's the punish here? Tries to do another empty hop setup. Up Smash doesn't connect. He cannot He cannot let Fred get the, uh, get the momentum. But that does not kill. He's also recognizing the timings on the PK fires now. He's getting parries instead of just shielding. Oh no, this could be bad. Dodges it. And Smash Monado proves worthless again. This could turn around real quick. I think he has bust. Oh, good DI. When he gets back to stage, he's letting him back get back to stage free. And this is that healthy percent. And he has shield though. <laughs> Both missing setup. Again, weak hit. That's not gonna kill. Whiffs again. Misses again. Forward tilt. PK five. They're just rolling. No. No di. No tag. He's dead again. Unfortunate. That oh. was so unfortunate to watch. Lucas wins. Huh? Oh, respect for Slasher though. He was figuring it out that game. Oh. Just being able to figure out and just like adapt towards that later half of the game was very important for that play. But unfortunately, he couldn't get the job done tonight. And it's just the DI on that forward smash, so unfortunate. That and he kept missing his techs. You cannot miss your techs against Lucas. That's how you get back. Un and again. <sighs> Every single one of those techs he missed. I think he did it two or three times. That, just in that game, he got it twice. Yeah. So it's so unfortunate to see. But, you know what? Fred's moving on. Slasher, I think, is done for the night. It's going to be very interesting to see. Hey, top eight the at the one of the biggest, sec second biggest MTF. He got seventh place. That's that really is also good. very true. All right. This this probably game three. Game three it's over be game easy. Three. I saw a game. Uh, one of the games was on FD. This is the last hit. I know Law was saying that Felix, or the Yoshi's his bracket demon. So, we're trying to get that up there. Anyway, they're just swinging and whiffing. Doesn't have that much routine. Oh, Felix is so scared right now, and I don't blame him. He's letting them farm. I would too. I'm scared. Ooh, we need to go. So we had time to do that. Does I thought he have... he's trying to reach. Nice Good face. job going back to ledge. Dodges it. Smash dash attack hits, but it's not going to kill. Brave. Yoshi at most things will kill percent. He's got to be so careful. I hit him with the egg. But yeah, he's, he's building it up. Doesn't, it doesn't matter Honestly, if he gets not. diamond at this point. Honestly, yeah, that's fair. It's the it's the mine carts he's getting. He's got to he's got a lot of. He's playing it patient though. It's, it's yeah, no, good. honestly, now, if, now he's got to start breaking blocks. If I'm Felix, I'm accepting this because this, <laughs> if, no, that's it. Uh, that is so unfortunate. And I well know, played. 
Law, I know, is taking that sigh of relief right now because he even told me before. Look, he's at, like, him. Look at him. He's like, oh, now I got to get played on the main street. <laughs> that must have been a 2 1. All right, so who's playing now? Is it LNL Frat or LNL Me? Melon, you are on stream. Against okay, the and that guy. from Yoshio tonight to Felix to you. You can't escape Yoshi. You can't escape the Red Yoshi. Wish Good me luck, my friend. Luck. I hope everyone is enjoying the stream. Uh, please follow. Please follow everyone where you can. Uh, oh, I will see you up there. Of course. Jesus, what a night it's been. And thank you for everybody watching tonight as we have been having a fun night with all 40 competitors. I believe it was 40. And a big shout out to Syndicate Snivy for helping us with the prize pool tonight. $100 pot bonus. Of course, and without his help, this wouldn't be possible for how big of a crowd it is. So thanks for him. And also shout out to every one of you watching tonight because if you guys weren't watching, it'd be hard for us to keep doing this. All right, so we're gonna have Melon versus LNL because he just took the set over, over easy. He's gonna go from one Yoshi to the next. Melon versus Allen now. Here we go. Here's his quarters. Ugh. I think Fel I think Felix is in good spirits tonight. I know over the past few weeks and months he's been having a little like mind crumble for the game. But you know what? I think he did really well tonight. I think he made top eight tonight. Oh, man. man. How do you feel tonight? I, just I mean, wanna... good, I guess, but I'm so mad. I should have had that. That's the first man. time I lost the law, but I'm, I mean, it's due. You know, he, was, he did good. Ah, oh, man, bro. I could have another Yoshi Steve out. matchup tonight. This, yeah, man. Again. Damn, bro. The Yoshis are taking out the Steves tonight. Not really. He took me out. <laughs> In a sec. I mean, he took you out, but I'm talking about as if you have to fight. Like you saw Yoshio take out Mondo. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. But right now we got Law and Melon. Every dog has its day. Don't worry. Nah, man, I'm chilling. Well, let's see what Law, uh, what Law can do against Melon. And Law right now, no percent on him right now. This no. is the last best of three of the night. And zero it to death. starts off with a zero to death. Yeah, bro. Zero to death, no more. All right. Law well, doing his thing. That triple block that he's doing like that, bro, it's so hard to deal with. I was trying my hardest to like to push through, but I would get punished by by forward smash. And then when I was patient, you know, I gave him too much materials. And that was also dangerous. So like moving forward, it, it's tough, you know, like what, what to do in that situation. I don't want to give him block all the time, but yeah, yeah that was that was annoying. All right. Tries to punish with there a little too aggressively and Law's gonna punch that every time. However, uh, wow, not the optimal punish you want from Melon. That was a free forward smash to kill. Nonetheless, uh, he's off stage. You know what, guys? I just realized What's there's up? three Yoshis and two Steves in top eight. Yeah, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> the graphic. It'll be very easy to make for our T.O. Nico. For the hard. last one of the year, it's gonna be easy for, for, for T.O. Nico. This has been a good day for Yoshi, man. Yes. All right. Melon down uh, two stocks to Law's three. Um, so we'll see uh, how that goes. Law's been playing absolutely on fire today, and I think that motivation was all he needed. I see Law going the, the distance if he's able to, to get past Melon. Melon at 69%, though. Yeah, man. Not anymore. L and O, or the winner of this set, would go on to fight the winner of Citadel versus Frat Hobney. You can find that set over on the side stream. Yeah, which man. This is the YouTube channel for the GameQ Lounge. GameQ Lounge. And YouTube. let me tell you, Frat has had an amazing run to get to this point. So, um, you know, let's see how how this goes for the rest of the night. Meanwhile, Melon trying to break through and, you know, hopefully get a dub here, but it's not looking too great right now. It's All just right. dealing with Steve. Oh, that was a nice setup. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get anything out of it. 
back air. Oh. When Yoshio does that, it works. <laughs> oh, nice egg lay. Ooh, I don't know about the down air there. I felt that was a little too risky and without enough reward. Good reaction from LNL. All right. He's trying it again. No Whoa. fire. Gun. No way. The down smash is not going to do it. Yoshi's kill. a fat boy. No, oh, and he just jumped right into Melon it. Melon knows. Damn, that was two separate up smashes that Melon had for free, and he just didn't. That's oh, he, so unfortunate. <laughs> he went for the forward air on that one. His nose hit it first. Oh, look at that, man. Just barely avoiding the swing there, trying to get a haircut. Um, and just right here, the up smash jumps right into Scooped it with the fair. Scooped no, no. I don't even think that was a scoop. I just think he just jumped right into it, boss. <laughs> he was just like, hey, <laughs> that's a block. Let he me touch it. He was a little it. high. He was yeah. trying to go for a forward smash there, but it's so unfortunate. All right. Citadel taking the stock off of Frat Hoppy in the background. Steve. Meanwhile, we're getting ready for game two. And we'll see if Melon can at least take a game off of him. Last time they played, I believe, LNL 1-2-0. So, um, you know, we'll see how this goes. This is the last best of three of the night. Yeah, man. And let's try to make it a game three because, uh, you know, uh, it's already a late night. You might as well make it even later. All right. Yo, what's good, Marcos? How you doing? What is All this right. song? Uh, Jets at Radio, I believe. Like this in the dead. My God. Yeah, this right. good. So Steve getting a nice, easy 48%. All right. Uh, Minecart, though. Good Coming man. in hot. Look at that. Wow. OK. Good up smash. That was such a great mix up by Law. Like I said, Law's been playing super hot. He's over the Yoshi drama, it seems. And now he's you know, feeling pretty confident in the matchup. And I love to see it, although I'd love to see it not against me. <laughs> Jay, even before the set with you, he was talking to me, saying that Yoshi's his bracket demon. but. Yeah, he, he's doing he lost, good. He lost he's slaying the one. all the demons, bro. Oh, that was awesome. Ooh, that Holy was crap. Sick. Oh, my God, bro. Steve is a, is a lame character, but that was dope. Just like that, exit to my... Oh, no. That was so close. So close. But, yeah, man, Law playing out of his... Damn. Oh, wow. No way. Why would you do that? Hey. Yeah, bro. That These is guys, your fault. Hey. These guys are just running into each other's up smashes, bro. <laughs> is that the new hobby? <laughs> yeah. That's how we play Smash Bros. You want Run to be a top this. player in MTF? Run into Chili Charts up smash, bro. Okay. Oh, I love the double jump. Melon finally able to create a little lead of his own. Let's see if he can preserve it for long. Okay. Oh, I would have loved to see up tilt there. That definitely would have been able to extend by a little bit. All right. Law setting up with the TNT, and honestly, I feel like Law's TNT usage is very effective compared to Citadel. I feel like I rarely even see Citadel use TNT effectively. Um, so, you know, it's really interesting to see how these two pairs uh, play the same characters a little bit differently. Even like with the Yoshis, I feel like even like the three Yoshis we've seen tonight all play differently. Oh, that anvil almost has it. All right, unable to get the up smash, goes for another one. That madman, he is just looking to end this set. All right, got some space back here. The Exo just hitting perfectly. Oh my gosh. And what a nice forward here. If I had that, bro, I would have won the set. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, wanted him to run to the forward smash again, but got hit with the back air instead. Both these guys last stock, though. Melon's got to win this to bring it to a game three. We want to see a game three. Law doesn't. Absolutely not. Law we'll does see. not. <laughs> Was your set against him in game three? Yes. Then he's going to be stressed out, out of his mind if he has to go to a game three against Law won the first game. Uh, I switched the switch guy. I didn't like the mods. Uh, I won the next game, and then good idea, good idea. See, the mods just don't work for you. Nah, man, I just lose focus. Was there? A, it was the stage or like the purple sparks? Uh, purple sparks and yeah. just not being visually like aware of things in the game. All right, so Law trying to break through, gets the anvil. Oh, nullified by up smash for a little bit, but ultimately still hits him. Diamond in his hand. Um, it didn't lag horribly for us, but we'll see. 
Oh, okay, okay. I see that you guys are having an issue. All right, well, hopefully that's resolved. I know yeah, uh, there's good. a lot We're of computers and a lot of devices on, so that does happen from time to time. However, they're working on fixing it consistently. Melon, though, a little bit in the driver's seat, though. Right now, yeah, but oh, we got another diamond on deck. But he does break his zone. All right, got to dare. Diamond on deck with no ice. There's ice. <laughs> All right, and the diamond does break. He gets a back throw. Get that diamond real quick. And now, here we go. This is a big problem. I oh. love that reverse walk by uh, Law with the TNT. The redstone was super smart. No one's facing that back oh, air. No yep. way. Oh. That would have been a crazy conversion. Goes for an anvil again, and that's always it. Law's bad oh. habit. However, it doesn't oh. matter, and he's able to end this very quickly. And with this. Yes, that's it. It is best of three. Oh. All right, that's it. That was loser's quarterfinal too? Yes, it was. Yes, now we are in top four. Wasn't that semis? So we actually... Yes, that was semis. That, that, that was loser's quarters. Wait, so then... The winner goes to semis. This is the other side. Oh, there's quarters. quarters and then eights, right? Yes. This is the other side. Oh, okay, okay. I, I was, like, so confused. Oh, and Frat just not looking like he's in a good place. All right. And Frat did win the first game, so it's not over yet. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right, so we got the Yoshis on the mic. Yeah, man. Law cheated today, bro. He cheated me. He cheated you. He was camping like a nah, mother today, man. I, I, no, I could have totally done that. It's just whenever I have to start just hitting back airs, that's when my mind immediately goes, why am I here? Go back to melee. Right, no, I and hear you. And that's why I'm a melee player. I lost a lot of focus during game one, and then game three, I was gaining it back. It's just he was setting up hard with his mind materials. And that's also why Yoshio is far better than me. Right. I got to <laughs> study that and see how he handles it. Um, but right now, we got winner's finals with Yoshio and Beast. Um, two and six is Joel's record versus Yoshio. So this is going to be an insane set. Uh, if he could turn it around in his own home, or if Yoshio is going to turn the venue into his. True. Oh, we got... I didn't know it was on the side. Frad versus C uh, Citadel. Yes. Uh, Frad won game one, and Citadel just won game two. So this is game three. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and this is close, too. But it's not why we're here right yeah, now. Yeah, man. We're here Winners to crown finals. somebody. Main stage setup. Beast Yoshio. We're getting Samus PT, I guess. Oh, absolutely, man. I, I, there's no way he goes Yoshi here. If he does, then that's just hype because obviously three Yoshi. He needs to go Yoshi for the. For so the, we have three Yoshi I, for I the, top eight, the legacy. I don't think he's going to, just for the sake of this is a lot of money. Right. Yeah, there you go, Samus. Dark Samus. Oh, I got it wrong. Of course, the yellow dark Samus. He Which goes sucks hard, because bro. I want to talk more about his Samus. His or not Samus. Samus, his Samus, uh, his Yoshi. Yeah, Because bro. there's a lot of stuff he does that I'm that I'm trying to steal that he, he and Yoshidora do. I'm but trying to figure it out, too. We, right can, now? we can steal from both of them in their own unique styles with these characters, too. That's, That's the first true. time we're seeing the Samus come out for yoshi -O tonight. Oh, really? Yes. Wow, so interesting, too, because I feel like that's the character he gravitates to most. Like, yes, Yoshi is in his name, but I feel like his Samus is just his spirit character, bro. Yoshi's in his name, Samus is in his blood. Right. How poetic to put it. Like, just the way he plays the Samus, there's a lot of super d difficult technical stuff that Samus can do that he does so fluently. Oh, and the and Joel classic. Life. Nice, good action. Joel's the same, but with PT. Right. Starting off strong with the down airs. Oh, right. no. Some clean setups there. And Yoshio frantically looking for a way to start his neutral. Not happening very quickly right now. Right. Okay. Good mix up coming back with the fair. Good there. Oh, and that forward smash would have been excellent, but uh, Beast privy to it, unable to get hit. Ooh, jab back air. That was nice. The, the, oof, one, the balls. Right. Two, the, just the wherewithal to understand the fact that he wasn't going to get hit by that down air. Mm -hmm. I think something that I really like seeing from Yoshio Samus is um, his movement after bomb. Uh, it's so fluid, and I feel like his disadvantage state is extremely hard to punish from my experience playing him. It's very difficult to punish Samus when coming back from stage with those bombs. Like, look and at that. That the was way beautiful. He does it, it's very melee-esque. Right. And that's really hard to do with this. Okay, Zero to extend. Bomb at the ledge is so okay. much pressure. What a confident grab. 
And it's, you know what's cool about the grab too? Like, you know Yoshi is a great player because other Samus's, when they try to have the grab at ledge, it's gonna fail because they just force it too much. But both those times, very consistent, gets it, no fails. Um, good job. Unfortunately, he's unable to get that stock as Joel takes the lead 2 1. Charizard scrap it. I will say this one thing that Yoshio can work on, at least as far as I'm watching in this set the hesitations in the edge guarding. Right. There were opportunities there where I feel like Yoshio just did not believe in his setup. And it allowed, uh, he, it, he allowed Beast to get back and still that lead is growing I more and more. I love the mix. He was expecting him to do the up beat. Ooh, the patience, okay. There's not gonna kill, but this is so much percent. Always take that Again, doesn't reset it. it. He just waits. Yeah. And like sometimes that's very good, but I feel like when you're behind, you need to have something more set in stone to force your opponent to be right more panicky. Beast isn't panicking at all. Solid game one from Beast. Very solid. That was super clean. I see a little bit of uh, nerves coming out from Yoshio's gameplay. So let's see if. Uh, at the same time, this could also just be. Rust because he hasn't gone Samus all tournament. That's, That's true. true. But and the Bridge Star music looks the like up. The hesitation could totally just be from him being rusty, and it'll come out. He's got f f five whole games to take care of it. Just a matter of canny. Oh, and it's looking like Mondo won the set with Brad Hockney, so. Oh, okay. It was 2 1. Oh, the, I love the up tilt. Samus up tilt is it's, so satisfying. Bro, it's such a nice move, bro. It doesn't spike, but honestly, I don't even like that. Uh, I don't mind that it doesn't spike. The, the hitbox super far out is really nice. I mean, in Melee, we never used it for the, for a spike. We didn't need to. It just sent people off stage because it covered so much. Right, it was so good. And it oh! that was a nasty nair. Okay. Okay. So while trying to respond. 94%. Putting some shield pressure on Squirtle, and that's going to be a nice, decent chunk of percent. However, Squirtle, being so small, knocks out himself out of that combo. Good up here to keep him off stage, forcing him to use Bomb to get back on the side. We're waiting. We are waiting. Okay. Oh, okay. Good air again. I love the patience. Ooh. Joel's doing a stand-up job too. Let's not, you know, shriek this. Oh my God, that Whoa. was a shine spark. <laughs> that was crazy. The SDI from Beast. Yeah, bro. I don't miss Smash Four Samus. Bro, that was okay. So <laughs> Do you remember that set with Tyrese and uh, that, Elegant? Yes, that was straight up Jeez, like that, bro. Oh, does he have to double jump? He does. Okay. That was such a good oh, recovery. He could have died. Oh the my movement. God, that oh. movement was beautiful. The wave bouncing is so clean. Oh, goes for down smash and pays for it. That's fine though, 90%, you have a lot of extra credit to work with. Still, that stacks Ooh, up. Okay. Joel is so good at making any little mistake count. Yeah, Ivy Sword is really good on small battlefield. Nice oh. and air to catch that it. That was so good. And he doesn't nice. die though. Wow, wow, that was so scary. Oh, wow, he lived. All right, tries to get the charge out into back air. What a great use of his, uh, Samus's movement. That was a great flame throw and he's oh. dead. All right, Beast cleans up the stock. And now Beast with the lead. 20. 30. Again, it steers where it stacks. Is he, is he gonna die? He's dead! No shot. No oh, shot. Charizard back here, it does cheat. I counted it down for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch it slowly. All right, break it down for me, Vinny. All right, here we go. Up smash, let's start it off. What All are right. you doing, stupid? Catching the landing. <laughs> uh, ready? Back, back air. air, calling him out the, the stalling, and he had no jump. He's Again, dead. Again, bro, that back air is so vicious. Because it swings <laughs> under and reaches so far above Kasi by the time Yami the move ends, <laughs> like, it's so brutal. Go Believe. Yoshi. Believe. They're Believe in it. One. Embrace the Yoshi. Yoshi one. right next to each other. He's thinking about going Yoshi. Give me one to throw up the mental. I'm sorry? Yoshi. Mix up his mental. That's what I'm Give saying. me one. Give us the ocean. For the culture. He wants For the ocean. Yes, sir! For the culture. All right. All right. So now I can finally talk about this.
Both Yoshis so watching from the heavens. Let's talk the about it. The difference between a Japanese Samus and a, sorry, a Japanese Yoshi and an American Yoshi. Let's get it to it. This is what we wanted to see here at More Than Friendly is the Yoshi O Yoshi versus MVP. A Japanese Yoshi is more than willing to go to the edge for one. Second all right. of all, literally everything he does has a fast fall to it, for better or for worse. How is oh, like that? Yeah. How is uh, Yoshi versus Squirtle? How is Yoshi that? versus Squirtle feels dead even. Okay. The only reason why I think Yoshi can sometimes get the edge is Gimp potential off stage early. And either way, y uh, Squirtle can do similar. I now, feel like Yoshi, to contrast that, doesn't have to really interact with Squirtle at all just because, like, Squirtle doesn't have range. That's true. You could totally just egg camp. Now, this is the part where things become a little more difficult for Yoshi because both, because Ivy beats Yoshi. Right. And Plainly. Charizard, I feel like, while it's not, it, I feel like Yoshi wins, but it's also very doable to just meme on the Yoshi and get a quick kill. I agree. It's, it's very similar to Bowser, or DK, rather. Those Another thing. They're coming in clutch. His Yoshi will Grass. do that reverse up tilt on the edge to try to catch the neutral get up into the up into the up air. I've tried to do that myself, and I'm so terrible with it. Bro, I mean, on the ledge, I'm horrible, bro. I keep trying to fix it, but uh, it, it's easier said than done. I love the air dodge up air to up nope. tilt. Not Ooh, able to do it, it, but Charizard cheats once more. Yeah. If you not, if you don't get your combo perfect, or sometimes even if you get land it, you know, it still armors right through it. Yoshi will opt to go for See? one more time, and he gets that so consistently. Neutral getup is the choice on the ledge, comfortable for most characters, and he's covering it with those up tilts, just like Falco, you know? Oh, I respect the grab. Hard read. Oh, and this is where right. it becomes, becomes scary. Egg that egg roll okay. resets his jump, actually, so that's good. Yeah. Recognizes Joel's going to go for the ledge and goes high. That was right. good. Clank. Egg roll is a bad move, but uh, a unique application that he just did, in case he didn't see it, if egg roll touches the stage Ooh, at any point, as long as it's not the corner, you get your jump back. So it's yes. really interesting. Oh, oh, man, he's unable to slide to that backer. It's needle. so dangerous. That move alone is just so threatening to Yoshi. The way that Yoshi moves, his up B, like, everything makes that move so dangerous to Yoshi. It's also why I'm terrified of recovering low against a lot of characters with range. Oh, tries to get the spike. GTXs. Oh, the parry. Uh, this, I like recovering high here, but he gets back. Okay, is okay. that going to oh, kill? No. Oh, my I God. I thought he everything. cheated. And people complain about Yoshi armor. Damn, Charizard's cheating out here. War crimes. Back right, throw. Back throw. Oh, oh, no, down, down throw. throw. Okay. Tries to get the back row, I guess. Yeah, he was yep. going for the up smash. That's a 3 0. All right. And yeah, Joel cleaning right up. Respect. He's going to go to grand finals. It also does not help that he's probably the best Charizard doing it right now. I hear that, man. In the business. It's crazy. He might be. There might be people who are better with the other two. But Charizard's indisplicably beast, bro. Yes. So I think who's left uh, in the Elite Four? It's Law, Citadel, Yoshio, and Beast, right? The two Steves versus Yoshio and Joel. Right. Damn, we let the Steves win today, bro. Fuck. <laughs> we got to fix that next time. I tried, man. Me too. I just didn't want to camp. I forced a game three, and I just couldn't get anything in uh, last second. The that way, was so crazy. Yes. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the way Joel responded in that game was really impressive, though. Right. Because after that first stock, oh, no. it would just seemed impossible to Guys, touch him. I think we have a Steve Ditto. Steve Ditto's uh, coming up. Yeah. Am I too old for this? <laughs> we're nah, playing, man, we're I'm we're playing I, Minecraft. I'm, I'm 31 years old watching people play two Minecraft Steves. If it makes it feel any better, Mondo's 29. Mondo's 29, and he's playing Steve. Well, I mean, I'm not going to talk selling out well, because he proved his Ridley recently. L That's true. His Ridley is fire. How old is L and L? I don't know. He's young enough. He's young enough. Yeah, enough. man. But, like, you think he's old enough to drink? Absolutely. Yeah, he drinks. Oh, okay. So he's yeah. old in 21. Well, either way, here we go. We got two Yoshis commentating, two Steves. Oh, man. Help. This is going to be a great matchup. I guarantee one of them's going to mine, if not both of them. Best of five. Oh. oh, yeah. Look at that, bro. Richio, you came at the perfect time. Look at this auto-scrolling gameplay. 
It looks. It just looks like a now loading screen permanently. I, I was gonna say, if you 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 know the have you ever watched the Super Mario Sunshine speed run? Yeah. You know the sequence where Mario goes to court. Yes. This is that segment of the stream. <laughs> That's my favorite part of that game, bro. Mario deserves to be in jail. <laughs> the cutscene where he goes to court is I'm your so, favorite part yes, of the game. Yes, bro. I hate Mario. He needs to be in jail. <laughs> Do you know how many war crimes he committed jumping off of Yoshi's head to get to the next level? Okay. Send him to jail. Listen, facts, but at the same time. They're charging oh forward facts. What was that? Dynamic gameplay. Bro. <laughs> Who put on the Amiibos, bro? Can we get some actual players? Shoutouts to Harvestella out now on Nintendo Switch. They, they swing in. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, All right, there we go. We got diamonds. diamond at the same time. This is so funny. Oh, All right. no. That's a lot of percent. Law is out here trying to prove to Mondo who's well. the best Steve in PA currently. And it is Law. It's L and L. May not be for long. But right now, in this moment, LNL is the best Eve in Pennsylvania. Right now, it's not even looking close either. Mondo has to make a case yeah, right bro. now. He has to not fold. His reputation's on the line right now. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I mean, everyone put in their I, I love or I hate Mondos in chat, please. Yeah, bro. Let, let me see I love Mondo in the chat. Oh, that was clean. Ugh. He got one. It starts. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, he's got gold, so he can get the quick percent. Yeah, man. If he stops getting hit. Melon, who do you think is the most obnoxious character to watch in this game? The most obnoxious to watch? Yes. Like, you don't like watching this character when you commentate. <sighs> can I be honest? Sure. Ike? Ike? Yeah, man. I hear you. Sorry, Zach. <laughs> no, 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 that's the thing. Like, shout outs to Ike players. Especially the ones who work hard to make them interesting. But it's Opana. just air, up air, all the time, bro. It's window wiping. What are you going to do with that <laughs> gameplay? It's like if you, if you played against a Yoshi player who just nared. Like, who just nared. No eggs. Just nair. No up air strings. Just nair tech chases. At least that's how it can be. I pre again, shout outs to Opana. Yeah, Opana's doesn't, awesome with He it. doesn't do that at all. He mixes oh. up, he throws in all sorts of different sauce. Citadel still living. Oh, tries to hit him with the LNL, but Citadel is not him. Yes, sir. Oh, they're whiffing. And like even with Steve, I have there's a lot of different stuff they can do to at least sauce up a little. You think so? I think so, and aside from the Waluigi blocks. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Man's hitting them with the block. It's just a matter of will they do it. At their base, they can be lame as all hell, but they can choose not to be. Oh, this man said DDD? DDD's pretty lame, I'll give you that. DDD's too slow to be lame. Oh, Snivy chewing for uh, for Citadel just as he gets bodied. He brought it back, though. Yeah, that he was, did. That was three stocks to one. Now we're good. Steve. All right. Mondo shaking his head. Solid performance from Law, and Leroy is looking like he might get into the next game, but we'll see if Mondo has anything to say about it. Law's, Law can be crazy sometimes. Absolutely, man. I love the dedication he has to his character. Like, he, he saw that he had a problem with a subset of character, and he worked fruitlessly trying to get it. And Snivy, we're trying. Snivy, we're trying. I'm sorry for interrupting. Oh, no, no, go we're for trying. it. Go for it. Like, <laughs> there was a lot of hard work that both of us had to go through, and unfortunately, Law's just him today. Look, look at it this way. One of them's going home. That's true. One of them is going home. Empty-handed. Yes. Wait. The, four, no, 40, I, I, think it's, I think it's top four pay. Yeah, yeah. Dang it, man. I was so close. Both, both the Steves are getting paid and not in diamonds. Top four. <laughs> Hopefully, Mondo earns enough to pay me back. Yes. They got to get my bag. Now I hear that I was going to sure. say, he, he might need to beat l and in order to get the proper bag. Otherwise, the only bag he's getting is probably my gas money. Oh, and an ice pack bag, bro. I'm for oh. sure. <laughs> can't beat up right now. Oh. Scintillating gameplay. Okay. <laughs> I understand why that interaction <laughs> happened. Don't get me wrong. I get it. The one minecart was higher than the other minecart, so the high minecart won. That was oh, man, is it silly. silly. It's so dumb to look at. <laughs> okay. Bro, I, I hear the sound of mining every like half a second. It's so crazy. I, I, I feel like I could see oh, the run Minecraft. What was that, bro? Ah! 
hits him with the LNL classic. LNL definitely has those down. The footstools. Right. That, I say that as soon as he misses one. Sometimes I'm sorry. the commentator's curse, bro. Oh man, and Citadel just bonks him on the head with the toy hammer. I was gonna say, I love that. He basically said, you thought you could run? You <laughs> thought you could escape? No. I this, am him! This, this sword is coming for the jugular. You know, and on the topic of Mondo, can we just talk about his recent results lately? He got, uh, I think, fifth and fourth back-to-back -back at some pretty stacked events in Philly. Uh, fantastic job. He's been doing a great job, and obviously uh, it's going to show when PR season comes out and it finishes up, Mondo's going to be moving up several spots. It's honestly big facts. He's had how many top eight placings at Bears this year? Plenty. I, probably more than, like, seven, I think. A ton, and he's gotten, like, top three, top four of them. Right. At, and as well as others, Philly's scared of both the Steves. Yeah, absolutely. And so should Joel, you know? Like, both uh, these people have taken sets off Joel before, Mondo more than Law, obviously, but still possible. Um, gets a nice back Gold turn. kills! Okay. And now Citadel's in the driver's seat for a game three. And remember, this is a best of five, so we do have more games after this. That being said, the game three matters a lot. Counterpick advantage is huge in any ditto. Yeah. And Mondo doesn't even like the Ditto. He hates the Ditto. I mean, based on that game one, I don't blame him. All right. He needs to get down so he can get his stuff back. Don't die, please. For the oh love of God. God, don't die. Thank you. Tries to grab. Did he have no sword in his... Oh, my he God, he have nothing. An I don't know why there's even a hitbox on that. That's so ignorant. It's just an, an Enderman with a prayer. I feel like Steve, okay. oh wow, that's crazy. I feel like Steve should be punished for not having a fucking weapon. That's crazy. <laughs> Citadel literally got him with the dollar store special. <laughs> Only wood. I don't need no weapon. I'll give you my hand. <laughs> now bring your block, ass everyone, over. <laughs> everyone else paid $5.99 for Steve. He paid 99 cents. Right. <laughs> Slasher's bitter just watching. <laughs> 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 Slasher is not entertained by this gameplay right now. You think Yoshi should be punished for having no up B? Are you hating on Yoshi in the chat? Can we ban him for 10 minutes? No, nah, let him go. Let's nah. not be go. He's <laughs> also, there is logic to it. It's just Yoshi does have an up B. It's just his up B is supposed to be the neutral B. Yeah, man. Here we go, Hollow Bastion. Does everyone, does everyone in the class know about the double diamond fallacy? Um, no, I don't. Can you please inform me? So you see how there's a light purple section of the bottom part of the stage and yes. then the gold part? If a Steve wants, they can mine in those two different parts because they count as diff they count for different like calculators or whatever for the materials and have it so they can get a diamond earlier than the proper like six uh, sec I forget six sections, seconds or whatever of it. They could get a diamond much faster. That's crazy. It's a good thing I banned this place every single time. I never go here. I hate Hollow Bastion. I love the I love the design because it's Smashville with wall jumping. Right. But at the same time, Yoshi loses so hard on it. So I understand why you hate it. Yeah, man. I mean, I love the stage because Kingdom Hearts, but just it's not enough. So yeah. It, uh, both oh. the, I believe it's this stage and Kalos that are, both have that issue. Right. So if you don't like Steve, ban those stages. I ban those stages in general. Yoshi just doesn't like Kalos, but right now, both the Steves uh, are trying tirelessly to get through and win this game because it is oh so important to get to the next part of the, uh, the tournament. Yeah, Citadel's got to stop being super impatient because Law's kind of caking him right now. Oof. Okay. Stop taking Where was that forward smash even going? That was so ignorant. Oh, man, we have a, a two-person head-on collision. Somebody called the paramedics. That was a crazy crash. Someone called Newfound Glory. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Oh. Gets the fair. That's not going to kill. However, it's going to put him in a great position. Oh, Again, man. the footstools. That was dangerous. I thought he was getting, getting his shield broken for sure. I don't want to call it the law special because that's mostly what he goes for. Oh! <laughs> Oh, added damn. momentum, and he makes it back without wasting any iron. That was crazy. All right, look okay. at them, just not wasting time, mining in front of each other's faces. There, that was some good aggression. I liked that. Why can Steve go through that, but Kalatea can't teleport to a ledge, bro? 
Okay, to be fair, there was he was able to sneak in between the blocks. <laughs> Pal Palu is underprivileged. I can't believe I just said that as a uh, Yoshi. Right. Palu is underprivileged and could not go through the blocks because there was no bottom block to land on. But like, if Palu is teleporting, as her moves suggest, it's not that she's you know invisibly moving up. You know what I mean? I feel like she should be able to touch a ledge of a block there. You are underestimating what kind of privilege Palu Tena has. She has high tier privilege, which means a couple moves that are invincible. Steve has top tier, I paid money in order to win this game privilege. That is factually correct, 100%. Is it hating? A li I mean, I honestly don't hate Steve. It's more so me hating the design of the game. Oh my God, and that's Ouch. Kill. How did that not reach him, bro? The hook was on his face. I'm no kind of glad it didn't because if, if that was some Isabel nonsense, shout out to Burris. Yeah, fact, that would have that definitely caught me. Okay. That's dead. And you know what? For all this talk, Mondo really brought this back. Game three is looking pretty even right now. It's even. It's yeah, dead even. It's Two dead hits. Even. Two hits and all I got was this t-shirt. <laughs> a lot of depression. Okay, he's, got, he's able to get out of it. All right, good shield pressure by Citadel. I think that's another place where I noticed these two different. Oh, the parry greatly. was excellent. Oh, oh my. And he hits him with the law and he saves by the block. That was just How offensive. unfortunate. I feel like where, where these two really differ, in the late percents, Mondo moves more. In the late percents for Law, he moves less. And you know, that's not always a bad thing. It's not always a bad thing. I just, it's, there's, it's definitely a huge difference. And it's funny to look at. Oh, Citadel so trying to end thing. this for Law. Goes for the clock yep. out of the back air, he's gonna get it. I liked the bait. And just like that, Mondo's in the lead, 2-1. Yeah, he wants the Steve title. Just one more and Mondo's through it. He's able to shut all the haters up, but right now- Shout Law out to that block a... right there. Yes. Yeah, it's facts, that block saved there. his life. It's still there. Uh, Boing! And he saved him. Dude, you got saved for the block twice. He could have teched off of that too. There could have been an, another level of sauce there. Right. Lost Steve is just sitting there like, my back. <laughs> <laughs> my leg! <laughs> All right. Let's go game four. Back to Hollow Bastion. Back to Double Diamonds. This isn't skiing, though. <laughs> we'll see what's happening here. Oh, All he right. whips it. Mano's never been particularly good at that combo. <laughs> Unless he's playing me, and which he wants to hit that combo every single time. You ever have that one person that you play against, and they play like God against you, but every other person they play against, they play like weird against? My brother? Bro, I hate that feeling. <laughs> it is the worst. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I, that's a complete lie. My, that may be an ultimate. He does that, but in, in melee, he deserves all the credit. Hell yeah. Uppers cracked. Oh, there's a tech. Okay. okay. A little weak. That's oh. not a tech. That, yeah, is, man. that is dying at 80, my friend. Okay, there, bear. Another bear, force him back out. But he's got another cart. And we got more whiffs. Hell yeah. What's the mix-up? I'm just going to press the B button. Log trying to get some work done, but he's weaponless. Mondo not taking advantage of it. Now he has diamond. Will he stop the madman in his tracks? He will How for now. that still hit? Honestly, bro, Anvil is a busted move. It is like top five downers in the game. It just... <laughs> Look at that, bro. Cheese. <laughs> this is such a silly matchup. What are we watching, my guy? <laughs> Okay, that that one I understood because he was gold, so and he, he could was go fast. Yeah. Oh! And he, oh my God! How did that work? They're, literally everything was in his way. Mondo's recovery has been very good. I give him that. He's got really good recoveries. This is such top tier privilege, bro. I mean, that's also what happens when you're fleeing from Joel every single time you play. Okay, that, gets the down air. Crosses I like it the up. Mix. Mickey, Mickey Mouse, no, this is this is some PBS nonsense. This is a Zaboomafu bracket. <laughs> <laughs> this is some Gullah Gullah Island type bracket right now. <laughs> it really so, is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Aren't these guys like 13, 14th on the yes. Philly PR this season? Yes. Right now they are, and Mondo's going to be much, Steve much higher. Steve's stocks are on the rise. Law had a tougher go around this season. However, it doesn't stop the fact that Law is a very fantastic player, obviously shown by the fact that he's sitting here in Losers Finals, uh, contesting, trying to find Not a way to through. Finals, Losers Semis. Losers Semis Finals, right. Trying to find a way through. This bracket is way too stacked for this to just be the loser's finals. 
Okay, oh, he's dead. 78% is damage on Steve, but you know, we'll find out if he's able to do anything. Steve is a character that gets damage on pretty consistently, so. Also, diamonds on the table for Citadel. Right. So if he, even if he loses this one, okay. he's got another. Oh, oh, the wall for strings. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god, that fair spike would have been fantastic. Great punishes by Law. All right, he's got a mine. Wow, Diamond was so strong there. Thank taking you for out not the swing. All right, and that's going to be it. That was so crazy. That that interaction was wild. I, I lost some brain cells, but I enjoyed it along the way. Yeah, man. <laughs> Remember when Steve won and he gets to hold his meat out and they just censored that? That's crazy, bro. And you know what's wild? It's a children's game. No one was supposed to think that way. But I have see. I had a lot of respect for the dash attack because that was an int that was a good idea for a burst option that was wasn't safe. Right. The fact that he just immediately mind pirated after that just took away any sort of credibility to that logic. I hear that, man. All right, now we got the run back from winner semifinals two one. Yoshio, but now it is a best of five between these two oh, guys. That's right, he did take a game off of Yoshio. Yeah, man, we'll okay. see if that game five is gonna, you know, matter. I'm that getting more together. Yoshi. I love it. Yoshi Steve has been played, I think, seven times tonight. <laughs> that part I don't love. I don't know, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> I played yeah. it. You played it. You played it twice today, right? Yes. Damn, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Actually, no, I only played it once. You played it only once? Yeah. Thankfully. So twice for these two. Yeah, I played Joel to get in winter semis, and then I played. Yeah, so four times, but well, that's still a lot given how many characters are here at MPS. Big facts. So, where this is difficult for Yoshi is when you lose the lead, it is so hard to get it back. Right. Where you, it's really good for Yoshi is that you can get it back off of one string because Steve just has to eat it. But at the same time, Citadel's got a wall set up right now. He's feeling it. Yeah, man. He's doing a fantastic job. He said he wants to defend his home turf. That spacing was so good by Yoshio. He got really back was. Eggless and avoided the fair. Chip damage from the cart is honestly something that I find really annoying as Yoshi to deal with. Oh, and the tech roll, unable to go anywhere. But oh, Mondo no, not the hard commit. Excellent job not giving away anything. Just double jump, get out of there. Right. And Mondo wanted revenge, because the last time jump, they played, not you know, die. he folded him. <laughs> I loved that there. Okay. Oh, oh another hard side commit. Side in the chat. Let's go. Grab up throw. Yep. And again, this is where it becomes difficult. Yoshi behind is not the best against Steve. But when Yoshi has the lead, Yoshi wins the matchup. You think so? Yes. I 100% think so. It's just how much you can make Steve do and then punish with the combo string. You know what's weird? For a while when I was battling Law, right, there was times where I had a significant percent lead, and I'm like, can I camp him? And like, you know, movement-wise, technically, yes, I can, but I'm giving him so much material Look that it's just this. not worth it. That was dope, though. The, the quickness and the thickness with the percent. Oh, Mrs. is the point like, all right. Would I have done an air? Yes, I probably would have missed and gotten even more body. All Back right. air out of the egg. Good patience. All right. Okay, that is the first time all year I've seen someone actually punish Yoshio for doing it. It is very difficult to punish the re-grab for ledge for Yoshi when he does the fast fall double jump. And I was going to say more people need to do it. But fast fall double jump? From the ledge, if you do drop down, double jump, and go back, just mi just threaten the presence of being on and off the edge with double jump armor. I'll have it, to study that. It's something I see Yoshidora and Yoshio do a lot of. And it tends to work. It just didn't work there because Mondo probably noticed from me doing it, which I'm sorry, Yoshio, for spoiling the bag. Yeah, man. Oh, good spacing on that back air. Not going to poke. Excellent roll. Mondo putting off him off stage. stage, and now it's just all about how you close. And Mondo known for, for notoriously folding. We'll see if he's able to, to close this up, or if he's going to give Yoshio game one. Oh, the baits! I love it! The movement is so crisp percent. right now. Thank you for not doing an impulse anvil, but that's dead. Game right. one, Citadel! And if you did miss it because the stream lagged a little bit, uh, Citadel will get one. They're working on it. They're working on it. Apologies. 
Yeah, we don't have much control. It's kind of just like if the internet cuts out or not. <laughs> Thanks, Comcast. Here you go. Here's a replay of the last stop. <laughs> If anyone can hear me through this, oh, and the shame. if it's Xfinity, you're not allowed to sometimes. I found that out. Xfinity actually makes you buy from them their router. Yeah, that's crazy. And you have to pay this exorbitant fee. All right. Well, nonetheless, we're happy with the money spent to get Yoshio here. And Absolutely. we're excited to see him compete. Uh, so that aside, let's get into some game two. Um, Landing aggressively with that neutral air, exactly where he needed to be, because any left or any right, he was getting some fire. Absolutely, and probably dead. Even at 40, just no jump. All oh, right. there we go. That was that nice. Smash, and that's something I will never do in my life, because I just never get it. <laughs> I get it every once in a while. It's just a it's pain. It's so much harder against. than it looks, bro. And if you whiff that forward smash end lag, I, I just need to trust it more. Right, no, I hear you. The trust is the problem. I don't have it. I, I get the back air. Oh my god, is he dead? With advantage, no look at way. all No way, Yoshio is moving. Suffocation, no breathing. This is my last resort for Citadel right here. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, and that was a great jab to get out of it. <laughs> oh, let's go Troy Johnson. Welcome, bro. How you doing? Oh my oh, god, Mondo riding the Yoshi airplane. Oh, the shield, the shield break gone. is there. No He's three stops dead. today. Dunyan rings. Owies. Is that Dunyan rings? Dunyan <laughs> rings. Kirsten Dunst. Ugh. Good dash attack to cover that, forcing Yoshio to go high to get out of the way. Get some free farming. Look. Now, even, even though he's behind, this is where Mondo has to not just spam his iron options right. to get back. He had it going for a hot minute, but he just folded a little bit. Not dead? Now he's dead. Okay. Yeah, I said your name, Troy Johnson, 13. Now I said your number. There's all, th where's the other 12 Troys? Right, where are the other 12 Troys? That's a good dead. question. Yoshio on the board. If Yoshi holds the lead, it's a lot more doable. Just as a Yoshi, take the lead and absolutely disrespect the Steve. <laughs> Com combo them until they feel like they're playing melee and they don't know how to do tech skill. All right, we're getting back into game three. Um, keeping the Yoshi, I don't think we're going to see Samus. I think the Yoshi's doing just fine enough. Uh, obviously, after it's, that It's game. a better matchup. Right. Samus does not beat Steve, but Yoshi? Absolutely. Mm. Maybe not by a lot, but he does the he job. Does. Bro, going to go Ridley game three. That's even worse matchup against Yoshi. Are you kidding? I don't know about you, Stivey, but this is game three. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Okay, that was a very ballsy egg to down air. Oh, tries to get an upward sequence expecting the jump. Good patience. And again, a, a solid burst option in dash attack without needing to use minecart and wasting iron. <sighs> Could not get the spacing. Head it out? All right, Bob. Now, always around. good seeing you, Gordon. All right, Bellanova is leaving the chat. Uh, but Citadel locked in, trying to get another stock, elasing one of Yoshio's lives as he gets into uh, some pretty intense neutral. No shield break there. That was a very dangerous egg. He had a plan B, too, with, the, with it breaking the block, giving it another hitbox if it falls. That would have guaranteed broken literally any shield ever. Oof. All right. Mondo's looking good right now. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. That was so scary. Free I would not coverage. agree with that. However, he gets... Nah, he doesn't get anywhere. That, that was so dead. good. Respect. All right. Oh, you wanted the whole late. thing. That's, an that's another part of it. You cannot get your free time at the, bl at the uh, workbench, table. whatever yeah, yeah. it is. At the at the create a win. I feel like uh, Yoshi is better suited just using tilts on the on the card, not on the card, on the crafting table because uh, fourth match is just too long and it doesn't kill in one shot anyway, so it's not worth it. I absolutely agree. Oh, does not get the grab out of it. That's very good. <laughs> For a second, okay. I thought it would have been his life. No impulse anvil either. Okay. I was just about to ask where that anvil was, but you just got me right there. Okay. The, we've been trying to tell Mondo 
and and also Law. Oh, is he dead? He's yeah, dead, man. Those shows just built different. It's not easy to get that, but when you get that F air, you gotta confirm. And he did. You said F air? No. F air. <laughs> so crazy. No, so forward air, fair, F air. Forward you know air. It's F and air. F and air, yeah, bro. Because that, that, that does not mean forward air, that means F bomb air. Right. Because if you get hit, you're dead. Yo, what's good, Bryce? How you doing? It's your boy Over Easy and Melon. Uh, the other two Yoshis that were in this bracket. There were three Yoshis in top eight today, so we're chilling. We just got done watching Double Steve, so we're tired and a little bit delusional. Yeah, man. Apologize if it's a little crusty, but you know what? So is this bracket. We had two Steves, three Yoshis, um, and some pretty other crusty characters, if I say so myself. Absolutely, but you know what? I'm okay with it. It's been fun. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. I love being here. Ooh. Okay, just spacing, getting it out of the way. This is going to be so hard for Mondo. Yeah, bro. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. The production team works incredibly hard. Uh, so even though we're working on our Wi-Fi, everything else is really, really up to date. Uh, GameCube Lounge really cares about the people and its, you know, and its venue. So definitely pull up whenever you can. Um, every Tuesday, 7 o'clock, be here. Okay, oh, get the I egg lay. Like the, I hate that hard oh. hit down smash. Low key, I wanted to see an up air shark out of that egg lay. I kind of agree. Also, I wonder if that was supposed to be an up throw because he kind of, that was a super quick forward throw and it did nothing. Right. Up throw. There we go. Why, bro? I remember back in the early days of Smash, when you attacked a grab, it won. So why did he back here and lose to grab, bro? That was so ignorant. Yep. That frame trap is so hard to avoid. All right, Citadel down one game and now game four in a very dangerous spot. Can Citadel prevail or will he fold? Change stages. For the love of God, change stages. If you didn't ban Kalos, you go to Kalos. Wuss. I'm going to say it right now. Wuss. Yeah, bro. <laughs> if, if Yoshio wins the set, this is why. Yo, this music's kind of fire, though. Hold on, what is this? As, as important as it is to have a favorite stage, it's also just as important to practice on every stage possible just in case you get bodied by a counter pick. That's true. Is, does, do you like this stage? I, you, it does not matter. I don't care. No one cares. Learn every stage so you can be ready for every stage. Oh, and the immediate footstool. I'm not going to take that disrespect. That's crazy. Oh, barely gets hit on the back air coverage. There. Oh, no, it goes for the forward tilt. Tr try to regrab. Okay. Nah, man, as long as there's a Steve, Brady's chilling at home. He has a clear conscience. He's chilling. His Ken is too saucy to deal with Steve mining all the time. The thing is, I don't even think Steve's bannable. It's just if you don't have fun with the game, I think it's it says a lot more about the game, it's about like the mechanics of the game than it does the character. I agree, too. Like, Sometimes Steve is boring to fight against, but sometimes Steve is kind of fun to do. You know what I mean? Like, you have to work really hard to get the win, so it does feel rewarding. There are certain times where it just doesn't. Like, having to do a Smash for Bayo, for example, no matter what you did, whether you win or lost, you hated the experience. I feel like that's not the case with Steve. 100% agree. I feel like, can you be bitter about the character? Absolutely. The character can be nonsense. That's how I feel about Palu. That's how I feel about Ike. Right. Oh, he's dead! He oh, called! Oh, no way. Yeah, Citadel is playing hard, bro. Snipey okay. might not be down and out in this bed after all. Oh, neutral kept to just get out of there. Okay. Good conversion. Tries to spike him. Unfortunately, he's not going to get it. I would love to see some setups to get that diamond going. Oh, wow. That was a crazy uh, <laughs> Tim's to the grill. Tim's straight to the grill. Oh, was that an omelet du fromage? It was almost. almost. Okay, he gets hit by the mine cart. Somehow right. avoids that. Gets the grab, and now Mondo's playing with some energy, man. All right, and he just fails to shoulder the shield the Still entire time. Still feeling something, though. He gets his diamond. Yoshio didn't believe in the punish. You know what, though? It's, it's easier said than done, because like you can theoretically know to push Steve away from the block, but if they know that you're going to try and do that, you can just hit them for free. It's not a real competitive, not a real competitive. Oh, game. no. He knew the high down B was coming. Yeah, man. Either that or he just didn't care. Mondo trying to defend home turf with all he's got. He is not looking to lose the set. Dude, if, with all these invaders, if this turns out to be another Mondo Joel Grands. Bro, I would be impressed. I would not be upset. I will say this. I saw that forward air. Yoshio <laughs> wanted to end his life. This is a you, great set. 
Uh, the, that forward air just over the side of the edge when it has no reason to work. If you, you let that work, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god! Not... And again? No, he's living. He's living. Nah, bro. He's at game five right now. He proved me wrong. I'll take it. Syndicate Snivy cashing oh. in some Mondo stocks right now. That's why I'm on the mic. That's why I'm on the mic. <laughs> Game five. Yeah, boy. Losers finals. Yoshio Citadel. For a couple 20s and a handshake. Let's get it, man. Where are we going? I'm going to call Battlefield. Smashville. They hate. Oh, I forgot. My fault. I'm over here let's thinking. See, let's it's see. Still. Let's see. Small bat. Sindel? I don't know who Sindel is, Bonk. I mean, but they're probably a better Steve than Citadel. Is that the uh, Citadel Palutena alternate universe? I don't know, bro. This music is fire, though. Oh, my God. Yoshi is spitting right now. I yeah. want 10 bucks too, Ice, but we lost to Steve's. Yeah, man. We lost to, we lost to the same <laughs> Steve. That's so annoying. And then he's just sitting there eating food, bro. True. Look Law, man. He's a cheater. Game five. Game five. <laughs> Much love, though. I love him. Yeah, bro. He's awesome. All right, All right, game five, let's get it. Small battlefield. Oh, tried to get the bait to force him in for a grab. Mondo dodging a bunch of mix-ups right off the bat. Okay. That, does that minecart really have to hit twice? I'm curious to have the insight on what stages were banned. S same. If there's one... Oh, the shield breaks that up and nope. unable. Wow, that would have been off the platform, too, and into death. <sighs> Barely got that up air in. That was clean. Mondo, oh my god, he has such a bad habit of grabbing in those types of situations. He needs to do other stuff, because it's not working. Oh, good Nair out of shield to get out of it. Okay, minecart being rude. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo, let me call in a guest commentator. Law, pull up for a second. Pull up. Let me, let me just ask you, what does Mondo need to do to close the set right now? So, the thing he needs to do, right, is keep playing like a dickhead. Right. I think that's the best option right now. Because the way, if you start camping and you just start spacing yourself around, you're chilling. Like the way he's playing right now, I don't know what happened. But I think after game three, something inside of him, bro. You know what I mean? Like the, the meme, yes. the, the something inside of him, that's what it was. Yeah, bro. Lost spitting right now. Big and facts. Big facts. Citadel did have a good stock, but now it's even two stocks apiece. If there's one thing that makes Steve truly Steve, it is disrespect. And you need to be fully disrespectful against Yoshi. All right. Especially with a lead like this. You have to just be fully disrespectful. Don't let don't oh. let Yoshi have any fun. Make the Yoshi wish he was playing another game. Citadel with the magic. Looking like Mondissimo right now, bro. It's true. Okay, there to follow up. Okay, hit. that would have been a disgusting fair dunk from Yoshio, but the minecart. That was tricky. I don't know why he's been a cart like that. All right, patience. Oh, the spacing. I love that. <laughs> that was very tip of the tail. The last sell. Oh, okay. We got a trade getting back off. <sighs> patience is spacing. All right. Okay. Yoshio trying to get those bear extensions. <laughs> the that sequence, I loved it. It's just like, okay, I walked up his shield. What did he do? Oh, that was Bear. so close. I'm just going to back up. Okay, I'll smash him. Now Mondo's a stock away. And just like that, full panic mode. All right, good if grab. I'm... Steve's behind. I'm nah, in full he's, panic he's gonna mode. He's going to clutch this up. I definitely see Mondo not taking too much damage. There you go. Oh, my God, and he gets hoed again. Only Citadel knows how to fold so extravagantly. Listen. Okay, there you go. It's Yoshi's cookie, not Yoshi pinball. Last stock, game five. Mondo with a Dare. deck, no diamonds. Oh, he wanted to wait and got the wrong air dodge read. But it's still 42%. All right, has to build. Oh, and poor building by Mondo causes him to be in disadvantage Yoshio again. performing oh, like an archaeological one, dig. He went low instead of high. With oh, this. the tech chase was fantastic by Yoshio. All right, we got Colton in the chat cheering on his boy Mondo. MBT coming in strong. Oh, the egg saved his life. That was so much damage if he missed. 109%. Yoshi trying to get the classic Yoshi bear out of egg. The rollback on stage. Oh, Follow no, up. up tilt. Can Mondo clutch this from the depths of hell? This would be an insane bracket. Can I get it back here? Up no. there, misses. The and roll that is going to be it. He's Mondo cracked. Out. And Yoshio will go to grand finals. Excellent display of assertion from Mondo, but unfortunately, it is not enough. What a fantastic set. Why'd you roll?
All of right. all the times for you to roll, why'd you roll? Also, Yoshio being ready for the roll in that tense of a situation. Can we talk about that? <laughs> he was ready for it? Man, bro. I thought Mondo was going to pull some magic out, but the only magic he did was disappearing from bracket, bro. That's sadly going to be the end of his life. Now we got Grand Finals, Beast Yoshio, and what is now a 3-6 record after Joel handled Yoshio. Though I, I will say this. Mondo does have a pretty clean magic trick called folding. Yeah, bro. You you take like this right here. Can we get some commentator uh, camera, please? All right, so, so this is what happens to Mondo in really tight situations. Right? This. This. Ugly. Ugly folding. It's not even pretty. And then you... That's Mondo. That's Mondo in Losers Finals, Grand Finals all the time. I don't understand it. This is what he does. But you know what? That's okay. Because, uh, you know, Syndicate Snivy became a Bank of America for Yellow, for Ice on Deck. So him losing does a lot for the community, unfortunately. Now we got Grand Finals and Melon's excited. Before before we get into it, what you just folded. Can we talk about what you just folded? Do we have any cards for ads? Yeah, bro. Yeah, let's get to at it, At the bro. Sherman Theater. Oh, we got oh, first we got to talk GameCube Fest. Oh, You're my right. God. Ja uh, Saturday, January 21st of the new year, we have an award ceremony where we've been doing a lot of um, incentives, like MVP, most improved, best commentators, us. Um, <laughs> and we have a bunch of events. Definitely come out to that. Even Strikers, January 7th, another Saturday. Uh, Vinny's event in New Jersey. Pull up to that. We got Mario Strikers uh, Battle League. I'm about to say Charge because that game is goaded. Listen, none of, none of us are me none of us are our boy Messi, but you can pretend to be at this. Absolutely, bro. This is going to be a fantastic event. And Pull life's up. all about pretending. Yeah, man. The cap is almost there, so you know, better register before the price goes up. Big facts. And, and right here now, we go. Hey, look at us. Yo, <laughs> I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. Vote for any of these other fine, fine young folks over here. Ditto. And it's Snivy there, too. Look at Snivy. He's like, yeah, Metra. man. Look at me. I'm about to Venmo these two guys. You think I can afford a professional picture? No. We're going to Sheets for our photo. Hey, yeah, baby. Let's All go. Right. Play Melee, eat Sheets. Watch this grant. Yeah, bro. All right. So, uh, Town and City, not PS2. Uh, a change of culture for Joel, game one. However, he tries to, to get him with some gimping, and it's not going to happen that early in the set. I mean, the, still looking very, very aggressive on Joel's part right now. Yoshio needs to get a couple adjustments in. Yeah, bro, Yoshio okay. is Japanese. Oh, red the air dodge to the platforms. It's just like that. Oh, I thought that, that down air was going to hit, but he switched and stalled. That was pretty good by Beast. Okay, good. Zare, keep your spacing. Don't let Ivy get any of the nonsense. All right, and so while some cultural appropriation happens in the chat, if you see that link, uh, click on it and make some votes, bro. There's a lot of people that are, you know, up for grabs at these incentives. So on MTF uh, Award Night, uh, it's going to be really, really, really dope. Along those lines, Lyric, you bring up a good point. If there's one thing that Joel definitely suffers from is that his mental can be garbage sometimes. He's been working on it. Right, right. Sometimes it can be really great, but then sometimes... But you know, if you get in his head, you get... You're, you're staying there. You right. have a full loft in his head. And right now, Yoshi was in prime position to do it. 34%. Oh. About to make 50. Unable to get this air, though. That's not Steve. That's not Yoshi. What's he doing having full strings? <laughs> All right. I love that up air shark. Do you know how massive up air is, bro, as a hitbox? Okay, to answer your question, why is everyone trying to kiss Sweshy? It, it's a low-tier privilege thing. Plus, Sweshy destroyed Mr. E. So yes. also, that was a fantastic uh, set that I've ever watched in my life. It was really cool. That's true. Oh, my God. He almost gets the bounce off the stage, but unfortunately, Squirtle's going to catch it before he's able to evade. That, that grab covers the roll away, too. Oh, and he's just following. Oh, that would have been so clean if he was able to take that to distance. But that was a lot of, uh, that was a tall order. Okay, good down there to force him up high. Okay. Oh, excellent reverse hit him there. <laughs> that parry didn't matter at all. All right. Oh, that was such a good option. Unfortunately, it didn't hit, but he was still able to assert dominance there. All right. Okay, forward air, up B to force him on the platform. 
Get him off stage. Get him off me. No, he is in the blast. He doesn't right now. want it. He doesn't oh, that want was such it. A good mix up. Samus can stay outside for a long time. Oh, and the aggressive up B? These poor, poor souls don't know about Melee Samus. That's what I'm saying. Melee Samus is out there for an hour, bro. We, we accept the half hour that Samus gets in this because in the other games, it's not fair. Dude, we even got stars, bro. Stars, welcome to the chat, man. Where are you today, bro? Ew! I know, Beast is seeing stars after That's that nair, though. play Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, bro. You play Yoshi by switching to Samus. True. <laughs> Dark Samus, though. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's Dark Samus, though. It's Hot Topic Samus. Yeah, Hot Edgiers. Topic Samus. Edgier. Maybe Spencer Samus? Is that too much? Uh, that's not edgy enough. Not Spen edgy enough? Spencer's right. is edgy for the meme. Right. Hot, Hot Topic is edgy back in the 90s, you know, back when people actually cared enough to be like, you don't go into that store, my child. Right. I hear that. You know the owner of the store, GameCube Lounge, Greg Pinones, he loves his Samus, bro. So seeing a Dark Samus perform at this caliber is like his dream come true. Plus, we have a stacked bracket. This has been an amazing day for GameCube, bro. Oh, I, I just now realized a lot of these kids are too young to realize that Hot Topic actually used to be edgy. Yeah, bro, and now it's, uh, it's anti culture. They actually, they actually used to have music in Hot Topic. Like, a lot of music. It was a music store. Yeah, bro. Oh, boy. Game two. Let's see if Yoshio can keep the streak going. All right. Oh, no. What is happening? All right. So, ignoring the chat, we got... Uh, Hollow Bash, two whiffed grabs in a row, very uncharacteristic of Yoshio to start the, the game, but it's not going to matter all too much. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, much love to the folks who are watching. We love people, but man. But please keep it a little bit, like... Ins We've got some youngins in the chat. Yeah, let's, it, be, let's be cautious. In insult them in a way that it, uh, their mother can understand and be mad at you that way instead of the language. Yes, I, you gotta love the Under Night tunes as well. It, it almost fits better this with the epicness of the stage. For a second, I thought he was gonna let that one oh, rip. The backer? Oh, I thought, oh, the up tilt looking dangerous. Oh, oh no, the forward air. Yo, no show is moving right now on Joel, bro. Okay, <laughs> backer. A B in that. Dead. He's no dead. shot that kill. That was some That's insane neutral. Just a little sprinkle of rage. He's at 64 the tiniest little dash of rage. Okay, good patience. All right. I love those B reverse. All right. The charge you know shots. Type one in the chat if you believe in Joel. Type two if you're a doubter. And type three if you want the Steves back. That way we know who to ban. Facts, facts. <laughs> Two. All right, so we got a doubter, one believer. All right, Throw even, up even a B. Yep, he waited for the air dodge. He knew. <laughs> and a three. Man, the thieves. Snipey, no. <laughs> we trusted you. All right. We were going to go out for noodles. Oh, option four? No, yellow actually def redefining the meta as always. Yeah, Bats. man. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, but he gets the inside hitbox. So he's going to be saved from that situation. Will he capitalize? Oh, went for the hard weave with the up smash, but the switch saved him. Nooch to the no grill. Way. No I love the homing missile there. That was so inventive. That's the thing. Joel was ready for it, though. He's able to stop. Flare puts with Zare? What is that? That is the weirdest privilege I've ever seen. OK. Um, no, OK. I wasn't sure if up would kill or not, but I felt like it was something that uh, Yoshio would go for. All right, guess I nice love that. Back. That was such a quick mix. That was awesome. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, gave him the biz quick. He's mixing it up all over right now. All right, and that was He's a nice it. DI mix up. Is it a stretch to say Samus has the best less trapping in the game? It's certainly up there. I don't know if it is the best. I mean, off the top of my head, Piranha Plant and Samus are like right there, bro. Rob. I feel like Joker has really good just because of his bear, like, Arsene privilege. Right. But, I mean, yeah, Rob, you could, you could argue Steve, depending on, like, what kind of Steve is playing. And then, yeah, Samus. 
I hear that. All right, guess the Zarya to a dash attack, and Yoshio, you know, putting on the, the heat right now. However, Joe, uh, wow, Joel is able to take that very quickly. That was such a clutch razor leaf. If that missed, that was just free game Oh my two. god, and he just nared. Where was the up air again? He had that. Oh no, he's gotta get down. Okay. Oh no, he's gotta get back down. And this is the problem. Samus' disadvantage can be kind of bad if you're not able to, to get out of there with Bomb. All right. She gets pressure. back down. Joel forcing him back up. Oh my god, and Joel the... never really misses that, okay? All right, good recovery from Shota. All right. He forgot that Dark Samus has a massive roll. No way Joel chokes this, all right? He might choke this. If that was a fully charged shot, that was definitely doing it. Okay, gets that again. Just rack up percent till it can kill. Tries to get the grab and that's almost it. Nah, yes. no way it kills yes. it. Yes, rage, rage. Oh, you're he had right. 100, he had 100% rage. I thought he was gonna live on the basis of him being Charizard, but correct me, I'm wrong. Uh, Yoshio taking that, so 2-0. You can only be so thick before a throw is gonna kill anyway. Yeah, man. All right, Joel taking a sip of water, try to cool off a little bit. He's in his, like I was mentioning earlier, once you get in his head, you're, you're stuck there. Right. Joel really has to work hard in order to get out of that mental state. So that last bomb conversion he had was excellent. Deep breaths. Just think of memes. Just think of Mondo losing. You know, if I was Joel here, I would have definitely tried one of his other characters because if he got the reset, like, it's looking likely for a reset. Why not test out your kit, see what you have, and try again on the reset if you don't like it? Or assert it next time going. Actually, you know what? I, I kind of feel that. I think he's just afraid of actually getting absolutely clapped by the Yoshi and forcing a counter pick war he's afraid he'll lose. Because Yoshio's already proven to take games off of other his other characters. Right. And, you, you know, like chat say, Joel can definitely do it. He's done it before. He did it tonight uh, in Winner's Finals. Yeah. He really cleaned up. So now Yoshio is adapting. It's up to Joel to kind of to find that adaptation for himself. Excellent recovery. It doesn't even matter, though. Joel's starting to cover a lot. <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> Stefan being uncut in the chat. That's so wild. I'm, I'm not saying... Yeah, nah, we're, we're not, nah, yeah, nah. I will say Joel's oh, down there was pretty clean. However, he's unable to get anything that more waited! Smash. Excellent job, and that's going to be the first stock taken of this game three. If there's any way to get rid of some mid-mental, it's getting a forward smash to someone early. That was so crazy, and he read it too, but he just let go a little too early. How wild was that? And here comes the stack up. He was just ready, he just chilled. Oh, Matt cheating with Samus and Bracket? Okay. Hey. Yeah, Stars, you should have pulled up tonight. Oh no, he knew and he couldn't punish it. Oh, that was such a good idea. I think he was just out of position to get the, the full shield break. Because it, it can't work. No, that was such an unnecessary commit. I disagree. It was unnecessary, but it was cool that it was almost there. Ooh. Okay, the fear in neutral is real. Yoshio's just like, okay, I'm taking a step back. I gotta accept that this is not going well right now. Right. It's just like the, the mental gymnastics. All right, got to hit those techs. This is prime time. Grand finals, you can't afford to miss a single one of them. I don't think he realized that he was going to land on the platform. I thought he would fall. I think he, he uh, thought Samus would fall, fall right through. All right. All right, that forwarder is a little tricky to deal with because when you don't get that last hit, uh, you're not necessarily in the best position to follow up after. So deciding whether to attack or retreat is always tricky. And with the lead in Joel's favor, uh, I imagine that was a high pressure situation for Yoshio. Oh, this is so hard from behind for Samus. Especially when Joel has a good lead and is willing to go for some sauce. <laughs> oh, patience, patience. Good Wade. And again, the setup to get back on the stage. Especially if you're getting some love in the chat. Meanwhile, Shota trying his best to redeem that's this, dead. but that's, that's dead. Oh, oh, no, it's no. not. Samus no way. I guess Samus got more than armor holding her down. Face on weighs a ton. 
I thought that was an up the out of shield or an up smash out of shield. That's Back cast. Yeah. Sick neck. Okay. Game four. Hey, man. The set is not done. <laughs> Beast can set. still do it in five. Man, set. Sick neck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Zard got neck. Look at it. Oh, no, bro. That's not supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I mean. Or is it? Start the game four. Let's get into it. <laughs> Thank you for sharing the same one brain cell. Okay. Oh, the bird? The bird? Not the duck hunt. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Down, down. Calm down. Calm down. The bird. I guess they're discussing the order of which counterpicking happens. Yes. Um, winner picks character first, loser then counterpicks character. Do you believe that that's the way it should be, or do you think that there's flaws? 100%. Anyone that disagrees is no fun and lame. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, Joel won that game for sure. It's 2-1. No, the, on, the honest reasoning for it is that if you're going to 2-0 someone, it, makes, it only makes sense to give them advantages. Right. Game four. All right. Forcing him off stage. Joel's DI adjustment. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic set. job getting out of these early percent combos by Yoshio. Oh, that was brutal. That could have been a stock, too. All right. Bomb's a little too close together that time. Oh, the roll coverage. I don't know how he missed with that. Okay, double bear, no up B, just wanted more. There's the up B. All right. I don't know if that was a, that might have been an up B that he just did not get the angle right on. Because I think if he had an up B where he did the razor leaf at the very edge of the bottom. Oh, and he covers the wall jump. How knowledgeable of Joel to recognize that situation and get it. That's one reason I both love and hate Kalos. If you have a wall jump, Kalos is great. But that also means you need that sometimes and you can get bodied. That's what I'm saying, bro. Joel is hitting with a nice comfortable lead about to lap up in percent. Okay, Nair hit weak. Okay. Oh! Air dodge was so clean. The micro spacing is so real right now. He wants it again, up air! All right, and now it's one to three in Beast's favor again. Yoshio looking for a sign of life right now to try and clutch up uh, reset. However, Beast preventing that by any means necessary. He reverse just goes back! Okay, good job with the down air, zero percent. Uh, if Yoshio can, you know, have a really insane neutral game here, uh, I don't see him losing a lot of percent. But uh, tall order against one of the best players inside of uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, the roll to get up. This is the grab, though. Okay. Yo, the hitbox on Waterfall is super lenient, bro. Like, you could be far away, and you're still getting hit by that John. I'm starting to notice a little bit of desperation in Yoshio. He's going for a couple hard reads that are making it feel really desperate. Oh, good dash attack in response. <laughs> All right, 99%. Okay. Bomb. Excellent job. He's living, though. Tries to find his charge right, gets the forward smash. I love down air there because it was so safe. Back air was not the Tried option there. Tried so hard to play 5D chess with an option, but it just did not work out. Footstool to get out of there. Okay. Oh, no way. That was so ignorant. How? I definitely saw that move connect, and he was still able to hit through the fire and flames in that game five. Mentality flows like a river. Yeah, bro. <laughs> in just as quick of a way where Joel was feeling like absolute garbage, He's right back into feeling on top of the world. All right. Yo, where are my believers at? Because Joel is looking pretty clean. If you pressed one, let me see you, bro. Let me see the faith that we have in Joel here. I want to be reincarnated as one of Joel's back airs. Because <laughs> that's just hot fire. Damn, bro. He's spitting right now. Definitely not the Renaissance, bro. There was so much illness in that period, bro. It was it's dirty. True. It's true. Okay, small battlefield. I like this pick. Now, it's just a matter of if Yoshio can adjust to the pace that Beast has set. All right. 
Right now, it's not looking great. That's some healthy percent. All okay. right, gets a good up. He had a disadvantage. Tries to force the issue. Not the right play, but not punished for it either. Oh, all right. A little overzealous by Joel. He's establishing up B early. So I'm curious to see what that Oh, means wow. If that was fully charged, it would have hit him because actually uh, Samus has a hitbox on his body whenever it charge, uh, full charge happens. Both of them are just absolutely spamming roll from ledge, though. Yeah, so bro. I'm wondering, I'm wondering when the adjustment's going to happen. Oh, my God. Razor Leaf was so dangerous there. And just the, the last hit of it going to confirm into another Razor Leaf into up air. That's going to be a crazy stock for Joel. That's the only thing I don't like about this stage is that it... The, the fact that the platforms are just a little bit higher, it makes it so that it's a little safer and easier to do that little string. Right. Perfect switch from Joel. That's the second time I've seen like a frame perfect switch. Oh, the mix up with that wave bounce. Oh, no, it's lagging. No. Oh, and he got footstool. No way. And Joel in prime position to steal MCF, the last one Tournament of the year. Stop. Okay. Joel said, I don't care that there's 40 people here. I don't care that the payout is thicker than Melon. He wants it all. Okay, guess the down smash. Again, this is doable. Yoshio proving his merit time and time again in the past, but it is a very difficult path to uh, reset. Oh, this is every single percent is too much percent to take. I hope the Wi-Fi fixes itself for here. This is the worst time to have laggy Wi-Fi. Okay. Oh, this is so much percent. All right, the parries for Joel. Super clutch. Jab one, the worst move in the game. Just the fact that Yoshio can't even mix up off of jab one. That's rough. Can we get some, some Mercury up Bs to kill him at zero, please? Oh, and he SD. No, and that's going to be it. Joel taking more than friendlies, number 122 against all odds and against even his own odds. Joel was not confident in this bracket, and he decided, you know what, screw it. This is my tournament to win. Um, Mondo folded, I got this, and here we are. So, fantastic set all around. Uh, Yoshio did his best. Um, the time that we had with him was fantastic. Obviously, he's going to Jap uh, Japan soon, so, you know, I assume for both of us uh, here at MTF and for the Philly region, we're blessed to have him. Um, Joel, fantastic job. Everyone here did a fantastic job. So, you know, facts. Melon, how did you feel about today? Uh, one, I learned a lot. Right. There was a ton of different matchups and different matchup scenarios that I had not expected. And there were a bunch of upsets. Slashers cracked. Right. Slashers but super cracked. I just, before anything, I want to say one thing. Sure. Joel was so afraid of dealing with Yoshio that he posted for people to go to local host. Yeah, bro. And look at what happened. He still won. He still won. Um, that's just the eyes and the, the heart of a champion right there. You, it's frustrating to have to deal with it, but at the end of the day, you put on your business suit and you get to work and you, you go through bracket. Um, you know, let's talk him over here. Joel. Joel, come over here. Get your cheating ass over here. Give us a post-game interview, my guy. Uh, all right, boss. Talk us through it. You, obviously, we all know uh, you weren't feeling the best heading into today, uh, but you won the event, and you did a fantastic job. Uh, what was going on in your brain throughout the back of the, the headset? Honestly, let me get to a school. Talk to him. Right. Want to sit down? All right. Thank you, bro. Good shit today, dude. Hello. Hey, man. How you doing? It's over. It is over. I know. It's not a relief. <laughs> there was a lot happening on the screen at once. All I want, all I know is, is that unfortunately he got, he has deed a lot, but right. like, I'm so happy I didn't switch. Like I wanted to switch so bad, and I was just like, if I did it in winners, I could do it in grands. I just need to, I just need to focus in certain situations and stop immediately getting up. Right. Like, I, I kept getting up into the bomb, into neutral, into charge shot. You were jumping off ledge a lot, yeah. Yeah, and I, I realized when, I think that game five, or maybe game four, I don't remember, I realized that if I have max rage Zard, and he's at zero, and he's doing that, I can literally eat the bomb hit and just reset and do it again. And like, that's what you it. did that's later like, on. Yeah, that's that, like 7%. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm, now I'm here again. Right. What are you going to do? Eventually, you're going to do that F tilt, and I'm going to roll through it, and now I'm in center stage. Hopefully, you up be out of shield, and I shield it, and now I have stage control. Like, I was just waiting for the panics. And he also, like, he also grabbed in bad places a lot. Like, a lot. 
that's the only way I can get in on Samus. If she whips a grab, right. I get my follow up. If he never whiffed those grabs, I wouldn't have been he able was to get my advantage lot. state. I saw a lot of grabs from him early on in the set too. Like he, he was doing it like at three, two, one, go, and I'd never see him yeah. rush to get a he grab. Did three was, in a row, right? And I was like shocked. I'm like, I don't usually see him do that, but you know, you handled that well. Uh, and before we leave, I have one more question. So you referenced uh, wanting to switch. Uh, we saw the the character screen hover over Falco. Was that going to be your pick? And what was the discourse that was happening? We felt like you weren't sure about uh, like rules. So over what, what happened was that I was going to go. I was thinking about it. I was like, all right, I'm going to go Falco here because I'm up two one. Right or I'm down 2-0 or whatever, and I won game one. So if I win this, throw him off, and go back to PT, I could do it for the one time. I, all I need to do is win one game. And then I realized, and then he like pressed B when I pressed Falco to go to Yoshi. And I was like, you can't do that. And then I thought about it, and I was like, wait, he can't. I can't do this. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. Well, if he's going to do that, then I'm just going to stay PT. Fuck it. And right. I won that game, and I was like, yes. Because when he went Kalos, I was like, damn, should I have banned FD and Kalos? And, um, or Battlefield and FD. And I was like, I honestly watch him up air, up air, up B Merc a lot that right. I'm just like, I'm not gonna deal with it. And I don't like Battlefield as a stage anyway. Kalos, I never get to play on, so it's like even playing field for me. And if he three stocks me, it's cause I can't kill him in time. Right. And that was like the biggest thing. I didn't want him living past one, whatever the fuck. The one game I fucking up through like an idiot instead of Yeah, I saw and oh I was like, what God. was that, bro? I was so mad. I was like scratching my head like, I know this is not gonna kill. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, it, it was cool to look at because obviously our up throw is pretty cool uh, but what matters is you got the job done so congratulations again wear the belt and you know you've won 90 percent of mtfs this year so hopefully we can uh you I know mean, keep I that percent going three i lost three that i've attended and i missed one and, and that was the during one. the belt era or overall no this year so i think it was the belt era was the entire year i thought for the most part mostly yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. i lost the one i lost the one to mondo where he six owed me right i lost the one where I lost the Mondo and Ziggler for fifth. Right. And then I lost the the one to Con Con. Yeah, Con Con. Yeah. So that was the last I've one only you went to. Lost, I've only lost three. And then the one I wasn't here for was the one Nico won or Squabe won. Squabe Both won. of them won separate ones without yeah. you here. Yeah. Yeah. Those were the ones I weren't here for. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, man, again, you know, it's always a pleasure. I can't fucking believe it. I was, the crazy thing is, I played my round one and Give two with Wolf and Falco. Like, I was warming up Spacey specifically for Yoshio. And then when I got to uh, Slasher, I was like, okay, I'm not going to Spacey versus Slasher. Right. Because he's going to cheese me. And I'm just, I'm just going to try to play well. And I felt like I was playing pretty well versus Slasher. I and think he was bringing too. it back at the end of game two. And I was like, if I throw this game, this is not going to be good. Right. And then against Melon, I felt like I was making really smart choices. So when I went into him in winner's finals, I was Already, Your like, Zard was moving floating. in that set, absolutely. I, I was telling Mondo, I felt like in winner's finals, he was double jumping out of disadvantage every time. And, right. I was, and he never gives me those. So I was just like, oh, my Zard is actually getting some play. Also, from playing Yoshio, I, I know that when he gets his, the way he gets his advantage state is he hits his down throw aerial, and then after that, he reads rolls out on the tech chase right. and, roll, and hits with down air. So instead, what I was doing was just like get up attacking when I when I teched or like neutral teching in place. Like, all right, if you're going to go for the down air, go for it right now and don't go for it on the roll. Let's see. And like I was just testing him to see how well he was paying attention to my option selects. Okay, yeah, for sure. And, you know, if you're in the chat and you're, you watch the event and you're seeing Joel talk, uh, this is, you know, the mind of a champion. He's doing what he has to do. So actually, you did tell me that, but I don't remember, honestly. I just realized in that, in that moment, is that for me? Yeah, bro. Oh, he got that fat cash. Hand them over real quick. Whoa. Oh, it could have been Citadel if he didn't fold to Yoshio. That game, yeah, you were moving game four, bro. Yo, Beast, nothing happened, you paying man. for uh, <laughs> Yoshio's Uber on the Hell way back? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Joel having cashed out. What a fantastic set. This has been over easy. Beast, Greg, a lot of the people at MCF. This has been a great event. Uh, thank you for being here the entire year. And we look forward to a stronger and better 2023. Yes, sir. And next time, bring a harder zoner. I hear you, man. All right, we're signing out. Have fun.